Today we play Paper Mario the Origami King. This is a beautiful Nintendo Switch game. Paper Mario is such a wonderful series and the adventure in this game is so nice with beautiful visuals and fun characters. This is the game that essentially started my YouTube channel and it's finally time to have a full playthrough of this game. Thank you so much for watching and I really hope you enjoy this video. Everyone, it has been way too long since we have made any videos about Paper Mario the Origami King. I really hope to make some more videos about this game and I'm so excited to be playing through this game. This has such a beautiful title theme over here that is playing and it is unbelievable that this game came out in 2020. So this game came out about three years ago. All right, so let's get started with the game. I remember exactly how the game starts and I remember there is so much funny dialogue in this game. So here we are. The music is so good in this game. Music is absolutely incredible. So this is just like Mario Kart here. It's kind of like Mario Kart Double Dash. Isn't this great, bro? Back on the road again together and heading to some kind of festival. What did the invitation say again? An origami festival. What's that gonna be like? And I can't wait to say hello to Princess Peach. It's been a while. And this also makes me want to continue Book of Mario King of Miami. I really hope that we can continue that this year. That would be so nice. And ah, this music is just ah, just mwah, chef's kiss. Absolutely incredible music. So here we are, we are in Toad Town now. That is exactly where we were going. And look at all the origami, all the details in this are so cool. But something's going to happen when we make it to Toad Town. Why is it all empty? Shouldn't we be meeting the princess? What's going on? Here we are, Toad Town, and there's a Peach's Castle. But everything is all empty. This is so creepy, isn't it? What is happening? Why isn't there anybody here in Toad Town? Shouldn't there be all kinds of toads? Looks like stuff is kind of destroyed nearby, and it's very creepy that everything's so empty. Mario jumps off the cart, looks around. Where is everybody? You don't think we missed it, do you, Mario? Mario, check the invitation again. When were we supposed to be here? Mario pulls out something from his pocket. You are invited to an origami festival in fabulous Toad Town. 800-XX. Peach. Yep, looks like that's the day. Well, it's the right day. You think they're still getting things ready? Let's go check out the castle. Maybe everyone's inside. Mario jumps back on the go-kart. Such a cool go-kart that Luigi has here. Oh, and Luigi plays such a funny role in this game. I can't wait to see more of Luigi. But yeah, look at this. We're just going through Toad Town over here on this go-kart, looking around, and wherever we look, there are holes in the floor. Everything just seems to be destroyed and ransacked kind of that door over there in the background is open all these origami decorations are up it's cool that we are invited to an origami festival but what's going on and wait how does this bridge come down for us and ah, uh, there's an amazing song that is about to play when we get to peach's castle oh my goodness this is going to be such a fun game to play through i'm so excited to be playing this here is princess peach's castle now get ready get ready everybody because this song is just ah uh, ah uh, this has to be an absolutely incredible song that is going to be playing here. Are you ready? There we are. Ah, oh, that is so nice. How good is that? The music in this game is just absolutely unreal. Here we are. Beach is a castle. Mario jumps off. I'm gonna park the cart, okay? I don't want to tip the valley. <laughs> That's such a funny line from Luigi. Oh boy, everyone, have you ever used valet before? Valet you imagine giving your car to somebody else and them driving it off and parking it for you? I'd be so scared of doing that. But here we are, Princess Peach's castle, and Luigi came back. Sorry for the wait, bro. Let's go see the princess. And if you try to leave, then Luigi says, Eh, Mario, I meant let's go the other way, towards Peach's castle, bro. Okay, yes, that is where we want to go. We are going to head up Peach's castle here, and we can jump, and it's cool that when you jump like this, Luigi jumps with you. Okay, so let's head in here. Let's open the door. Oh boy, this is reminding me so much of Book of Mario King of Miami, which was, I took all of the dialogue in Paper Mario the Origami King, put it through many languages in Google Translate, and, and, uh, and it ended up being very funny. Kinda spooky here, isn't it? And where is everybody? I'd expect to see at least one toad by now. Mamma mia! I forgot our gift in the car! I'll just dash over and I get it. Luigi goes towards the door, but the door slams shut, and he can't exit, and it's locked now. Okay, I don't like that. How am I gonna get outside when the door is locked? Don't worry, Mario. I know just what to do in a situations like this. You just gotta find Mario. Right, Mario? Yeah, because Mario always solves the problem. Oh. Yeah, because Luigi's with Mario, he realizes, oh, what are we gonna do then? Okay, I'm just gonna take a deep breath and go find the key to this door. That's what you'd do, right? Tell Princess Peach I'll be right there if you see her first, okay? Bye-bye, Mario! Luigi runs off. Let's go! 
Yeah, so we can't exit from here because that's locked, of course. So, we want to continue on to the right this way. And this is looking kind of creepy, isn't it? Just being in this abandoned castle here. So far, it seems abandoned. But, oh, man, what a room that we have over here. Mario, is that you? Who could it be? Who could be back here behind this door? The door opens and it is an origami princess peach. How good to see you. Look where Mario stands. This reminds me so much of Super Mario 64, this room in the castle here. Answer me this. Couldn't the Mushroom Kingdom unfold and be refolded unto glory? Yes or no? No, we don't want to unfold the Mushroom Kingdom. And what of those toads? Shouldn't they be silenced for all of eternity? No, I like the toads. They go, TURN ORDER! I see. Last question. Will you crease yourself and be reborn like me? No, we do not want to be remade into origami. Wrong answer, right answer, it matters not. Your replies are all paper thin. What a joke, because we're all paper, huh? Very funny. Goodbye. And trapdoor opens, Mario falls down. And we end up in a jail, which is kind of typical of Paper Mario games. Mario! Yeah, here we are. Oh, and it's Fishy Bupkins there. Always gonna make a flashy entrance, huh? Are you here for the origami festival too? This dungeon-themed waiting lounge is a huge upgrade from the last festival I attended. Very classy. You ain't seen Master Bowser anywhere, have ya? It ain't like the big luck to leave us minions hanging at a public event. Oh, and it's a Goomba. Whoa, Mario, you're here. I'm a big fan. Ah, I mean, I've always wanted to battle you. Even if I get stomped, it would be an honor. That's so nice. Wow, this is all so exciting. First I see Princess Peach and now you. I gotta say, the princess was a little different than I expected. Less lifelike. Who comes in now? Oh, Shy Guy Guards come in. Look at them. They're origami though, not paper. Come with us. Yeah, what's next? I've never seen a toad before. Please tell me it's a toad. This Goomba really wants to see a toad. Look at how excited he is. Hopefully these guys get to see a toad. Not you. Oh, I don't get to come with them. Oh, hope you don't have to wait too long, Mario. I'll say hi to toad for you. All right, goodbye, Goomba. Goodbye, shy guys. We're stuck in here now. Wait, oh, I know what happens next. Mario, is that you? We hear a voice. What's going on? I need your help. I'm... I'm... I'm in a very strange place. It's cramped and dark. Almost like I'm in between dimensions or something. I'm not sure if I should be amazed or scared, but I'm kind of both. If it's not too much trouble, I'd like to get out now, please. Is there any way you can help? Let's see if there's anything we can do to help. Look at this. What was that? Did something light up at your feet? Yes, it did. Is it a magic circle? Oh yeah, that's what these are called. That's good, I think. I mean, I'm not really sure what you're supposed to do with it. Can you try to use it somehow? Yes, let's try to use it. If we press X, we can use the 1,000 fold arms. And look at this, our arms become origami. That, that sounded good. And your arms are all big and foldy now. I've heard about this. I think those are called 1,000 fold arms. Try feeling around. Maybe you can help me escape from this strange dimension. If it feels like the arms are off center and out of control, maybe try pressing R to reset them. All right, let's go more to the left. A little to the left, let's grab and let's rip this off. Oh, I didn't rip it off. Let's try again because I never used motion controls for this. Let's go. There we are, we ripped off that part of the wall and look who's stuck in here. It is Olivia. Well, I'm free from that weird in-between dimension. Oh, I was just stuck in that wall. Olivia is so funny. You must be Mario. My name's Olivia. You'd probably like to know a lot more about me and why I was trapped like that, huh? Look at how happy she is. But I don't think we really have time for that now. Maybe we should just get out of here. There's just one thing. I'm not exactly fleet on foot. Mind if I hitch a ride? And she folds up. Pops into my pocket. That's quite funny. Okay, so we can't exit from here because this door is, of course, locked. So let's make our way over this way. Oh, and I can't break these boxes because I don't have the hammer. But now we got it. Hammer. That's such a nice jingle that plays when you get an item. Whoa, what'd you find? It looks big and smashy. Maybe try pressing B and see what happens. Yes, let's do exactly that. 
Just oh, he can't break that one. We can break this one though. Haha. <laughs> oh, I want that coin. You know, I feel like I just had a pretty good idea. Are you gonna say to go through here? I don't know if they'll always be good ideas, but I'm always happy to share them with you. That's so wholesome. Why don't you try pressing X if you're stuck, and I'll see if I can think of something useful. Who knows? Maybe we'll get to know each other and make a great team. Is that how these things go? Yes, it is. We are going to be a great team, Olivia. We are going to be a fantastic team, and it's great to have you on our side. All right, Olivia, have a look around. Got to sneak through the castle. We don't want to get caught by those Shy Guy guards. Okay, I'm getting my bearings. I think we must be in the castle dungeon. Dungeons smell like this place smells, right? All right, let's see anything here to the left. Anything here to break? Okay, we can't break this one. And it doesn't look like we could get up here. And if we try and go through this door... Oh, I thought that maybe they'd say something. I thought that we'd hear some dialogue, but I guess not. So, let's continue this way. Oh. Hey, knock it off! That sounds like Bowser, doesn't it? Okay, and if we try and open that... We can't get in. Why, you little! We see some dialogue from there. Let's check what's in here. Seriously, do you know who I am? Look what it is! I can see what you're about to do to my minion, and I order you to cut it out! Look what these shadows are. Everyone, please comment if you know what these are in the shadows. Oh, what's happening? Oh, we see them taking a Koopa Troopa in the shadows. And what's gonna happen? They're gonna do something to him. Oh, they're doing some kind of magic spell on him. And... He gets put inside a stapler and stapled! Wait, do you use staples for origami? Is that really technically origami? Oh, and look what's happening to all the minions. Oh no, and there's the Goomba. Is that the Goomba that wanted to see the toad, or is that a different Goomba? What did you see? Nothing terrifying. I hope that's quite funny. It was a bit terrifying. That was the last of them. Dot, dot, dot. Oh boy, did they turn them all into origami, all of the minions? Except for the mustachioed one. And I think by the mustachioed one, they mean either me or Luigi. Or perhaps both. Okay, maybe I have time to explain one little thing. Those stiff-looking guys are called Folded Soldiers. I don't want to alarm you, but they're unbelievably dangerous. I think we should try to avoid them. What do you think they meant by, that was the last of them anyway? The last of what? Yeah, they're folding all of us into origami, apparently. Wait. Oh no, I can't get up there now. Was that bad that I broke that? Okay, let's try going back now. Maybe we actually, oh no, no, no. We want to go in here, of course, now. This has got to be the way that we've got to go. Okay, let's break this block, because, yeah, we get another coin. We do want money. Look who it is! It's Bowser! Mario, you're here, too! So funny that we're running into Bowser. Well, what are you waiting for? Get me down from this thing. Even you know this is no way to treat royalty. Royalty? Oh, nice to meet you! Is everyone in your kingdom also a face? Olivia is so funny. I've got a body, too. Those folded jerks just bent it in ways that I won't describe in detail right now. It's seen worse. Believe me. Never mind that. I'm the great King Bowser, and I demand to be set free and unfolded. Now, Mario, ignore your floating friend and get me down from here. Bowser commands you. I'll do the same for you. You need me as much as I need you. Admit it. Plus, I can tell you a secret after you free me. No one can resist a good secret. <laughs> All right, Bowser, we're going to free you. Wait, what if we just try and leave? Hey, don't just leave me hanging. Get me down from here. All right, fine. We'll help you, Bowser. Ow! Oh, 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 oh. Look at him go flying. And he fell down. He almost looks like a floor sign. Oh, look how he walks. That's quite funny. Oh, kind of thought I'd just unfold or something. Ah, no matter. Now, as for the secret I promised to tell you, there's a hidden exit in this room. I heard those jerks talking about it. Lousy, no good body folding jerks. Now hurry up and find it, and I'll let you bring me along when you escape. That's so funny, I'll let you bring me along. Okay, so I guess we just have to break these here. Then we should, oh! Oh, I thought that there would just be a hole right away, but it looks like we have to find it. Oh, we probably just grabbed that and pull over that way. There we are, very nice. See, <laughs> where would you be without me? You're really getting the hang of those thousand fold arms, Mario. Yeah, let's go, let's make our way up here. It's funny that a uh, clothes pin was holding Bowser. Oh, and here's a save block. Let's save. That's so cool, the way that saving works in this game. Save complete, huh? Guess that means your adventure up to this point has been saved. Phew, let's make a habit of saving every time we see another one of these si shiny blocks, okay? Oh, and you'll find all sorts of helpful stuff if you open the menu with plus. If you wanna try some other options, or if you need help, check out that section of the menu. Yeah, that's fine, we're fine. We're gonna head up here now. And we have 50 HP, which is very nice. Let's make our way up here. This looks so much like a room that you would see in Paper Mario. I was going, huh, hey, slow down. I'm walking with my face here. 
what else do you have to say? Nobody makes Bowser walk with his face. I mean, obviously they did. But they're not gonna get away with it. That's so funny. Phew! Yeah, we made it to the top. Let's get out of here. Okay, so we should be up high in Peach's castle now. Yeah, here's the top part of Peach's castle. And out we come through this door. But where are we going to want to go next? Let's ask Olivia for advice. Oh, thank you for calling on me with X. It's my first hint. Now for an actual hint. Uh, where do you think the secret exit leads? Oh, I bet that's a secret too. Oh, that's so funny. All right, let's go here. Here's a big door that is opening. And look who's coming out. It's Princess Peach and a yellow shy guy. She can't see me like this. That's funny. Why are you still so flat? Why haven't you joined me in folded glory? Um, we can reshape you. We don't want to be reshaped. Asians, princess. So we'll do just fine. So, you're Mario, Princess Peach's hero, right? Yes, you'll do quite well. Very crisp. Bright colors. I can see it now. So, what do you say? Hey, <laughs> Bowser goes, hey, I'm crisp. So, what do you say? Would you volunteer your paper body to the cause? Or will we have to get cramply? Join us, yes or no? No, we will not join. Ah, I expected nothing less. And to be honest, I wouldn't have it any other way. Take a good long look at Princess Peach. She's better this way, don't you think? No need to answer. You'll soon feel the power of origami for yourself. Bolded soldier, come forth! Who's gonna come out? They have got a folded Goomba! Is that the Goomba from before? I've never seen a folded soldier like that, Mario! Does it look like one of your flat paper friends? I never got to see Toad! This is the one that wanted to see Toad. He got all folded up. Now are we gonna have to battle him? Prepare to be folded! Wave battle! All right, so it looks like our first battle of the game. This is quite exciting. Okay, so are they gonna be messed up? Oh no, I'm guessing this is your first time facing folded soldiers, Mario. Not exactly, I've played this game before. Once these flat paper folks have been turned into folded soldiers, we can't turn them back. Seems cruel to fight them, but if we don't, they'll try to fold you into origami too. I'd help you attack, but my tiny arms don't pack much of a punch. I don't wanna get in your way, so I'll cheer you on, but you'll have to do the heavy lifting yourself. Okay, very easy move, line them up. Okay, so. Battles in this game are just incredible. And hey, did you catch the first message? It said something about a wave battle. Are we in some kind of splash zone? That's not what they mean by wave. I guess we'll worry about that when we get to it. Let's just focus on these enemies for now, Mario. Speaking of, you're surrounded by four folded soldiers, huh? Where did the other three come from? If they all attack at once, you'll get a real pummeling. This looks rough. Hey, I just had a great idea. If you line up all four of them, you can jump your way down the road. Boop, boop, bit, bam. Okay, let's do that. Yeah, we want to line them all up in a straight line. Luckily for us, though, these rings will let us move the enemies around and group them together. Yeah, so let's select our ring. Very easy. There's just one naughty Goomba out of place right now. Yeah, so let's grab this one. Now use that to rotate the ring. Yep, very nice. Let's go like this. Perfect. We lined them all up. Oh, and when you line up enemies in straight lines like this with jumps, then you actually uh, deal more damage. Yeah, your attack power is times 1.5x. I forgot how to multiply by a point. Uh, oh, whatever, you get what I mean. Your attacks will do more damage, exactly. So keep lining up those enemies. Okay, so let's jump. Yeah, it'd be very nice with a jump. Because the hammer attacks a different range. A hammer attacks a square in front of you like that. But with boots, you jump in a straight line ahead of you like this. And we also time our jumps. And we'll deal more damage. Oh, that's such a satisfying sound. I remember that sound. I haven't heard that sound in probably years, which is wild to think. Wow, those world famous Mario jumps don't disappoint. You took out all four Goombas with a single jump attack. Is there gonna be a wave two now? Lining up your enemies is totally worth the effort. Okay, last wave. Okay, so there's one more wave. Now they're in a square. Ah, more folded soldiers. I guess some battles are gonna have enemies attacking in waves. Oh, I guess that's why it's called a wave battle. You see last wave pop up, that means we're on the last group. Hang tough, Mario. These guys are lined up a little differently, so show me your hammer attack next. And they move. Okay, so now we just have to adjust them. You can move either the first ring over or the second ring over. Your hammer will hit a shorter, wider area with one powerful blow. Yeah, so we want to line them up in a square like that. It'd be great if you could get all four folded soldiers on those spaces. And you know what I probably could do? I wonder if they'd let me move this. Yeah, I could also move it like this because that also works. Oh, hey, that'll work. They're not on the red circles, but they're all in range of your hammer. And they're lined up perfectly, so your attack power went up by 1.5x. I'll uh, let you do the math. Okay, time to swing that hammer of yours. Yeah, so if we wanted to jump right now, then we'd only attack two of them. But with a the hammer attack, we hit all four of these guys. Well, the timing for the hammer is a bit tricky. Let's see. Nice! Okay, we got great timing over there, and we took them all out. Okay, that's perfect. 
Did you see that? Blop! Ah, what a satisfying attack. Fast, flashy, and flattening. But only if you arrange your enemies into a successful lineup. Jump attacks and hammer attacks both have their ideal lineups. Always think carefully about how your enemies are lined up before you attack, okay? Okay! Oh, and look at all that money we get. Wow, that's a lot of money. No damage bonus, wave battle bonus. 540 coins, we're rich now. That is so nice. Those are all defeated. So, you defeated the first Goomba. Bravo! I assure you, it is far from the deadliest creature in this realm. I suppose there's no point in maintaining this charade any longer. We're gonna find out who he is. The shy guy starts floating, raises his arms, starts to fold up, and look who he is! He is! Who is this? Brother! It is Olivia's brother! No, it can't be! Oh, and Bowser goes, Now that is dysfunctional! No, it can't be! I didn't want to believe it could be you! How many times did I tell you to stop? Please, you have to stop now! Why couldn't Mario have simply left you in that wall where I put you? Sister, if you stand in the way of my ambition, I'm afraid you will not share in my glorious family. Oh, and by the way, I am no longer your brother Ollie. I am King Ollie! Now King Ollie, no longer Prince Ollie. He floats up high. Cool camera view here. By the time I am done, all of those miserable toads will be folded. The flimsy paper minions of Bowser shall be reborn as loyal folded soldiers, serving me. And I shall fold, crease and bend the entire paper world to my whim. The birth of a new origami kingdom. What is King Ollie going to do? He is going to turn this paper kingdom all into origami. And we've got these streamers coming across everywhere. The red, blue, green, yellow. I think there's also pink. But look at it. It's wrapping up the castle over here. This is quite scary. Everyone is panicking over here. Mario's swinging his arms. Bowser's scared. Olivia's scared. Wait, Bowser, are you going to run away? Are we going to run away? What's going to happen over here? Oh, look who's coming over here. A shy guy is coming on the clown car. Okay, we're running down here because we have to run away from these streamers here. We jump into the clown car. Oh, that's so nice. But look at these streamers. These streamers are all wrapping up around the castle. Meanwhile, we're able to make it away. We've got some nice orchestral music playing. But looks like King Ollie has a grip on this castle. And you know what? A castle being stolen and ripped up into the sky. That is a super cool reference to the original Paper Mario. Because in the original Paper Mario, something similar happens. Where Bowser gets his castle underneath Princess Peach's castle, undermining the foundation. Oh no, and look, there goes Luigi's hat. Luigi's hat fell down there. Oh boy, wait, are we gonna go for the hat or where are we gonna go? Looks like we're flying down. Oh, but, oh no, the clown car crashes and we go flying out. The shy guy decides to go for saving Bowser instead of saving us and we're just falling off somewhere. But yeah, in the, looks like Princess Peach's castle's flying off. It's put up on top of a mountain way off in the distance, and all of the streamers are holding Princess Peach's castle in place. Saving! So where are we going to end up? Let's see where we end up. Oh no, we're falling! Just like in the original Paper Mario game, you fall from the sky. Oh, now we're in a tree. Okay, so you hit the A button a few times, and there we go. We pop out of the tree. Oh, and look, there's confetti there. Oh, confetti's falling from the trees. Confetti is a big part of this game. Oh, oh, and I can walk around already. Okay, so let's do this. Use the thousand- Oh, you need Olivia to use the thousand-fold arm technique. I actually forgot about that. Okay. So, hammer these trees. Looks like Olivia's not in there. Where could Olivia be? Are you in this tree? I actually don't remember where Olivia is because I haven't played this in a while. It's actually been probably years since I've played this. Where is Olivia? Where in the world is Olivia? Okay, it looks like we can't go down here. Olivia, where are you? Where are you, Olivia? I actually don't remember where Olivia is. Oh, maybe I could hammer this? Nope. Can I come down here? Where do I get Olivia from? Okay, there's a question mark block in the distance there. But... Where in the world can Olivia be? Olivia! Olivia! How could we lose you, Olivia? Did I hammer this tree? Oh, we could go down this way. This is where the path is that we have to go. Oh, look, there's a big gap here. Watch out! Unless you can float like me. I'd be careful over there, Mario. Do you see that huge hole in the ground? I don't think you'd like falling into it. Maybe there's a way to fix it. But how? Uh, oh, I've got to catch this. And we get empty confetti bag. Very exciting. Did you see the colorful scraps of paper that showered out of the tree when you fell? That's confetti! Everything here is made out of paper, and of course, every little bit of confetti is like a tiny piece of our world. That's why I think if you gather up enough confetti and sprinkle it on that hole, it might just fix the problem. Yes, right now it's empty. See that little icon that's urgently flashing? That tells you how much confetti you have. Can you try hitting flowers, grass, and trees with your hammer to knock confetti loose? 
And once you're done, I might need rescuing again. So sorry. No problem, Olivia. He can come and save you. Got a lot of confetti here. Let's just keep hammering this tree. Get some confetti. Okay, is that enough or do we need more still? Okay, we can hammer this stuff to get some confetti. Okay, there you go. That should be enough. Mario, I have a feeling you've collected enough confetti by now. Try heading over to the hole very carefully. All right, let's go. And let's not fall in. Now we're going to press DL and ZR. All right, now what you want to do here is get kind of close to the totally scary pit. When you're ready, press ZR. Wait, does ZL also work? You don't have to do the sound effects, but I think they're kind of fun. Pa, pa, pa. And there we go. And you get some money whenever you fill in these holes, which is nice. Did it work? It sounded like it worked. Well, if it worked this one time, it should work every time you find one of these. Call me optimistic. You know, you're going from a specific case to a universal. I don't know if that's always true. In fact, some would say that it isn't always true. It only works if you go the other way. Ah, oh, Olivia's blushing. She's all red. Oh, no. I hope you won't always remember me for this moment alone, Mario. Maybe you can help me get my head unstuck somehow. Yeah, we'll try. Okay, let's hold A. And we're going to... Pull you out, pop you out like that. There we go. Oh no, she landed on her head. That's so funny. We're flattened now. Let's get back up. Whew, that's much better. Thank you. Olivia looks around. All right, now, where are we? There's no one around to ask for directions. This could be a problem. Seems like all we could do is explore this area for a bit. I don't know how much help I'll be, but I'll always be here to chat if you press X. I'll do my best. Okay, so let's get... We do want to hammer these trees, because we don't know if maybe there'll be something nice that we could get from one of these trees. So, let's get some confetti on the way. Yeah, and we can also flatten these flowers. Those flowers give us some confetti. So now we have some more confetti, so now we're ready if we run into another hole. I think there were no holes that way, but we should be able to use this now. Oh, one of these here! Oh, that means my brother's already folding this whole world to his whims. That's bad news. Okay, let's use a thousand-fold arms. And now, we want to whack it like this! Whack the tree over. That's so cool how we knocked that over. And now we should be able to walk through there and get that question mark block. That'll be nice to get that question mark block. So let's come here. Hit this block. And what do we get from it? Oh, boy. Let's first see where it is. A mushroom! A useful item that can restore Mario's health anytime. Oh, Mario, I've heard about this. That's a precious adventuring resource. It's called an item. You should be able to see all the items you've collected by opening the menu. Press Y. Okay, yeah, you can use an item. Got it. Very nice. Okay, nobody in this tree. Okay, nobody in this tree. Oh, and soon we're going to be saving toads also. That's another thing that we're going to be doing. So let's make our way along. Let's hit every tree because we want to make sure that we are not going to be missing any secrets. Oh, and there might be uh, hidden blocks hidden around here. Oh, that's a cool view. Wowee! I could soak this view up all day long. I mean, just look at the top of the mountain. It's so... Wait, what's that? What, the streamer? That's the outer crust of Peach's castle, isn't it? I saw my brother's streamers wrapping around it, lifting it into the air, and then it was gone. Yeah, Peach's castle is gone. It's way up there on that mountain. Wait, there it is. See, way up on top of that distant mountain, it's still wrapped up tightly with all those streamers. My brother could still be there with Princess Peach. Oh, he's probably just plotting away. I'm going to stop you, brother. As your sister, it's my duty. Oh, speaking of brothers, uh, I saw a green hat falling into the hole where the castle used to be. I saw that too. I'm so sorry. The green hat was related to your hat, wasn't it? Yeah, it was my brother's hat. Oh, I just knew I was right about that hat. This is a big problem. It might be good to hurry back to where it fell and see what's going on. Oh, and we should look for your brother while we're at it. I hope he's okay too. Yeah, not just the hat. I hope your brother's okay too. That's quite funny. Okay, so here's another save block. Oh, and what we could do, fill up this hole right here because there's a nice hole here to fill up. We could hammer this, get these coins, and on our way over, we could get this confetti. Anything in this tree? Okay, nothing too special here, really. Let's just get some confetti and continue on. Now, our next room is here, and we, of course, do want to hammer these trees. I don't know if there can be some kind of secret hidden in a tree. Someone's here. Hammer this. Go like this. Fill this in. Someone with a mustache. It's a flat paper person. Oh, nice. You could get some confetti like that. Not very green of him. Oh, yeah, because we're going around whacking things. Is the mustache also paper? Looks almost like Grand Sappy. Yeah, our mustache is not paper. We have... Well, actually, maybe it is because we are fully paper. Oh, that's cool. You could just collect the coins like that. Okay, it's nice that we could come back here. He's just hitting stuff. Nice hammer. How can he do that? Okay, let's go like that. A thousand coins. That is nice that we got that. Oh, my goodness. We more than doubled our money right there by getting that thousand coins from that question mark block. Let's fill in this also. And nice to go like that. If you stand over it, then you can collect the money very quickly. Cool hat though. Stranger alert. He's just hitting stuff. How can he do that? Okay, let's go here. Get this stuff. We will take damage if we go onto those spikes. So we do want to be a bit careful. 
Go like this, throw this stuff down, give me those coins. Very nice. That's nice that you can collect the coins like that. Oh, look, there's a big golden ball up there, almost like the things that you'd see in Smash Bros. But wait. Oh, I thought that there were some leaves that you could flip over here. Maybe that's something that happens later. And hold on. There's something to pull here. Okay, just some money. That's fine. Do any of these have an enemy? Yes, the leaves. There we go. Okay, that's what we have to do. Okay, I did remember these leaves. If you match them up, something happens. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on. First, let's see what way we will want to go. We'll probably want to go over there to the left across those spikes if we get invincibility. Okay. Confetti bag and confetti bag. Perfect! Okay, that's great that we got that to match up. Okay. Dried up mushroom and heart. Okay, that doesn't match. Which one is? Ten coins. And ten coins. Okay. Let's see what else we have. Heart was this one. So heart and heart match up. Okay, that heals us. We don't need to be healed. Dried up mushroom is this one. Do we get that now? Shriveled mushroom. Water it to return it to its original form. Okay, and 100 coins for the last one. Very nice. Oh, our money is 1818. Technically correct. Bingo. Nailed it. Oh, and there's a star here. Let's get the star. Now we are invincible. Look at us. We are invincible. We can run along on these spikes. Come up here. Open the chest. And we get collectible treasure number one, Peach's Castle. We are going to get all of the collectible treasures in this game. I think there are 120 of them. Collectible treasure? Oh, it's cute. You should try to collect more of these, Mario. Maybe even all of them. Yeah, maybe we will. Okay, anything there? Nothing special there. Let's come down here. Anything here? Because in here is a hidden block with a thousand coins. That's so nice that we were able to get that. Oh, and we have an announcement. In the top right, check out the Musée Champignon in Toad Town to see all your collectible treasures in one place. Okay, so that's cool that we were able to get both of those while we were invincible. We were able to go get the treasure chest and we got the hidden block, which is nice. Okay, let's pull this down. We're gonna pull all of them down. Some of them might have nothing. Some of them might basically be useful. Oh, they're saying, I can't stop. I can't stop looking at the mushroom. I think the ones up there we do have to pull. Oh, and look at this. A shriveled up fire flower, faded fire flower. Would watering it restore its potency? Okay, so let's collect this money. Oh, this one's moving a little bit. I wonder if this is the one that you have to pull down to get the log to fall. Oh, look at that. Look what's happening. A dried flower fell into the water here. And all of a sudden it bloomed and it flies away. Let's pull it again because we can still keep pulling it. Next, a broken radio is falling in here. And you know, normally you shouldn't mix water and electricity because as Davey504 says, water and electricity are enemies. But this apparently fixes that. Oh, look what it is. It's a dried up Birdo, a very dull looking Birdo. What's gonna happen when Birdo falls in the water? Now Birdo is restored, look at that. Is Birdo going to float away now? Birdo's gonna run away? Yeah, Birdo's very happy now. That little pink Yoshi thing. And, okay, so you do have to do that to continue the game. Well, as far as we know, because now that log moved over. Sure seems like a lot of weird stuff is happening. Yes, you are right, Olivia. Hey, okay, let's come over this way. Let's fill in this hole right here. And we'll get the money that comes from that. Very nice. Give me that money. Okay, let's pull this one down. Anything nice for this one or no? Okay, basically nothing. Okay, but we got some more confetti, so that's okay. And now that we have this log here, we can now continue up this way. And you probably want to pull this down. Is this just confetti or something else? Oh, no! Saw that coming. Oh, oh, I think I know what's going to happen. We hit the tree and look what comes out. Now there's a magic circle here. So now we're going to be able to grab that. I can vaguely remember some stuff that happens here. Okay, let's grab here and pull that down. And that opens up. We get some confetti. Oh, and there's a seed over here. So it looks like we actually need that seed to continue the game. I actually didn't remember this seed. But once I saw it, I remember. A seed that seems to be shriveled up for lack of water. So, let's see, anything else nice in these trees? I do remember that we had to hit a tree. I guess that was the tree that we did have to hit. Okay, and fill in this hole here. And then after that, we could grab that confetti and hit this block right here. Oh, is that another thousand coins? Another 1,000 coins. Okay, we are at almost 4,000 coins now. So we're getting a lot of money, which is quite nice. And let's just hammer this tree also. Hey, but it looks like that is just confetti, so that's fine. We can continue into the forest now. And you end up in a place like this with a tree stump. So if I remember correctly, what you have to do here is you go to the right, and then looks like you're in the same area. 
Then you go to the right again. Oh wait, actually, I think it's actually okay if you just go back to the left also, because then... You get some kind of message from Olivia. Ah, uh, does it feel like we're not really getting anywhere? Yeah, sometimes when the full thing gets tough, I like to take a break to clear my head. Let's go rest on that tree stub. You know, just sit down somewhere nice and flat with perfect lighting, like on that tree stump. Yeah, let's get up there. I think we can't get up like this. We have to actually use this little step here. And here we are. Olivia sits down, Mario sits down too. Hey, who's there? That's a nice little jump scare. We jump off and look around. Oh, the first tree gets up. You can't sit on old Grand Sappy's head, mister. That's right, he's the elder of this forest. Show some respect, he's got twigs older than you. So what if he's been logged by those nasty little toads? He's still the man, honey. I really like the use of music here. And there he is. Yes, yes. <coughs> Thank you, darlings. Bless your bar. You, young man, go back and tell your flat paper friends what a state I'm in. I've hardly the hard word to speak, let alone learn you some manners. <coughs> That's right. Tell him, Grand Sappy, no toads allowed. Old Grand Sappy here hasn't been the same since they cut him down. That's why he's mad at y'all. Flat paper folks cutting down good trees in their prime. Shame on you. Oh, and by the way, you need Grand Sappy's permission if you ever plan on leaving, hun. So now that you're here, better get comfy, because you're going to be here forever. Forever? I think that means a really long time, and I can't deal with that. Uh, Mr. Grand Sappy, we're not with those flat paper people who did this to you. And actually, I'm not even flat paper. I'm origami. Oh, origami, you say? My eyes aren't what they used to be. Well, if what you say is true, then perhaps you may be of some assistance to me. If you can find a way to restore my energy, I may just let you two leave this place. That's so wonderfully generous of you. Truly, I only wish we knew how to restore your energy. Anyway, we're in a hurry ourselves, so we'll do our best to help. I guess I guess if you're going to help Grand Sappy, we'll let you wander around a bit. And... Oh, now the fog's going to clear, right? We see some sparkles. That's all cleared now. I guess we can continue to the right, so we're not going to keep going in circles. There you go, child. Now you can be along your merry way along the mountain. Just don't go wandering off too far. you got to find us something called the Soul Seed. They say that's the only thing that can help old Grand Sappy get his energy back. Good luck! So let's go this way. Oh, and there's some nice music playing too. The music's always fantastic in this game. We're gonna make our way down this way. Oh, we're gonna have another battle soon. We probably could avoid the battle, or we could have the battle. Mustache alert! Wait, what does he even want? Is he headed for the spring? Yeah, we're going to the spring. The spring should be down this way. Let's come here. Give me the money. Very nice. Fill up this one too. Let's go get the money. Okay, hammer these. Get some confetti. I don't want to run out of confetti. Uh-oh. Wait. Oh, can you not avoid these? Maybe if you're farther away, you can avoid it. I can't remember if you can avoid this battle. Now, Olivia's probably going to say something about, oh, we haven't had a battle in a while. Whoa, it's been a while since that first battle, hasn't it? I think I remember how everything works. Do you? Let's give it a shot. Okay. Yeah, very easy. Okay, still only one move, and we have 20 seconds to do it. That's plenty of time. All right, this seems familiar. You're gonna line up the folded soldiers, remember? Right, are you gonna show me how to do it? These Goombas look like they can be arranged into a single line. Remember how to move the rings? I'll uh, let you figure it out. Okay, let's go like that. There we are, all lined up. You got them all lined up. Nice work, Mario. If you do this every time, you'll be good to go. Okay, and of course, we want to jump on them. Let's go, yep, when they're in a straight line, you can use your boost to jump on them all in a row. Since you nailed that line up, your attack power went up. Oh, hey, that reminds me, you know about action commands, right? Yeah, if you press A just as you land on them, you'll deal more damage. That's what happened last time. We did it, without even being told to do it. There we are! Get wrecked, Goombas. Goodbye, Goombas. What's next? Yes, a perfectly lined up jump attack is so satisfying. If you can land multiple action commands during battle, you'll take your enemies out in no time. All right, last wave. Ah, another wave of folded soldiers came out of nowhere. Okay, now we just have to rotate. We haven't had to do the line movement yet, so this is super easy. Okay, and you know what? We could move the first one, or we can move the second one. Last time we moved the second one when we had it like this, but this time we did it like this. Nice work, Mario. You're such a pro. Thank you. Now you can use a weapon to flatten all the Goombas at once. Yeah, we're going to use a hammer attack here. Yep, now that they're placed close together, these enemies don't stand a chance. I have even more good news. You can use action commands with a hammer, too. Yeah, it is sometimes a bit tough when you have to do it. Let's see. I wonder if it'll pause if I don't do it. Oh, I did it a bit early there. Oh, but it still worked. Ah, that was a thing of beauty. You smashed all the Goombas with a single swing. There's one other super important kind of action command. Blocking. Yeah, press A just before you get hit to take less damage. 
Go get him, Mario. Keep lining up enemies and using action commands. So far, we haven't taken damage in this game. All right, goodbye, Goombas. Yeah, give me that confetti. Yeah, release a ton of confetti. That's very nice. And we can also use the, uh, we can also take the money, I should say, not use the money. I guess we maybe will use the money. Still, how are there already full of soldiers this deep into the forest? Do you think they're just going around causing trouble everywhere? I have such a bad feeling about this. Yeah, that isn't great news. So let's go like this. I'm gonna get that coin too. Come here, take these coins. Very nice. Anything in here? Any more Goombas? Oh, there's another Goomba. That Goomba we can actually avoid. Okay, nice, nice. Funny that we're this early in the game and we're already avoiding enemies. So if you defeat one of those folded creatures, it turns into confetti. That information could really save a lot of trees, you know. Oh, that's quite funny. Okay, give me this. Very nice. Now, I do want to hammer this tree, though. Can I talk to this tree, too? Oh, I hope there aren't more of those things crawling around in my branches. Get that one. You know what? Fine, we will get it. Okay, and we got a first strike like that. Do we take out the Goomer or just damage it? Let's see what happens. Only three damage. That dealt almost nothing. Okay, now what kind of puzzle are we going to have to solve? All right, a little puzzle like this. Now we're going to have two moves here. Yeah, because we can't do it in one. Oh, no, the folded soldiers are spread out all over the place. There's no way you could line them up in a single move. Yes, yes, we know. We'll be crumpled before our adventure has even begun. That's just mean. But look, you have two ring moves. Wait, do you see that? It says X2. It looks like you'll get two chances to move the rings in one turn. And sometimes you could have three ring moves. I don't remember if there are any battles where you have four ring moves. I'm guessing that three is the max. I can't remember if there's ever a time where you have four ring moves. But there, we line them up, and I can take out these Goombas no problem. Let's go. Jump, 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 jump. Goodbye, Goombas. And wait, is there one more wave, or is that all? Let's see. Oh, that's it. Very nice. Super easy. 236 coins. Now, what do you have to say now that we defeated them? I can't believe I had one of those folded things hiding in me. Is that what it feels like when you walk into a spider web? Oh, now I feel terrible. Here, take these and we'll call it even. Wait, oh, oh, he gives us some more money. Okay, that's very nice. All right, so there actually is a slight reward for doing that. Ah, uh, do I want to take on you? No, not really. Let's see, I'll just ignore you. Fill in this hole. Get the coins, okay, just a few coins. That's okay, we don't have to battle that enemy. Let's come along this way because there might be something here for us. Give me the coins. Okay, fill in this. Oh, and there's a treasure chest there. So that's probably another collectible. That's probably collectible number two. Let's open up this, and... Nice! Mushroom! Collectible treasure number two. Ah, uh, it's so satisfying collecting the collectible treasures. Now, what do you have to say, sir? Oh, nice, one of these. That's great. That fills up a lot of confetti. You wouldn't believe the restorative power this spring has. Wrinkles gone, dry spots wet. It's amazing. Okay. Let's see what is here. Let's check it out. Hey, this is that spring that we saw before. I feel calmer somehow just standing near it. Normally, I wouldn't suggest this, but do you think we should try throwing something in there? Okay, so the shriveled seed is probably the last thing that we have to throw in. Let's first throw in the mushroom so that we could just get a regular mushroom in case we ever want to heal ourselves up. The fire flower we could probably also use in some kind of battles. Wait, can I put in another thing before we get this? Aren't you forgetting something? You've got to pick that thing up. Oh, that's funny. You can't put the next thing in until you pick that up first. Okay. Are you going to put something in the spring? Yes, let's put in the faded fire flower. Kind of funny that a fire flower gets put into water and then it gets restored because water is super effective on fire in Pokemon games. Guys, I'm going to play some more Pokemon games. Let me know which Pokemon game you'd like to see me play. There are a bunch of Pokemon games that I really would like to play. And now we're going to put in the shriveled seed and hopefully we get the soul seed. Then we could go heal Grandpappy. Grandpappy? Grandsappy? I can't remember what his name is. I think it might be Grandsappy. Okay, let's grab that. That's exactly what we need. A fully revitalized soul seed. Give it to old Grand Sappy. Okay, Grand Sappy is his name. <laughs> what was that sound? All the trees are panicking. Did you hear that? I think it might have been old Grand Sappy crying out. He seemed pretty feeble when we talked to him, but that was no feeble. <laughs> oh no, oh no. Do you think he's okay? Hopefully he is okay. Let's make our way over. He's hurt. <laughs> I hope he's okay. Let's stay away from the Goomba. That Goomba almost got us over there. No time to stop and whack the flowers. Actually, there is time to stop and whack the flowers. That's exactly what I did. What happened to Whispering? Okay, let's save here. Very nice. Save complete. Oh, and the music sounds like it is panicky, too. It is quite dissonant. So... Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, and look what's in the background. We can see some giant Goombas marching away. What happened? Oh, dear! I, I can't look! And it's starting to rain. Poor thing! He's a shell of himself! Hollowed out like some woodshop project gone wrong! 
I can't believe those horrible things ganged up on old Grand Sappy and did this to him. They, they deserve to be chipped. We know what to do. Uh, Grand Sappy, can you hear us? This doesn't look good. He was already creaky. Now he's downright hollowed out. Oh! I've got an idea. Look closely at Mr. Grand Sappy's face. Doesn't it look like one of those holes? I don't think you really have to look closely to notice that. Maybe that means you can fix him with confetti. Yeah. Let's throw some confetti here. And then we're going to give him the soul seed after that. Do I get money for that? Oh, no money for this. Hooray, it's sunny again. Huh, what happened? Felt like some rapscallion was whittling me down again. Did I just dream it? Uh, I suppose that's just the memory going down here. Oh, nuts. Everyone's going to be so happy. Grand Sappy's back, y'all. Let's see. Mustache, check. Creepy eyebrows, check. It's Grand Sappy again, all right. Oh, thank you. He's still a shell of himself, but it's better than being a shell of a shell. We've got our precious elder back. Well, he's not hollow anymore, but does it seem like he could be somehow more energetic? Yes, let's give him the seed. Huh? Do you have something for me? Yes, I have a soul seed for you. Here you are, sir. He chews on it. How does a tree stump chew on a seed? Is it working? How do you feel? What's gonna happen? It's doing something. Watch out now! Oh. On this singing part over here, this reminds me so much of things that you'd see for pharmaceutical commercials, the way everybody's dancing like this. And meanwhile, while you have this and this happy music playing and everyone dancing and confetti going everywhere, this is where they would list all the side effects of medication. Yes. Feeling kind of sappy now, sappy sappy. Like I'm super happy now, happy happy. Feeling big and burly, and it must have surely been you. Oh, sappy, keep on singing like the good old days, oh yeah. Here I go now, here I go now, here I go now, whoa! What great singing we have. Now is he gonna shoot up? Oh, little thing sprouts and... cracks, and up he grows! It is Grand Sappy, back to his former glory. Wow, I was not expecting that. Looking good, Grand Sappy, I'm so happy for you. Yeah, now that's what I'm talking about. That little seed was all it took. Tightened up my timbers and put the funk back in my trunk. I'm young again. I see no need to keep y'all waiting any longer, unless you want to run through that song and dance again. Shrubs, open up for my main mustache and his little lady here. You got it, yes sir, on it, roger that, moving, full shrub ahead. Instead of full speed ahead, full shrub ahead, that's so funny. Great, now we can keep making our way back to Peach's castle. Let's get a move on, Mario. I'm still pretty worried about your green family. Bye for now, Grand Sappy. I'm glad we could be of service. That is absolutely fantastic. We can now continue. Oh, that's great that we got some of that confetti. Let's go. Now, here we are and another save spot here. We can continue on. Oh, and there's something funny. Oh, wait, this is the one that you want to hit, actually, not the middle one. You can check the sign from behind. Do I have a sign on my back? Didn't think so. That's so funny. Let's read the sign. Keep out, unless you want to stay forever. Pretty straightforward, right? Yeah, they made me out of one of Grand Sappy's branches. Reduce, reuse, recycle, I guess. Anything in this tree? It's just some confetti. Fill in this hole here. Jump here. Take the coins. It's so nice that you can just anticipate where the coins are going to be. And just get the coins like that. Look what it is. There's a toad that's trapped here. Uh-oh. What's that? Some kind of face? Head? Hat? Thing is stuck in that shrub. I've got a bad feeling. I'm a toad! Yep, that's a toad, all right. Wait, that's what a toad looks like? Wow, I was way off. That's because my face is all folded up! Please help me! Alright, we'll help you, Toad. That's marginally better! That's so funny, only slightly better. Now I just need some flattening out, I think. If you try to leave, what does he say? I'm still not okay! Alright, we'll flatten you out. That's helping! Ah, can we save the conversation until after I'm fixed? Hit me again, Mario! I can take it! Alright. Just a bit more! And? I'm flat again! Thank you! I don't mean to be rude, Toad, but I have to ask, how did your face end up so bent and wonky? Woo! It's bad! Real bad! These horrible folded guys showed up and started folding Toads left and right! Most of us got folded before we could even ask what was going on! What do they have against Toads? It's not fair! Toads have rights! This is Toad abuse! Ah, I just re-traumatized myself! And then he runs off. Sounds like folded soldiers to me. It must be my brother's doing. I know we've got a few other things on our plate, but you'll help any toads we find, won't you, Mario? Mario nods. Hey, I heard that! I'm holding you to that affirmative gesture, ma gesture Mario! But us toads can help you too! If you brace wide during a battle, we'll come cheer you on! The more of us you have cheering, the more we can give you! Good things will happen, I promise! Oh, we'll charge you a modest fee for the cheering! Should've mentioned that! 
Yeah, you can use toads to help you out in battles, but it costs money. Oh, that toad is a shrewd one, but it sounded like it could be a big help to have them cheer us on in battle, don't you think? Let's save as many toads as we can and get them to root for us, Mario. Yes, that is exactly what we will do now. I, I remember there was an invisible block on top of... Oh, the music here is so nice too. But I remember there's an invisible block on top of one of these tree stumps somewhere. Okay, so let's have a look around. Can we open up this? Okay, we can open up this. Oh, there's a toad to save here. Hello there, toad. Oh, nice, we saved him. Thanks, Mario. I've been in there for a long time. And you know what tents don't have, right? Bathrooms. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, there's no bathroom out here either. What are you going to do then, toad? Okay, anything back here? Not seeing anything crazy back here. Oh, that's funny how you slide down the tent. If you hit this, I think the music might stop. Yeah, the music just stops suddenly. That's so sad, so sad. We stopped the music, so sad. Okay, anything in here? There won't just be another toad here, will there? Let's see? Oh, nice, just lots of confetti. Okay, that's a fine reward. Oh, and hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What if we do this? This could be cool. Okay, let's sneak up this way. Get some confetti on here. Oh no! We took damage! Because I jumped on it too early, I was anticipating that we'd be able to jump on this when it's ready so that we can get those coins quickly. Okay, now, here's our first platforming challenge of the game. We made it! And there is. Oh, nice, a thousand coins. Now let's go like this. Hit that. That guy falls over. Bounce on this guy. Let's get a nice jump on him. Got a first strike on this Goomba. Bam! Ready to get wrecked, bro? Oh, now look at this. Okay, this is super easy. All we have to do is turn that ring and everyone comes into place. There we are. Now we'll probably have two attacks. We can probably do a jump and a hammer. Whoa! There are a lot more folded soldiers this time! We'll never hit all these enemies with a single attack! Is this the end? Is this really our final battle? It's been an honor to fight alongside you, Mario. But we have two actions. Oh look, Mario! The action section! Does that mean we get two attacks in this one turn? Let's find out! Try selecting your first attack now. Yeah, I think that is what it is going to be, Olivia. I think that might be... Little bit obvious. Maybe it's more obvious because we've already played the game, but... Oh look, and we have one toad in the background there cheering for us. Yes! I knew it! You've still got one action remaining! Pick your second attack, Mario! Let's use a hammer on these folks over here. Let's get ready, and... Oh, that was a bit early, too. Oh, boy. Wow, with two actions, you're almost unstoppable! With a successful lineup and multiple actions, we can take out a ton of enemies in a single turn! Always check your remaining actions before choosing your attacks! Okay, and 300 coins almost for that, so we're up to a bit over 6,000 coins. And this here... It's also something that we need. That is a toad, of course. I was waiting for the swing, but then the weird Goomba cut in line. Oh, now you want to swing. Whee! What if I hit it? Oh, I thought that maybe I can make the toad go faster. That's fine, though. Okay, let's get that coin. Let's continue along. Going across a nice bridge like this. Oh, and listen to this. It actually plays these notes. Okay, so, oh, oh, and that's right. These benches, you can sit on these benches, and that heals you up. Ah, Olivia scoots me over. Ah, finally, a minute to rest. It heals us up, that's very nice. Ah, and this music is so beautiful. The music in this game is just so good. Huh? Mario, look at you! You've gone from poop to pep! I'm so glad! I can't face all those folded soldiers alone! You're all I've got! So stay rested, okay? When you see a bench, take a break and heal up. So nice that you could heal on benches like that. Let's fill in this hole. Go like that. Get the coins. Oh, and there are going to be more enemies and toads over here. Oh, wait, 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 wait. One of these have a hidden block up here, because I see that there is a toad right there. I can't remember if there's a you-know-what. One day I'll burn! We must burn! Like me! That's so funny. Okay, I guess we want to save this toad here. Oh, we have to pull him out. Go like that. That's very nice. Oh, thank you! I don't know why I was, why I was trying to cut more firewood like that. I have plenty! Wait. You're still not completely straight. I need you to be completely straight. You like to speak? I guess I'm just a bit nervous since this is my first time camping. Still not entirely sure how to get this fire started. Any ideas? One day I'll burn. What can we do? I don't remember what we can do. Oh, let's see. Anything here? Oh, oh. One of these come out. Okay, there's a toad for us. Oh, there, toad. Whew! The noise I felt compelled to constantly make was starting to get to me. Oh, that's so funny because it was a cicada, cicada. I'll never take bees and quiet for granted again. I should probably retire from my job as a school teacher. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, I think... Hold on, is it on top of this one? Yes, that's where it is. I thought that there's an invisible block on top of one of these uh, bushes. That's the one. 
Okay, so I did remember that correctly. I don't remember how to light this on fire. I don't know if that's something that we could do now or if it's something that we'll have to do later. But, let's see. I'll take on these guys, I guess. Why not have another battle? Nice to have these little puzzles that we can solve really easily. Some people really didn't like the battle system in this game. But, man, I really enjoyed the battle system in this game. I think that it is so cool and it's so much fun to solve the puzzles. If you have difficulty with this, then I can see that it would get annoying. But I guess you could just use the toads to cheer you on. And for some people, there is a certain point where the difficulty spike of the puzzles does increase quite a bit. But it is fantastic if you really like things like Rubik's Cubes and logic puzzles and solving puzzles. And this is fantastic. It is a lot of fun. I really enjoy the battle system in this game. A lot more than I thought I would. At first, you might think, huh, this is going to get old quickly, isn't it? And some people who do play the game, they do just uh, skip past a lot of the battles. And hey, you're welcome to play the game however you like. That's something that is nice about the game. Okay, so there's some money. Let's get this guy out. There's a nice toad. Oh, thank you! I was upside down with the log side up. Now I can be upside up with the log side down. Or something. Haha, <laughs> what else do you have to say, toad? What time is the barbecue fest? Okay, and I think this here is also a toad. Yeah, that plate of eggs there was actually a toad. I was worried I'd be done in by my own deliciousness. Thank you. And what do you have to say? Just glad to be here and not in some horrible Goomba's stomach, you know? Yeah, you don't want to be eaten by Goombas, really, do you? Okay, so I think that might be everything for here. Let's save this toad here. We have oh, we don't have to hammer you. I was hoping for a helping hand, and I got a helping hammer, which is full of surprises. That's funny. Oh, wait, are you scared of that Goomba there? Oh, the soldiers are scary. No, they're not. Oh, wow, I'm surprised that that hammer actually reached him. Okay, how much damage will the hammer do? Okay, the hammer did four damage. I think when we get a jump, we only deal three damage, but the hammer dealt four, so that was nice. And we've got super easy turns to do here. We just go like this, then like that. Perfect. Okay, so now we can do a jump and a hammer to take out all these guys. Let's just go like this. Mario's turn. We'll jump on these fellas over here. Goodbye to those. And now that we're hammer, we'll be able to take out these guys. Okay, let's see if we can time this nicely. Let's go and... Okay, that time it was great instead of nice, but I still can wait a bit longer. You're the coolest, Mario. I'd whistle if I knew how, says the toad in the background. That's quite funny. Okay, do you have anything now? What do you have to say? What a beautiful day! Feel like nothing bad could happen here. Unrelated, I have amnesia. That is quite funny. Oh, 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 and you can see that there's something here. Oh, 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 actually, what we want to do is come from here and listen to this. You can hear it growing like that as if it is a Mario power-up. And when you hit that, it is actually a toad. I got bored, so I bloom. Can you bloom? I mean, blame me. What a funny pun. Can you bloom me instead of can you blame me? Now what do you have to say? I blew myself! And someone to pull out from here, and there's an area to go back there and back there. There's a lot to do. So much to do here. What does this toad have to say? Thanks for saving me from that wood pile, but these creases are so deep, will I go back to normal? Let's see. Maybe if I could maybe I can pick up a side gig as an accordion. Completely unrelated. Why do you think that square patch of grass is a different color? Well, look what's gonna happen when we jump here. Two things will happen. One, there's a block, and two, the toad gets scared. Oh! That shocked the bolt straight out of me! So I guess there was a hidden block there, huh? That's probably a good thing to remember! Yeah, whenever you see something that is a bit different like that, it might be because there's actually a hidden block there. And you do want to find hidden blocks. You do need to find all the hidden blocks if you want to 100% complete the game. Because that, that is something that the game actually keeps track of regarding your percentage progress in the game. Let's hit this. I don't know if it's just hidden blocks or all blocks. I can't remember. So yeah, we are going to try to hit all of the blocks that we see for now. And back here, is there a toad? Yes, there's a toad in a crumpled up ball. Oh, there, toad. I'm so lonely back here with no one to talk to. I had to come up with an imaginary friend. She's actually pretty cool. Do you want to hear all about her? Oh yeah, I guess you can press X to get a hint from your real friend whenever you want, so you wouldn't understand. Do you have anything else to say? I want to get a hint from your friend with X. I can just, you know, hang out and listen. I wouldn't be a bother, I promise. This guy really wants friends, doesn't he? Oh, and I think if we hit this, that'll stop the music here, right? Oh, that's so sad, so sad. Stop the music, so sad. Can I help you? The toad who lives here isn't home right now and has actually been gone for a long time. Where is the toad that lives there? Huh, I can't remember where that toad is. And I also can't remember how to make this fire. I know that there is something that we do want to bring here later. I'm not sure if there's anything we can do now. We'd better hurry to where Peach's castle used to be. Yeah, let's make our way over, I guess. 
I would have thought that there'd be a 1,000... 1,000 well, fold arms circle somewhere around there, but... Guess we didn't see it, huh? I would have thought that we'd see something like that around there. Let's hit this, get some of that confetti, and let's check this sign. This sign says... Firing it up so you could wolf it down. Welcome to Toad's Barbecue Food Eatery. All firewood used is happy to burn. That's funny. And... We are almost at the next section. Is there a battle here or after we make it through here? Toad Town. We haven't had a save spot in a while, have we? Hopefully we don't die suddenly. It'd be very nice if we didn't just suddenly die. Okay, so let's come through here. And we're about to have another battle. Oh, there we go. It just says saving. That's perfect. And what are we going to see? Is it going to be a battle right away? Where am I? Come on. Okay, let's walk through. There we are. Very nice. Oh, Toad Town. Okay, so we are in an area or in a loading zone that is considered to be Toad Town now. Let's fill up this hole. We've been doing pretty good with confetti. We haven't really had to worry about running out of confetti yet. And there are some Goombas over here. Look, they have a big stack of paper Goombas. They're probably going to try and fold them up. Let's come here. Fresh paper alert. Let's fold them up. Yeah, let's go, bros. I'm ready. Wave battle. Okay, so this isn't just a one round battle. There are going to be a few Goombas that we have to take out in multiple waves. And how hard is it going to be? Okay. Oh, wait, have we done one of these moves before? Or is Olivia going to say, Look, more puny little Goombas, this will be a piece of cake. Line them up and take them out with a quick jump attack. But we can't rotate them, we have to do a slide. Wait, something's wrong. No matter which ring you turn, that one Goomba won't fall in line. I'm getting dizzy. Let's stop rotating those rings and think about this. I think there's some other way to move enemies around. Uh, it's slipping. Wait, no, slopping, striding, line dancing. Oh, I remember, it's sliding. You can rotate each of the rings, but you can also slide the panels in a row. First, press L or R to switch from sliding to rotating. Yep, there you go. Your area of control has changed from a ring to a row. Now we're ready to slide. Okay, select the ring you want. Yep, or select the row you want. Okay, it's time to slide. Okay, now we can line them all up. And you know what we could probably also do? Instead of lining up all four there, we can line up all four here. That's it, now they're all lined up. Oh, that's funny, it doesn't really make a difference. I thought maybe Olivia would say something about that. That's not what I suggested, but it's still okay. Okay, but these guys are easily defeated. Very nice. I can't wait to get to the boss fights in this game. This is such a fun game. Okay, and last wave. Let's see, what are we gonna do now? Okay, and it looks like we are gonna do another slide instead of a rotation. Let's try sliding the panels into place again, yes? You're all right, Olivia. Let's do that. Oh, nice lineup. Yep, so now we can deal some more damage and take them all out together. Let's go, 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 and go. Goodbye, Goombas. And 540 coins for that. We are at almost 8,000 coins. That's quite nice. Oh, wait, now what's going to happen with these Goombas? Are they all free now? Wow, look at them all getting up. It's funny that these Goombas are actually friends now. We're saved. What were those Goombas doing? Kidnapping us? And where were they taking us? Were they even Goombas? They were all folded in a really off-putting way. We're taking an L on this one, guys. We got rescued by Mario. But you know what? Maybe we should put aside our differences for a while, eh? We're all paper. Let's wash each other's backs. All right, guys. Let's fight folds with stacks. Move out. And they all line up and run off like that. That's so funny. It looks like my brother really is turning all kinds of paper folks into an army of folded soldiers. At this rate, it feels like the whole world is going to be overrun with them. That is very nice. We defeated those Goombas. And those coins, very nice. Only a few coins. Okay, nothing too special in there. They're going to be somewhere to climb up here. I vaguely... Oh, and look at that. Look what we can see in the background there. Look at those giant Goomba things. Hey, can I reach up there with this? Okay, it seems like, yeah, we can fill that in from here even. That's kind of cool. We should have just climbed up, though. That probably would have been a bit faster. And we get some more coins there. That's nice. Another hole to fill in here, but we're almost out of confetti, so we have to be careful. Give me those coins. Just a few coins here. That's all right. Give me that confetti. Yeah, we're actually almost out of confetti, so we probably have to take some confetti here. So oh, sad. We need more confetti. So sad. Almost out of confetti. But, wait, wait, wait. What if this is actually... Ah, of course it is a confetti back. It seems like this game is designed so you really don't have to spend a lot of time whacking things for confetti. You can just get these little confetti bags from hitting trees or question mark blocks that are nearby. All right, here we are, Toad Town. We're so close to a save block. And we finally made it back to Toad Town. Huh? Doesn't look like there's anyone here. But what's gonna happen? Oh, look at that big hollow spot over there. That means my brother must have already been here, and I'm sure he was up to no good. Oh, and look what's happening! Hang on! There is someone here! Look at what it is! Are my eyes playing tricks on me, or is that creature way, way too big to be real? It's not like any origami I've ever seen before! And what exactly is it doing to that house? 
Look at it turn around slowly. It's eating it! Ah, it's eating the house! I can't imagine how yucky it must taste. These macho papery things must be the source of the holes we've been seeing everywhere. Ah. Yeah, look at that. The paper mache things are eating all the houses. Wait, look at the thing on its back. That's a seal of my brother's face. That might mean my brother is powering it somehow. That's the case. That seal could be some kind of weak point. Maybe if you hit the seal, it will get weaker somehow. And then you can take it down. Okay, let's take a risk. We're not going to save right now. We're just going to go straight for this battle here. Oh, you're angry now. Come. Good shot. It's working. Come here. Come. Come. Okay, let's go. Look at it. Move around. Don't want to go into it by accident. Come. Go! It's destroyed! Get wrecked, bro! Yes! That did the trick! So the weak point on the Paper Macho Soldiers was my brother's seal. You should remember that. Now, what were we doing here? I'm all turned around after that excitement. Oh, right! We're looking for the place where Peach's castle used to be. Oh, yeah, that's right. We gotta see if Luigi's there, because Luigi's hat is there. Well, the gate is right over there. Might as well check it out. Keep that hammer ready in case we run into more of those huge monsters. Okay, we can see one up on the roof there, actually. Let's first fill in this hole and this actually doesn't matter too much right now we don't actually have to sit here because we have full health right now that doesn't matter to us we can go in there later maybe that's the combat lab i believe let's save oh and we can go back here actually a cool little hidden place get this treasure chest here and this reminds me so much of the mario and luigi games i played some mario and luigi superstar saga actually quite a bit of it as a kid wait that was number four did we miss number three where in the world is number three because we've gotten treasure number one, two, and four so far, but we didn't get three. We can't break these, can we? Okay, we can't break those. Let's use some confetti to fill in this hole here, and then we should be able to head inside here. And I wonder if that's where number three is going to be, if it's in here. If it's in one of these houses, or if it's going to be something else. Let's check this out. Oh, and I saw a big paper macho Goomba in the back. Let's check this. No town is in ruins. Paper mache must monstrosities rule the streets. For now, I flee. Long live the princess. Anything in here? Not seeing anything in there. Just want to hammer everything in this game. Okay, let's see. Anything back here? Oh, just some money. Okay, that's nice that we got that. Kind of surprising that it's just some money and that note here. You'd think that maybe there'd be a toad or something. But let's go explore some more of Toad Town and see if we can find any of those treasure chests, maybe. Maybe there'd be something in here. Or maybe we have to go into the backyard. Yeah, over here, it doesn't seem like there's anything that we could do. So let's go to the backyard here. And is there going to be one of those Goomba things here? Is this where that big Goomba was? I think this might be it. Let's see. Come on, load, please. Loud! Okay, there we go. Loaded. Oh, there's a treasure chest right here. And is this number three or number five or something else? It is. Number five! Where's number three? Did we miss number three? I wonder if we missed number three or if we're going to run into number three. Okay, but we can't go up this way. Okay, so let's go back. Let's head back out here to Toad Town. Okay, let's hit this question mark block right here. Okay, we just get some money from that. This is what? An accessory shop. But I'm not expecting that there's going to be anyone here that can sell me accessories right now, is there? Oh, it's actually locked. We can't open it. That's fine. There's a pipe here. Oh, that pipe, I think, just brings you across to the other side of Toad Town. As a little shortcut. I wonder if we could even use that pipe right now. Oh, and... we we'll be able to use this in a moment. Let's just get that. Yeah, sure, we'll take some more confetti. Hit that tree. We can pull this off, right? Can we get on top of it? Yeah, there we go. We could tear this off. Now, this pipe... Be able to bring us somewhere. That brings us to... Way across here. The camera's panning over, and... Okay, all the way over here. Okay, that was a kind of cool shortcut, I guess. I wonder if it is faster to go this way, though. Okay, but wait. Oh, you actually can't jump down from there. I thought that you could for some reason. I guess you can. Now, let's take on this guy here. Go. Hit him. Hit him. Hit him. Oh, no. He hit me. Okay, that's fine. Hoping that we'd be able to get him before he ran towards us. Come here. Now, finish him off. There we go. Hit number three. He's defeated. Okay. Lots of uh, confetti. Oh, and we do want to go here, but I think we actually don't want to go here yet. I think you want to go there later. Can we come down here? Okay, we can open that gate. There are so many places to go. So much to see and so much to do. Okay, we can't break those. I don't know if we could go here yet. Let's read this. The dock. You're on it. That's a funny description. Sorry, I missed you. I'll be out on a mountain until the winds change from Sea Captain Toad. And we can't really jump around. Maybe it would be possible, but I don't think so because of how invisible walls work. So... We fill in this whole 
right here. And there's a save spot up there. Let's get that. And there's no water here in the fountain also. Okay, let's hit that. There we go. Now, you're coming here. Hammer, come here. Hammer. Oh, no. We're getting hurt. Come here. Now, hammer. Okay, it's nice. It's nice that we're taking some damage too, so it's not like we're just going through the game completely damageless because there are some points in the game where you do have to take damage. There are some bosses that you can't defeat to damageless. Oh, but wait, is anyone here? Oh, someone is under here. Keep it on the down low, would ya? I'm just trying to save my own sniff. If you catch my drift, hiding out here until them things are history. I suppose I can sell you some stuff while I am here. Hey, I'm not the owner. Have a sample on the house. The first one is free. You get a rabbit espresso, which lets you run quickly, or a turtle tea, which decreases your speed. Oh, that's fine. Whatever, pal. Now scram. And I think if you hit this, something comes out. Yes, that's right. This comes out. And we all know what this is. All right. So let's use this here. Now, where do we want to grab it? Up here? I would have thought that up there. Oh, that is where you could grab it. Okay. Pull it down. And very nice. Now, you can head up here. Jump onto this. Go make the jump. Okay. Now we can get up here. And there should be a nice reward for us here. Oh, and also, we can do this. Pull this sticker off. Now those stairs appear there. And now it's easier to get back up here if we have to get up here. But, of course, battle this guy here. Come. Come to me, Goomba. Come. I shall run away and attack you. Now come. I shall run away and attack you. Oh, and attack you. Now run here and go. Hey, I'm almost dead. Oh, at least it gave a heart. That's nice. Oh, and look, there's a little sniffet here, right? Not a shy guy, a sniffet. I'll spare you the details, but know this. I'm a sniffet, and I was inside that Goomba. Do you have any idea what it was like in there? Never mind. Just take this and try to forget what happened to me. Collectible treasure number six coins. Very nice. Think nothing of that gift. It's a mere trinket. After all, this home was built with the proceeds from a lucrative confetti sales operation. There are big coins in the confetti business. Come see me anytime, and I'll sell you the finest luxury confetti you've ever had the pleasure of scattering. That's so funny. Okay, it's nice that we get that heart there, but we do have a nice... Uh, oh, oh, I thought, wait, are we going to get healed? But yeah, okay, there we go. Oh, oh, this is locked from here, actually, so we can't go that way. But we should be able to go in here. Oh, and let's fill in this hole, of course. Give me those few coins over there. I don't know if it's even worth going for some of the coins that you get from filling in some of these smaller holes. And wait, are there some enemies in here? For some reason, I'm expecting there to be Goombas that attack us. Yes! How do I remember that? Oh man, that's quite funny. This must have happened so long ago and it's so funny that I could still remember something like that, that there's a Goomba over there. Okay, so we can do this in one move, just like that. And now I'll just take one jump and one hammer. Take these guys out, so let's go. And hopefully we can time how we're hammer attack nicely. Okay, so that's nice that we defeated these guys here. Now let's do a hammer attack like this, and let's get ready. Let's get ready. Are you ready? Are you ready? There we go. That's how you get an excellent. That is the max damage there. And 276 coins. Very nice. X69, X69 for some of those bonuses. Okay. Very good. And in this one, is there... Oh, just more confetti. Okay, I was wondering if maybe there would be toes. Okay, I know that I left a coin there. It probably would have been better to fill this in before taking those guys on. Then we could have actually taken some more confetti. But wait, how do we make it across here again? Oh, yeah, I don't remember how we make this jump across. If you had Paracarry, if this was the original Paper Mario, then you'd have Paracarry carry you across. But us, we can just get that coin. We can't make it across. If I remember correctly, I think later in the game you get something that lets you go over there. Because for now, we can't go there, I'm pretty sure. Let's get out of here. That's enough in here. Too bad we don't have full confetti. Okay, so let's make our way over, checking every house and checking out everything. Oh, oh, there's this guy back here. Wait a minute. How in the world? Oh, you make it past here. That's how we make it to this guy back here. I thought, how are we going to make it to this little guy over here? This little Sniffet or Shy Guy, I don't know what it is. Those horrible giant Goombas showed up right around the time the toads disappear. I heard loud noises coming from Peach's castle too. Just what's going on? Oh, and if you hammer him, wait, did we get confetti from hammering him? Oh, maybe something happens if we defeat all the giant Goombas, then maybe he won't be scared. Maybe we'll come back to that guy, we'll see what happens. Go like this, a wee bit of confetti there. Got a little bit of confetti, that'd be all right, isn't it? Right, let's go in this door here. Now what's in here? I don't remember what's in here. Oh, nice. Wait, can we 
Yes, that's how we can get up. Okay, I thought there's gotta be a way up there. And thousand coins. Very nice. That's gonna be some confetti. Bad as nothing otherwise. Okay, so let's get out of here. Okay, now then, can we... We can't just go across to there. Yeah, I don't think that this pipe actually brings you to there. That would be way too easy. What? The bridge is broken! Now how are we gonna get to Peach's castle? It's not like we can just jump in an underground tube, travel through it somehow, and pop out on the other side. Can we? It's so funny that that tube, that pipe, is right there. Wait, maybe this one does actually bring you there, but you just have to go through the underground section first. Wait, no, but I don't think it does. I think this... Is it blocked, or what's the problem? Or does it bring you somewhere else? This one brings you... Right here. Okay, and you know what? It's a good time to save. That Goomba looked like it had a tongue sticking out. Well, that isn't its tongue sticking out. It's actually eating somebody right there. Well, I don't know if it's eating them, but it has it in its mouth. Let's go like this. Give me that money. That's very nice. Almost 10,000 coins. We are over 9,000 coins. That's very nice. Do I have enough confetti for this or no? Please tell me I do. Come on. Oh, we just made it. Oh my goodness. We had just enough. That's amazing. Okay, that's fantastic. Wait, do I need more or no? Okay, I think... Oh, it's funny. If you try and go through here, then I think this door is locked. You actually can't go through because the Goomba's right there. So what you have to do is, we've already seen something like this. What we have to do is hammer that, and we can go through the window. Yeah, we actually have to hammer the window, then we can come out here. Now, I don't think that we'll just be able to pull this guy out of the Goomba's mouth. I think we actually have to try and defeat the Goomba like this. Oh, boy. You keep getting damaged by the Goombas. Okay, you actually need it to run a bit. Then you can hammer it. You need it to run a bit. Then you hammer it without getting too close. Hammer it. There we go. Finally, okay, and at least we get to have a lot of confetti here. Now, what's this guy gonna say? I think he's gonna give us a tip. If anyone can defeat the world's largest and most disgusting Goomba, I knew it'd be you, Mario. Thank you, thank you. I knew that it would be me, too. Okay, let's collect this confetti. Very nice. Now, we've got a nice amount of confetti here. Let's have a chat with this guy. I came here to deliver dinner, and in a way, that's exactly what I did. That's funny. The red Shy Guy's off the menu thanks to you, Mario. I really owe you one. Not a problem, but wait. Do you not have anything else to say to me? I thought that maybe we get something special for saving you, but I guess not. Okay, let's get out of here. Oh, and I could probably just jump over that crate. That's probably an easier way out, actually. Okay, so let's see. Oh, we can jump over there, which is nice. Okay, we already did take that pipe over. But wait, let's just make sure that we've covered all of our ground here. Want to make sure that we're not missing anything here. Are there any houses that we could have missed here? I don't think we went down here. Oh, that guy's stuck in there. That's the guy that we have to talk to to progress the story! I actually forgot about that. That is a funny little jump scare there. I actually didn't remember that that happened. That this guy runs towards you like this. Stop it! Bro, relax. Relax. I don't want to die to these Goombas over here. I don't want to die to anything, but it's kind of funny that I'm actually taking so much damage from those. Do you feel that, Mario? It feels calm around here somehow. It's almost like there aren't any more giant monsters trying to eat buildings and us. Okay, so I guess that is a hint that we took out all of the giant Goombas. And what's here? Let's read this. The Origami Festival is almost here. I'm so excited. I'm writing notes to myself. That is so funny. The humor in this game is so good. Now wait. Toads or Goombas? I'm guessing Toads. Wait. Come on, there's there've got to be Toads in here. At least one Toad. Oh! Oh, it's good Goombas. Get back, you papier mâché monster. You paper mâché monster. Oh, it's you. Thanks for saving us earlier. Here's a little something for your effort. Oh, you know what? I actually don't mind that heart because I do need to be healed. Yeah, we're just gonna play it safe and stay here forever-ish. Good luck, Mario. That's funny. Okay, but I guess other than that, there's probably no reason to be in this house. Now, can we go to the backyard maybe? And wait, did the music change? Yes! Yes, the music change. Okay, now it is the nice flute theme. And something that is so cool is as you progress through the game, more instruments are added to the Toad Town theme. And at the end, it just sounds like a nice full orchestra playing the Toad Town theme. It is absolutely beautiful. This game just makes amazing use of music. Okay, let's pull out this guy and let's see what happens. Hello there, friend. Okay, so we can't go through that sewer yet. Hey, man, thanks for that. How you owe you on? Oh, but I can pay you back right now with information. If you're trying to get to Peach's Castle, you can take the sewer over there. And they mean this sewer over here. But... Graffiti Underground. Toad Town Entrance. Technically, it's a sewer. But we can't open this because we don't have the little jack that we could put in, or the little, the little, what is it called? The manhole hook, that's what it is called. I think my friend's using it right now. Just look for a red shy guy like me, but not quite as handsome. I think he means the red shy guy that was being eaten by the Goomba back here. I think that's the one that he means. Yeah, my friend definitely has the hook to open the manhole. Would you believe that guy's even more into sewers than I am? Yeah, so we have to talk to this shy guy, but this shy guy actually doesn't have the manhole hook. 
we're gonna find out that we actually have to go get it from somewhere else. And I think running and jumping is faster than just running in this game. Those so speedrunners, they'll just constantly be moving around jumping like this, basically. Hey, let's have a chat with this guy. Now you're gonna say Spike has it, right? Red Shy Guy's off the menu, okay. Hold on, you're red, just like that other Shy Guy and nearly as handsome. So do you have the thing we need to open up the sewer lid? I don't know what you're talking about, but that hook isn't here. Check out the red brick building at the port. That's where I left it. Oh, thank you. Should we go check it out, Mario? Yes, that's exactly where we have to go. Let's go that way. And it's so cool that we could just jump over it like that. That definitely is faster. Now then, I think a faster way to the port, rather than walking over, would be taking this pipe, because this pipe just let us... Well, actually, maybe this won't be faster. Wait. Oh no, that brings us to this pipe. I was thinking, I confused that with the other pipe. So the pipe to the left is the one that brings you over this way. Well, you know what? While we are here, let's see if this guy's calmed down now. Since all of the large Goombas are defeated, are you calmed down now? Adorable giant Goombas? No, he still says the same thing. That is so sad. And wait, I didn't really explore this area here. I don't know if we can get there. I can't remember if we can go there. But we didn't explore this area too much. And this is actually where we have to go in this red brick building by the port. Okay, so, let's see, we have to break this, and who's gonna be in here? Spike's gonna be in here, right? Gonna be Fishy Bumpkins. Hello, Fishy Bumpkins. Ah, oh, I thought you might be one of those hideous folded guys or something. You think something's in there? Could be. Seem like those folded guys are messing around in here forever. Wait, but we do want to get there. So what do we do? Oh, oh, do I just hammer this? Yes! Whoa! That hammer of yours sure can shake things up! Did those boxes just move? Hit it again! And then you keep hitting it. Keep doing that! Hit it again! And look what came out! A thousand-fold arm circle! What do you have to say about this? Hey! Look at that! Wow, very insightful! And now, where's the part that we can grab? Here, here. Oh, grab that corner, pull it over. Very nice! Wait, how do we get up there and get the coins there? Wait, wait! This looks suspicious. And then you hammer it and you get that. There we go. Good thing that those coins were up there, because otherwise I wouldn't have even noticed that that was out of place there. All right, let's go in here now. Oh, I didn't see what Fishy Bumpkins had to say about that. Oh, oh, and you can defeat these guys in a funny way. Go like this, wait for them to go there. Line up there, guys. Now look, hit this, and that squishes them, and you just get their coins and confetti like that. Super easy way to get it. Now we can come over here, get this. Up that block. Anything here? Okay, nothing special there. Now we could push this back over that way. And oh, oh, and we of course want to break this and maybe this one too. And I guess the item that we do need is the one that is way up here. Wait, how do I get up there? Oh, I probably get up from this side actually. So you probably do have to push it over. You get up onto these blocks and you make that jump across. And that's the item that we need. There's the manhole hook. Oh, and there's also a mushroom. That'd be cool. Okay, so we can access Graffiti Underground in Toad Town now. That is splendid. Let's jump out of here. And the funny thing is, we just jumped out of that window. Now it's going to show us jumping out of this window. Oh, well, we weren't really jumping too much. Oh, and there's also a path back here. I don't know if we can talk to the guy that's here yet. I don't know if he is here yet. Normally, there's a mole in here. Oh, yeah, there is a mole in here. Hey, it's not ready yet. Come back later. Okay, so I guess it's not ready yet. We'll come back later. And it's cool that you can see stuff way in the background over there. Okay, so let's come down this way. We'll see if there's anything that we can do here. I'm guessing that this is going to be locked still. That's still locked. What about the museum? Is the museum going to be locked? I don't think we really need to go to the museum yet. That doesn't matter too much. And this place is probably also still locked. Yeah, that place is also still locked. So let's... Go here, we'll save. Now we can come on up. Wait. It almost looks like there's a backyard to that mushroom house there. I'm not sure if there is. But where we are going to go now is we can now use our manhole hook. Go down. And do you have anything to say? I just realized that my buddy has had the sewer hook all day. What a sewer hog. That's kind of funny. Now we can use this item to open up this because we now have the hook. Oh, and look at Mario opening that. There we go! It just pops off like that. Now we can head down. And anyone can head down now. Oh, it's quite dark in here, but hitting that button should brighten things up. Ah, it's so dark in here! Why does everyone seem to like this place so much? Can you turn on the lights, Mario? Otherwise, it'll be dark all the way through this place. Yeah, sure, I'll turn on the lights. There we go. Oh, and look at this. We, of course, want to fill up this hole here. And there's graffiti of Paper Mario and Paper Peach there. Oh, oh, I know who this is. I remember who this is. Look, someone's here! Who's there? Oh, we saved the toad. Yay! 
Yes, I am safe! Oh, Mario, I had to run down here and hide from those horrible folded soldiers! Pardon me, I should introduce myself. I am the curator of the Musée Champignon in Town. It is a museum with a splendid collection of objects, music, treasures, origami, and other wondrous items. And we have even managed to acquire the legendary Super Marino Sea Vessel, believe it or not. I do hope you'll come visit soon. We're open, even with all of the organized crime we have seen of late. It's funny how close he gets. Musée Marino. I'm trying to remember those words instead of that toad's face. It just kept getting closer. It was all I could focus on, but maybe the words were more important. We, should we go back to Toe Town and check out the musée or whatever it was? Yeah, we'll check it out sometime. Right now, we've got another button to hit. And wait, now our enemy's gonna appear? Yes! Enemies are here! Enemies are here! Can we avoid them? Yes, we can! That's so funny how you can jump over that and avoid those enemies. So even if you want to fill in that hole for a 100% game completion, you actually don't have to take on those enemies, which is quite funny. Okay, now, expecting something similar to happen here. What? Can I get that item without these guys noticing me? It's like we're trying to do a speed run of this. Oh no. Oh, that's so funny how they came into me, how they walked into me when I was in the air a little bit. Oh, they're aggressive now. Wait, are they gonna get a first attack now? Or does this just mean, oh, okay, okay. We still get to go. We still get to go first, but I think they're just angry if they attack. It's great to have the toads we rescued cheering for us from the bleachers. They seem excited. You know what would make them even more excited? Getting paid. If you have coins to spare, hold wire. Yeah, that's okay. I don't want to pay the toads right now. The toads, they can help you with healing you and sometimes giving you items even and lining up the enemies but we're gonna try this let's see there we go excellent is that enough damage to take him out beautiful that's exactly what we need okay let's do this now come on let's just time this nicely and oh i'm way too late but that's still enough damage to take them out which is very nice perfect okay so let's get that item that's nice we got that got a bunch of confetti now we can continue on. Are there gonna be any more scaredy rats around here? Oh, yeah, there's a lot of them. Oh, scaredy rats and bats. I wonder if you have to take on more enemies if you didn't defeat the enemies from earlier. That would actually be quite funny if they did it like that. So you don't even really save a lot of time, but you still save some time. Okay, this is a super easy puzzle. We just need two moves like this. One, bring these in like that. So we're gonna have a jump and a hammer. So with our boots attack, we're gonna jump on these guys here. Even though it looks like their heads are spiky like this, they are luckily not spiky and you don't get damage from jumping on them. And now a hammer will take on these scaredy rats. Even if we don't get the action command, we should be able to take them out. Okay, that was just great, not perfect, that's all right. Oh, last wave, I forgot that it's a wave battle. Okay, now what are we gonna do with these guys? Okay, super easy, I'm gonna move the two inside ones because that'll be a bit quicker than moving the two outside ones. They don't have to move out all the way that way and now we'll just be able to do some easy jump stuff. Take these guys out here. Very nice. We just have one more jump to take on these guys here. Sorry, not to take on, to take out these guys here. Like this. One, two, three, four. There you go. All defeated. Absolutely perfect. Now, 631 coins. We're at over 11,000 coins. Hopefully, we could get somewhere nice where we could actually start to spend our coins on something. We're getting a lot of money. Money, 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 money. Okay, now I do remember there's some cool stuff to do here, okay. Oh, lots of bats fly by when you turn on the lights like that. So that's where we want to go. Hey, there's a pipe over there. I wonder where it leads. I bet you can hardly contain yourself when you see a pipe that inviting, huh? If you know what I mean. Yeah, I know exactly what you mean, Olivia. Oh no, it's all flooded. We can't get across with all that water there. We'd get soggy. Yes, that's right. We can't go there. I guess you could go there, Olivia, because you could fly. Wait, but how in the world do we get up here again? I don't remember how we get up there. Hmm, I guess maybe we'll get up there later. Oh, wait, now there's gonna be a rat that attacks us, right? Right? We hammer this. Dirty rat comes out, and I guess we have to defeat these guys. Oh, the music that plays here is pretty cool. It's kind of like an event battle theme. Oh, lots of enemies here, actually. Oh, this almost looks a bit tricky, but we have two moves. So it's just one like that, and now just bring these guys in. Then we'll have two jumps and a hammer to take them out, so that'll be super easy. Yeah, these first few puzzles that you have are very, very easy like this. Oh! That might have been the first time that I ever had not perfect timing on making these jumps. But it's funny, I was talking. It's not always that I am talking. Sometimes I'm focusing on the timing. But yeah, the jump timing is definitely a lot easier to get than the hammer timing. Hammer timing is definitely a bit more difficult. Okay, let's focus here. Let's see. Oh boy, even when you focus like that, it's still easy. It's still easy to mess up, I should say. I did do that a little bit early. 
And now we got this. Oh, now I'll be able to grab this. Hold on, I've never done this with motion controls before. Oh, a magic circle. Did those mean folded soldiers hide it? I guess so. So let's turn. Oh, we want to turn this way. Turn, let go. Grab, turn, let go. And now lots of water is going to burst out. Oh, and it's funny that we actually do rotate it counterclockwise and that does make the water drain out. Okay, so we probably do want to take that path over there to the right. You guys can see that door over there. Let's climb up here. Oh, look at how Mario climbs. That's funny how Mario climbs. Wait, I want to make it up here. Oh, the water disappeared. Yes, I do want to make it up here, but where's the block? There's got to be a hidden block around here or something. There's got to be something. How do we get up there? There's got to be a way up there. How in the world can we make it up there? Okay, let's first check what's in this chest. Manhole cover, number 16. Okay, so we skipped a few numbers. Oh, nice. 100% in graffiti underground has been collected. Wait. There's got to be a way up. How in the world do we get up there? Okay, we could probably fill this in from here, even. Yeah, look at that. We could use up our confetti to fill that in. But those coins might disappear before we could make it there. How in the world do you make it up here again? I actually don't remember how we can make it up here. Oh, I see what it is. It's right back here. Oh, boy. I actually forgot that. That's quite hidden. But in Paper Mario games, you do see a lot of hidden stuff like that. Yeah, and of course, there is a hidden block here. Okay, nice. We got 100% of the hidden blocks in Graffiti Underground. Now, maybe soon we'll get 100% of holes filled. Okay, still not 100% of holes filled, but... Should be something off this way. Oh, more scaredy rats. Do I want to battle them? Oh boy, I jumped on it by accident as I was trying to run away because they were quite fast. Now, uh, let's see what this battle is going to be. Oh, it didn't say wave battle, did it? This might be kind of easy. Oh, how many moves do we have for this? Two moves. Okay, so let's see. We can go... Oh, here's what we've got to do. We've got to move this one over here to line up with that. Then we move these over like this, and that's perfect. Okay, the way that it looked, it looked trickier than it was. It actually wasn't that difficult. Okay, so let's jump on these guys. One, two, three, four. Perfect. And now, we just have to hammer these guys. So let's get ready. Oh, man. You know what? I don't know what I should use as a cue to try to get excellent, because I'm actually struggling quite a bit. It is enough to defeat them. But, oh, oh, over here, we have to save the toad. There we go, okay, 100% of holes filled, very nice. Okay, we can stand on this. Oh wait, and I think something funny might happen if you stand on it, then you hammer it. Do we just jump off immediately, or do we take damage? Oh, that was a weird jump that we did. Mario! Thank you for saving me! And the toad floats off. There, now 100% of toads have been rescued here. That's so cool. So Graffiti Underground has basically been 100% completed because, as we can see over here, 100% of toads rescued, holes repaired, collectibles collected, and question mark blocks hit, which is absolutely fantastic. And we could read this. Graffiti Underground, gate to Peach's Castle. Let's go. And here we are. We are on this side of the bridge to Peach's Castle. Hey, we made it to the entrance of Peach's Castle. That sewer really is pretty neat. I mean, I suppose we shouldn't celebrate just yet. We need to see if your poor brother's green hat is okay. And your brother too. Yeah, that's right. We've got to go check on them. Okay, so let's head up here. And wait, is there a loading zone here? Oh, there isn't a loading zone. For some reason, I thought there'd be a loading zone here. Oh, and look at this. Off to the side. What is this? Hmm, what's all that? Looks like Luigi's cart. Did that pile of junk come flying out of the castle when my brother took it? How dangerous! Where could Luigi be? Yeah, and right now we can't get through to that door because of this cart in the way. It looks pretty heavy. I don't think we'll be able to move it ourselves, but Luigi will apparently be able to move it on his own. Wait, I can't remember if there's... There is something off to this side here. There's a question mark block that we want to hit. Look at how it moves. Isn't it so funny how it moves like that? We can see that Mario is moving at a fine frame rate like this, but the question mark blocks, they just move bit by bit at a time like that. Oh, and that's just some money. 12,000 coins now. Can you believe it? Can you believe that we have so many coins? Believe it, everybody. Wait, this is the loading zone. Okay, I thought there was a loading zone around here. And there's Luigi's hat. Oh, and I do remember where Luigi is now for a moment. I couldn't remember, but now I do remember. Oh, wait, are there any hidden blocks around here, or is there just lots of money? Nice money over here. Oh, and we could get some confetti, which is nice. I don't think we could do anything with that. Wait, what about here? It's not a block here, is there? Oh, that would be a good spot for a hidden block. That'd be a very hidden spot for a block. Okay, there's Luigi's hat. Hammer through this, get some confetti. Don't really need that. And I guess we could also hammer through this wall on the left, probably. 
Your brother's hat! Yes, it is. Huh, someone wrote Luigi on the inside in very small letters. Is that something Luigi would do? Where could he be, Mario? Help me! Oh, it's almost like the hat just spoke to me in Luigi's voice, asking me for help. Wait, how does she know what Luigi's voice is? She never met Luigi. I'm all folded up somewhere. Maybe in between dimensions. Someone help! There it is again. It almost sounds like he's in between dimensions like I was. But how could that be? Ah. Oh, poor Luigi. I'm sure he's met with a really bad fate thanks to my brother. Mario, can I keep this hat as a memory? I didn't know Luigi, but I miss him anyway. Yeah, how did you know what his voice sounds like then? It's too bad it has to be this way, but we can't let it get us down. We will hold and treasure your hat forever, Luigi. Luigi's got to be around here somewhere, right? I nice, so we can just smash through that. Break this way. Anything here or no? It doesn't look like there's anything here, so let's come on up. Lots of confetti to collect. Don't forget about me. Are you walking away, M Mario? No, I'm not walking away. I'm coming here. Don't you worry, Luigi. I think we have to come up here, smash this, because that is the one that causes the thousand-fold arms magic circle to appear. You can come down here. Also smash those, but those just have confetti. So let's do this. And where do I grab it? Here. And pull it over. There we are. Hello, Luigi. Am I saved? I feel weird. Oh, yeah, that's right. We got to flat, uh, straighten him out. My mustache is wrapped around my own neck. Oh, that's funny. There we go. Now he's straight. Ah, oh, Luigi looks so cursed without his hat. Whoa, that's a more like it. I'm so glad you're okay, Luigi. Not that we had any doubt. My name's Olivia, by the way. I owe Mario big time for all of his help. By the way, as someone who's been there, I'm wondering how you ended up trapped between dimensions. It's so weird that they call it between dimensions when they're stuck inside a wall like that. Let's see, a shy guy put me there, but not a regular shy guy. It was thick and edgy. Before I knew it, it had folded me up and tucked me away in there. Said it'd come back for me later. How awful for you, but at least you didn't get turned into a folded soldier. Oh, but I do have some good news. Your hat survived without you. Wait, where's that? My hat! But what happened to the whole castle? And where's Princess Peach? Ah, uh, I thought you'd be happier to see the hat. Well, my brother kidnapped Peach and her castle. We're on our way to stop him right now, but it's a long way and there are streamers blocking us. Oh, that's right! I was gonna go look for the key to Peach's castle. We got locked in, remember? Mario's always saving me, so I just wanted to do something nice for him for a change. That's so nice. I'm really happy to see my hat again, but I've still got to find that key. Let's -a go! Wait, is he going to come back for his hat? Well, we definitely might need the key if we make it to the castle, so let's pin all our hopes on Luigi. Yeah, Luigi's a very important character in this game. Good luck, Luigi. See you later. And she's waving the hat. Look at how cool the shadows are in this game. And Luigi, of course, comes back. Got to get my hat. I do need the hat. Let's -a go! All right, off you go, Luigi. Well, now that we know he's okay, what should we do next? I mean, we're still headed to Peach's castle, but should we look around here for clues first? Well, I guess... Oh, nice. Some more money back here. I guess we can now go where Luigi's cart was, since Luigi's cart is not going to be there anymore, because Luigi probably took his cart. But let's head down here, and I kind of have a vague memory of there being some kind of tracks or skid marks that are going to be left behind from Luigi taking his go-kart because his go-kart was just there and it was blocking the door. So let's... Yeah, I guess we'll come down here now. I don't think there's anything else that we have to get in this area. I think that's all that we had to do. And now if we had here... Oh, and we'll be able to save in a moment. Yeah, look at that. Oh, someone moved that pile of junk that was here. It was probably Luigi, wasn't it? I wish my brother were as kind and thoughtful as yours. Oh, that's so sweet. My sister is very kind and thoughtful. Everyone, please leave a comment saying ZX Mini's sister is very nice. She's very nice. It's so nice to make videos together with her. You know what? Maybe we could have a video of her playing through this game. That could be fun to do. Okay, let's come on up here. And look at that. There are all the streamers. Oh, I think we found the castle. It's right there. But I don't know how we're going to make it past those streamers. They're weirdly strong for paper. Plus, it looks like they're coming from different places. Will we have to go all over the world to unravel them? What an adventure we're going to have. So, if the red streamer is going in this direction, it seems like following it will lead us where we need to go, doesn't it? Yeah, let's head down this way. And... Down these stairs we go. Oh, oh, and there's something up here. Look what's up here, everybody. Somebody help me! Oh wait, wait, that's not Luigi, that's somebody else. I'm in between dimensions!
dimensions! I think that's actually a toad. Hey, it sounds like someone nearby is in the same kind of jam I was in earlier. Should we help them? And I think we actually can't leave. They won't let us leave. In case I wasn't clear, I don't like it in here. Help! Isn't that a voice calling for help? Are we going to ignore it? Yeah, we are gonna help them. Okay, let's go hit this. Then that Goomba's gonna fall over. Now we can go hammer that Goomba. Look how sad it looks when you hammer the Goomba. So sad, very, very sad Goomba, so sad. Okay, there we go. That did some damage on it. And it looks like these are the only Goombas that we're going to have to face. Oh wait, we need two moves for this one, actually. Whoops, 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 wrong one. Okay, I got to hit B to undo that now. Go like this, and there we go. So we had to slide it up and then rotate it over. So that was nice that we had something like that. That's quite fun to do now. Just take on. These Goombas here, goodbye to all of these Goombas. And that's it, I think that's the final wave because I don't think this was a wave battle, so that's nice. 200 coins for that, 228 to be more precise. And we get one of these here. So with this, we should be able to grab... Oh, we grab on that side, that's kind of surprising. I thought that we'd have to grab on the other side, actually. And look who's in here. He didn't really look like he was trapped between dimensions, he looked like he was trapped in them. Oh, Phil, thank you so much. Now I can get back to my shop in Toad Town. Hate to be away for more than a few minutes and see. Big problem, and I'm working on my control issues. But we have weapons, items, and all sorts of useful things. Stop by! Okay, maybe we should stop by his house. Oh no! Oh man! The bridge didn't used to be all broken like this. How am I supposed to get back to my shop? Yeah, we're gonna help you. And now we have 100% of Toads rescued in Toad Town, so that's quite nice. What do you have to say about this? This is fine! This is fine! This is fine! I'm not losing it about the bridge being disconnected! Oh, this poor guy. Okay, let's pull this off. And... Now the bridge unfolds like that. That's so nice. Oh my gosh, you fixed it! Thank you! I'm literally going to sprint over to my shop now. But first, here's a free sample of my wares. Enjoy! It's nice that we're getting all these mushrooms. I don't think we've used any yet. I'm off! Gotta put out the fire that I assume is burning down my shop because I wasn't there! Yeah, you know what? It is so easy to be addicted to working and just constantly be trying to work. Oh, look, and there's a toad up here now on the fountain. That's so funny. There's a toad up there. Can I speak to the toad from here? Yeah, I can. I just can't get enough of the water, even though I'm paper. My therapist says I'm a contrarian, but I don't agree. That is such a funny line. Okay, so now we could probably go to the weapon shop. Oh, and we could also go to the museum, but the museum, we don't have to go there yet. Hey, remember me? Pulled me back from another dimension so that I can work 18-hour days in this shop. Can't thank you enough for that. Anyways, I've got some good items and weapons here. Check it out! Working 18 hours a day is very nice. Maybe not for everybody, but when you're working on a YouTube channel, it is quite fun. Okay, so let's see if we want to buy anything. Please spend generously. Oh, we could buy a pack of fire flowers. We could also buy a mushroom six pack. That's a lot of mushrooms. Okay, so three fire flowers would cost 720, but you could buy three of them for 640, so you get it for 80 coins off if you buy a set like this. We already do have, you know what? You know what, I'll do it. Just because we do have so much money, what else are we going to do with our money? And you know what, why not buy a pair of iron boots? Maybe it'll be nice to deal some more damage onto some enemies. Oh yeah, and those can be used for- Wait, you just got a weapon, okay, you can use weapons. I've heard they have a bunch of different effects, but you'll have to equip them in the using the menu first. Yeah, and your weapons can break if you use them too much. Okay, so that's very nice, so let's get out of here. Let's go! And it's super nice that the iron boots, they let you stomp on spiky enemies. There might be a time where we have to go stomp on some spiky enemies. And it's so funny that when you first get here, you actually can't go up this bridge because the bridge is closed from the other side. But now, we can use this bridge as a shortcut. And yeah, I guess speedrunners of the game, they probably move around like this, doing lots of jumps. I think that is the fastest way to move. I think jumping does let you go a bit faster than just walking. And let's see where we are now. Picnic Road, right? Yep, Picnic Road. I remember what this place is called. I almost walked right into this hole here. But let's just throw down some confetti and fill that up. That is surprisingly not a lot of money. Oh, and look what's here. It's a toad. Hello, toad. I've been hiding in those leaves for so long I turned green. Wait, is that true? No, it couldn't be. All right, I'm just gonna ask. Is that Luigi's origin story? Am I the Luigi of toads? You know what? I'm gonna lean into it. Gonna find a green hat, grow a stash, work on my sneer. Oh, and if Luigi were here, he'd tell you to try pressing plus to open up your menu. And there you can equip weapons, items, blah, 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 mia. Did I do that right? That's so funny. You're just like Luigi. By the way, series called Picnic Road, get it? Just look at those flowers. Oh, and you can also break those rocks. That's quite nice. Oh, that hole used up a lot of confetti, didn't it? But we fill up this, and we see lots of holes over here that we have to fill in, too. Let's see. Anyone over here, though? Anyone in here? Okay, no, that one's just confetti. That's all right. Okay, so we've got plenty of confetti now. 
And we want to rescue all the toads that we can. Wow, this place is really beautiful. Nothing like bright blooming flowers and abundant sunshine. In fact, it's so nice, I think we should stop and have a picnic. No, what am I thinking? Sorry, Mario. It's so nice here, I almost forgot about the streamers and all of our other problems. You know what? This green doesn't look very green, and I don't mean this in terms of just like grass is greener on the other side kind of thing. I mean, this green looks a bit tired, doesn't it? Hey, we probably want to hammer these. Yeah, now we can pull this out. Come on out, Toad. There we are. We saved you. Hope you weren't expecting a treasure map or a scroll filled with ancient secrets. Ha ah, ha ha. And what about this one? Oh, this one just has coins. Okay, let's keep hammering it. Maybe something will come out eventually. Oh, okay. We just got some coins. That's fine. Okay, let's collect these. We can fill this in. Oh, do I have to hammer the butterflies? I might have to hammer the butterflies. That's a little bit sneaky, isn't it? Oh, and there's another hole here. Come here, butterfly. And yeah, when you hammer the butterfly, it turns out to be a toad. Oh, I was flying. Now I'm just flapping. I'll flap until I fly. Just you watch. And in here, is there something in here? Come, come. And there we go. The toad came out. We got you. Yes, I knew someone would come along who had the compulsion about hitting every surface with a hammer. That's funny. Yes, that does describe us. You do have to. You do have the compulsion to hit everything with a hammer. Let's fill in this hole. That's nice. Now, don't come out at me, Goomba. Stay back. Stay back. Stay back. Anything in here? See nothing there? No, 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 no. Stay back, stay back, stay back, stay back. Wanna hit the tree? Oh, stay back, 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 stay back. Stay back, stop following me. Okay. Oh, there's a block there. Wait, was that block there before? I don't know if that block was there before, but you can go like this. That guy gets defeated. That shy guy gets defeated. Now, these toads should be easy to save. Ah! I was just having a peaceful picnic when I got folded. Thanks for saving me, Mario. You're welcome. Now, what does this one have to say? Ah! I missed the entire picnic! Oh, that one looks upset. And this one says... I hope there's still some potato salad left! Okay, let's put on our weapons, right? We should be able to equip those. Yeah, there we go. Iron boots are now equipped. We can sometimes attack with iron boots if we want, and you know what? Oh, I was gonna jump on that guy to scare him, but as soon as I got close, I couldn't move, and he came up to us. Okay, quite a few shy guys. Eight shy guys over here. Okay, super easy rotation. All we have to do is rotate it to the right that way a few times. Oh, but I've gotta hammer these guys. Okay, so let's see. Can I take them out? Let's see. Focus. Ah, too early. Okay, but still good enough. Let's try again. Now, go a bit later this time, but not too late. There we go. Okay, that's the perfect time to do it. Now, they're all defeated. Only 236 coins. That's okay, we still get some money, get some confetti, and we can save this toast. Don't flatten me! This is like having a new superpower! Oh, and he runs away like that, so you actually can't flatten him out. That's quite funny. Oh, and we are now over 12,000 coins. 12,004 coins. Quite a few coins can in here is... Oh, nice, a fire flower. That's quite nice. I will take that. And... Oh, that one was just a coin. That's all right. Now, what's here? Let's fill in this. Let's go fill up this one also. That should be enough for that. Oh, maybe we need a bit more, actually. Okay, well, let's just get this, because I was checking if there's anything there. Okay, nothing here. Let's go like this. And... Oh, boy, I was worried that I would jump out into nothing, basically. But... Or, sorry, I meant that I jumped through the hole, so I think we have to go to the right first. Hey, Mario, I didn't know you were one of the faithful. Have you come here seeking salvation like us? Situation! What's the situation? A Koopa Troopa comes that's freaking out. Situation! Situation! We got a situation here! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Calm down! What kind of situation? Is it a good situation or a bad one? Bad situation! Bad situation! Oh, that's quite funny. Now this sign says, Meet the Earth Velemental, Velemental Temple. Donate worship and donate again. That's so funny. Oh. I see you guys here. See you guys here, but you know what? It will be better to come over that way later when we are a little bit stronger. Things will be even easier for us. Okay, so let's just fill in this here. It'll be a nice place to fill something up. And we are gonna continue through Picnic Road later in a moment. Oh wait, but first, hold on, is there anything here? Oh, we can do this. Get that right there. Okay, that's a nice amount of coins there. Also get these coins back here. Oh, look at this toad right here that we can save. Oh, what are you? Thanks for that, Mario. If you're looking for a fortune, you've rescued the wrong toad. I run the fun, funky, and functional accessories shop in hometown. Come see me for accessories. Well, that's nice. Oh, I like how he's running in place while the game is saving. And since we hit that umbrella there, we can now jump onto this, and we can save this guy here. 
Cheers, Mario! That was right proper swing of the old hammer, isn't it? Oh, he says he's British. Swing like that, a bloke would assume you're wearing some of them fancy accessories. Of course, I don't need to tell you about pressing plus to open the menu to open it to equip accessories. Oh, and there's something really cool about this. Hold on, let me show you guys something. There are only a few spots in the game where you can do this. There are only, I think, maybe two save blocks in the game that you could do this. If you stand on the save block, if you hammer, you actually do hit the save block like this, and the game does save, which is quite funny. Okay, now what about these guys? A real bad situation, Mario. The door to the Earth Elemental is sealed. No one can get inside to pay tribute. The door will open only when all five holy shells are replaced it are placed in the shellstone receptacles. But four of them are gone, and that heathen is trying to steal the fifth right now. We'd go try to stop him, but you know, we're Koopa Troopas. Wait, wasn't I just standing on the table? Why am I down here now? What are we gonna do? Walk into him slowly? That's so funny, because in Super Mario Bros, that's how the Koopa Troopas attack. Okay, but, I also do want to head this way, but we are kind of running out of confetti here. And I fell into the hole and we took some damage, so that is very bad, actually. That is so sad, so sad. And do we have anything to throw here? Can we fill in that? Oh, nice, we actually can fill it up. That's kind of surprising. And are we gonna go down and battle that guy? Okay, the one on this side, we can obviously break. And we can get that confetti, that fills us up quite- Oh, that perfectly fills us up, actually. You know what, let's just come here and save this toad. Why not save this toad while we are here? Let's go, just whack that scaredy rat. And dealt just a tiny bit of damage, but- Oh, is it just four scaredy rats like this? Okay, so it's just a slide up and then a rotation, super easy. So slide up. And just rotate to there, and now I'm just gonna jump on them. And I'm just gonna do the normal jump. I'm not gonna use my iron boots on these guys, because we don't need to use iron boots on these guys. They're not spiky, and these regular jumps should also be strong enough. I don't know if we need the iron boots to defeat the shy guys with jumping. I guess maybe we'll see, or maybe we'll try it. Hey, okay, let's save this guy here. Hello, Toad. Never would've got crumpled if I had equipped a weapon. Are you equipping your weapons, Mario? Gotta stay ready. We're getting a lot of warnings and hints about making sure that we equip our weapons. I wonder what would happen if I position hacked myself to get in there before breaking this. Would the toad be able to run through the wall or no? That would actually be really interesting to test. I do have to test that. Oh, and I don't know if it's worth coming up here now or if we only have to do it later, but hold on. Oh, we broke that and look at this. Look at this, we actually can head up here. Is there anything else up here? Okay, nothing else in here. Let's use this. Now we want to come up here. Let's whack this. Oh, and we broke it in a single hit. Nice. See that, guys? We're saved! Let's rally behind Mario whenever he gets into a fight. Just press Y, and we'll be your 12th toads. Look at all the toads coming out. Wow. Hooray, hooray, hooray. Remember to press Y. Wow, that's great. Okay, now, come down and battle this guy. Let's battle. Oh, I just whacked him in the head with a hammer. He crouched over. There we go. That was a nice whack in it. All right, now these guys. Okay. Oh, 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 this is actually kind of interesting. Okay, so we have two moves. Whoa, that countdown timer just goes, doesn't it? Sure makes the lineup phase so stressful. Hey, it looks like you could press and hold plus to spend coins and add more time to the countdown clock. Bet you can press plus for a long time, but it'll cost you a lot of coins. So don't overuse it. Time is coins, yeah. Time is also money. Okay, so let's go like this. Now we'll rotate that, and there we go. Now they're all lined up. That is the perfect way to do it. Let's use, or you know what? Let's use iron boots on these guys because these guys are angrier. Just so we'll almost for sure be able to take them out. Yeah, so 15 damage is enough to defeat them. Wait, are regular jumps enough or no? Let's see. I don't know if this will be enough, let's see. And, okay, when you get an excellent action command with jumps, you don't even need iron boots at 50 HP to take out shy guys in a single hit, because the more HP you have, the more damage you deal, which is actually something kind of interesting in this game. Whoa, I haven't seen power like that since I watched a documentary about the Earth Elemental itself. Are you going to watch it? I don't want to spoil anything for you. Ah, but you should really see the exhibit first, and the other four shell stones are missing. Oh, how frustrating that they ran off with your precious stones, and I really want to, s and I really want to see the exhibit for myself. Let's head off and find those shell stones, Mario. I'm sure these guys have thoroughly searched this area. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. So we are heading up here sooner than I thought. I actually forgot that we have to get those shell stones before we go to the temple. For some reason I was just thinking that we'd go straight to the temple, but you have to get the four shell stones, and I do remember some of them that we have to get. Okay, so these guys, I kind of want them out of my way. Come, come. Okay, let me go here. Oh, boy! Okay, now let me up here. Don't get me, 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 no! Don't come here! Don't come here! Don't come here, walk away. Okay, nice, yeah, because I knew that there were these question mark blocks like this. 
And that is how you can hit that swan here. Come, because that swan is actually a toad. Oh no, he's in the water. Oh, he runs off the water. That's so funny. Okay, let's fill in this hole here. That'll be a good hole to fill up. Okay, and only a few coins from that. That's fine. Not a lot of coins. Oh, and now we're looking over at that house. Whoa! Wait, why am I doing Toad's voice? Whoa, look at that cute house that's all wrapped up in my brother's streamer. Do you think anyone's inside? Oh, they must be in a real bind. Yeah, we should be able to go there sometime. Hey, if anyone's inside that super cute house, we're here to help. Just hold on tight, and we'll come back after we unwrap the red streamer, okay? That should do it. Consider the people inside 100% reassured. Yes, that is great. And now, getting some confetti. Oh, and we do want to get that butterfly there, but how are we going to get that butterfly? Let's see. Do I have to jump into it? Or will it come down to me? Come down to me! Yes, perfect! There we go. Okay, so all these butterflies are toads, basically. This is almost as good as flying! Almost! But not quite, right? Ah, ah, see! I'm flying for very short periods of time! Yes! Depends on how you define flying. If by flying, you just mean you're in the air, then sure. Okay, so there's an arrow pointing up that way. And I think that also suggests that there's an invisible block right here. Yes, it does. Okay, perfect. We got that invisible block, which is nice. Let's get that. Oh, all the question mark blocks hit. That's nice. Okay, there's a dog here. It's barking, but this dog is, of course, a toad. Hello there. What do you have to say? Woof! I mean, put up your dukes! I mean, come to the battle lab and put on your dukes! Put up your dukes! I mean, I run the battle lab in Toad Town. You should stop by sometime. It's near the museum. Huh? You came all the way here from Toad Town, and now you're headed back? Yeah, unless you know a shortcut. Like, maybe there's a pipe up ahead on Overlook Mountain? I'm still feeling a bit doggy, so I'm gonna woof it back to the lab! Hope to see you at the battle lab! Ooh! That's funny. A lot of dog puns. Oh, I forgot to mention we have a membership going on right now! Free gift for new members! Woof! Haha! <laughs> Lots of dog sounds still. A free gift! Mario, it's free! We should definitely remember to go check out that dog toad's lab. Yes, we should. And it's nice that we got all the hidden blocks so we don't have to worry about that now. And there should be some toads in here. Let's just rescue these toads. Lots of toads are coming out. Wait, can I talk to you guys? Let's see. Or is it just the last one talks? I'm guessing this is the last one. There we go. And do you have anything to say? I'm the last one! Hope you're not too disappointed. Oh, I just meant I was the last toad rolled up in that hole. There are tons more of us to find! You know what would be funny? If that was the last toad that you saved in the game, would he still say there are tons more of us to find? Or would he say, oh, you actually saved all of us now? Ah, the sun, the sky, the fresh air! I'm free! Wait, are you just going to stand here now? Are you just going to stand here? Do you have any idea how deficient in vitamin D I am right now? I'm gonna stand here until I get enough. Oh, and look at that. I guess this toad came out of the tree. Are you hitting all the trees around here or just mine? Well, I guess all the- Oh, oh, I actually <laughs> fell here accidentally. Okay, let's get rid of these holes. Now, where can you run to? Hey! Hey, 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 hey! Get rid of that one. Then that one. And this one, and now you're gonna run to here, right? Come! Come! No! Oh, I messed it up still! Oh my goodness, how are we gonna hammer this guy? I remember the first time that I was here, I didn't struggle with this, so why am I struggling with this now? This is so silly. Okay, come. There we go! Okay, that time I didn't even need him to go to that other hole. Oh, that was you! I wouldn't have made it so hard if I'd known! Here, let me make it up to you! Oh, nice! A thousand coins, thank you. That's quite nice. I found that in the ground, by the way. Do you think those guys walking around with metal, de metal detectors might be onto something? Guys, have you ever seen people at beaches with metal detectors? I have seen that before. I remember seeing that as a kid. Oh, wait, and I think this might be a toad to pull out over here. Oh, wait, 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 wait. If I remember correctly, this one is actually not a toad. That's a Goomba! I knew it! I knew that was a Goomba. That's what I was about to say. Okay, but this one here is a toad. It's nice. Surprise, fungus finder! That's kind of funny. Fun fact! Fungi can grow anywhere! Is that true? Really? Anywhere? Wait. Oh, there we go. Okay, we did get the butterfly. Whee! Now I'm free to frolic and skylark around! Won't you join me? Uh, no. I have some other stuff that I have to do, unfortunately. Or fortunately. But wait, I think this one might be a toad. The other one was a Goomba. But yeah, this pair of feet, that belongs to a toad. Thanks, Mario! I was using my sandwich when I started thinking about my sandwich, and I hit a bad shot into the sand's edge. Ah, uh, that's funny. My mouth got filled with sand, which made me less hungry for my sandwich. And look at this goal pole here. This might remind you of Super Mario Bros, actually. And what a cool reference this is, isn't it? And look, we can jump up here, grab onto the pole like that. That shoots out. And what happens when this explodes? A bunch of toads come out. And we get some money, so that's a lot of toads rescued. 
and listen to the theme that plays. That's so funny. And also, if you hammer the flag, look what that is. That is also a toad. Thanks, Mario! Uh, this really works the core! Yeah, that is a tough exercise. Don't distract me! Super wildly, insanely difficult to speak when I'm doing this! But I must be very precise with each and every single word that I choose to say! Yeah, he is really being very careful with the words that he uses here. Okay, but, 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 but. Let's see, let's just stay back from that Goomba. Let's fill in this stuff here. Oh, we might need some more confetti, actually, because we don't have a lot. Let's just take all this, fill in this. Is this the last one to fill in? Oh, boy, come on now. Oh, nice, picnic road, 100% of holes filled in. Perfect. Exactly what we need. Now let's just save this toad here. I can't keep this up forever, but I'm gonna try. Ah, uh, now what about in here? Anything in here? Oh, nice, confetti, that's nice. I didn't know that confetti could come out of a hole like that. Oh, who knew frolicking around can be so exhausting? Well, I guess maybe at some point I knew it because I probably did hit it at some point. I must have just not remembered because it's been years since I played this game. Ah, uh, so weak from being crumpled up for so long. Wish I could just press Y and use a mushroom like you, Mario. And then I'd press B to order a burrito. Is that not what B does? That's so funny. Yeah, that is not what B does. B is not for burrito. B is the hammer button. Yeah, we don't have all of the toads in Picnic Road rescued still. So there must be some other toads somewhere that we have either forgotten about or missed. That's kind of surprising. I would have thought that I would have gotten all of the toads. But where could the other toads be? Let's see if there's anything obvious that we missed. Maybe the toad that we saved from there counts as a toad. Oh, wait, these are probably toads here. Ah, oh, there we go. Thank you, Mario. Wondering how I had already written this letter? Me too, from Toad. Oh, that's so funny. And what about this one? Call me a hipster, but I prefer to send a real letter from Toad. It's funny that it shows up as if, it, as if we're reading a letter instead of them talking. Now I have to actually call my friends. Thanks, Mario. Sarcasm from Toad. And this one. Thank you so much. The invention helped me truly find myself. Oh. Okay, so I guess that's everything from there. And in here is this guy. Oi, you got something you want to yak about? Ah, oh, yeah, that place. There's some kind of weird toad living in there. He sciences a whole bunch of weird junk. Good luck getting to see the guy. Place is blocked by some kind of red stream of thingy. Ah, you can see it for yourself. Yeah, that's right. Oh, and it looks like we actually want to get back there because there is a treasure chest back there. So there might be a toad that we save from that treasure chest. It's a possibility. Or there could be a toad in this tree. Nope, looks like we already... Oh, there is! There is! Get away from that Goomba. I gotta get away from the Goomba, though. Oh, that's nice. Oh, so that's how you get things down that are stuck in trees. Finally gonna get that kite back. Okay, but we want to stay away from the Goomba because we don't have to battle him. Very nice. Okay, that's great, actually, that we saved that toad. It's good that I checked that tree. I guess I wasn't really hammering every tree around here. But that's a good amount of stuff that we did here, so we'll be back here at some point, but for now we're going to continue. Oh, now this is the path to uh, Overlook Mountain. Huh? Oh wait, I keep, I'm so used to doing Toad's voice because we've been, uh, <laughs> we've been saving so many Toads that I'm so used to talking as Toad. Huh, look at the red streamer, the red streamer. Yes, that is the red streamer. It goes all the way up there. Is climbing up there going to be a problem? You know, for your legs. Who am I kidding? You're Mario. You can do it. I'll just observe and reflect from my cozy spot inside your pocket. Yep, that's right. That's exactly what we're going to do. Okay, let's fill up this hole. Oh, and there's an announcement. Okay, let's just save this toad here first. If you stick to the path, you should make it to the top, Mario. Don't ask me how long I've been waiting here to tell you that. Oh, that's funny. And what else do you have to say? What well, part? Don't ask. Did you not understand? A good point. Okay, and what's the announcement? Oh, oh, boy. Okay, and some shy guys came over here. Let's just see what's in this chest first. We got Lush Greenery, collectible treasure number 17. Can we make it past these guys or no? Oh boy, that's, oh, I didn't even realize there's a toad in here. I'm lucky I did that. I tell them how the cries for help got through to you. I'm going to go into business as a psychic right now. Okay, well, goodbye toad. Oh boy. Okay, we got past that one. What about this one? Let's see. Oh man, we were able to avoid them. That's incredible. That's actually kind of surprising. Oh wait, is this the same announcement from before or is this a different announcement? Oh, iron boots, there. That's nice that you get some iron boots before you come across these spinies here. And wait a minute. Oh, 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 wait, wait, come back here. Come back here. Come here. Come here, where are you going? Come. 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 Oh, there. Okay, we got them. Oh, so if you hammer nearby, they fall over like that. Will I ever hop again? Probably. Hey, 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 hey. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come. Oh, there, it's knocked over. Now's my chance. There we go, we got him. Okay, that's nice. These are a bit tricky to get. 
Thanks, Mario! Any more jumping and I might have grown actual legs! <laughs> Strange thing for it to say. Okay, let's fill in this hole here. We'll get that. Now, what about you? Are you knocked over? Hey, I thought you were knocked over. Oh, a spiny came out of that tree. I'm safe! Wow, I was a grasshopper for days and I didn't learn a thing. Grasshopping is the worst. Okay, it looks like there's a Goomba hiding behind there ready to jump out at us. Let's not go there yet. And we'll jump across to here. And I think there's a question mark block up here. Yeah, that looks like the kind of spot where they would put a question mark block, doesn't it? Oh, and... And of course... Use some confetti here to fill in this bench if we have enough. Yeah, it looks like we do have enough, which is fine. Okay, let's hit all that. And wait, oh, oh, we also do want to get up there, so I probably should have gone up there first, actually. Wait, can I read this sign? What does this sign say? Insects are people too. Please be kind to our creepy many-legged friends and approach slowly. Well, insects aren't really people. I wouldn't go that far. Okay, let's fill in this. Save this toad. Just before I resign myself to an eternity of loneliness! Close one! Oh, that's so funny. Right on time. We just got him. We just made it at the last possible moment. Any more uh, confetti for us here? Like some more confetti, please. Okay, over here it looks like there's actually lost confetti, which is nice. You're not gonna attack us, are you? That's nice that you're not attacking us. Oh wow, and that guy's just stuck there basically. Is the Goomba gonna come out? I wanna whack the tree, but not the guy. Okay, there we go. That's fine. Now where's the Goomba gonna go? Goomba, come out! I'm out, Goomba. Wait, what if I whack this? Oh, you're flying, Goomba! Oh, but you're hopping along. And I want to get this. I want to get that. Okay, nice. We got that. Wait, can I come up here? Oh, boy. How am I going to make it past him now? Oh, move, bro! Oh, man, look at how I'm avoiding them. That's funny. Oh, man, that's great that we were able to avoid those guys. That's very nice. Now, give me this, please. Give me these coins. That's nice. Because now there's going to be an auction for one of the orbs. Step right up, calling all saving seekers, coupon clippers, and thrifty types alike. You so with the mustache. Fancy a fair deal? Yes. Yes, I do. I'll get right down to it. What I'm offering today is a once-in-a-lifetime deal. A real bargain in the rough. Look what he's got. Feast your greedy eyes on the miracle orb. It dices, it slices, it purees, and it's one of a kind. That's a showstone. I need it. Now just calm down, folks. And then get excited all over again, because if you don't buy it now, you'll never get another chance. There's something actually very funny about this. Let's start the bidding at 10,000 coins. 10,000 for this absolutely unique necessary item. That's way too much. Who's got that kind of coinage? No. I'm going to say don't buy. And the funny thing is, if you say don't buy, he keeps lowering and lowering the price. I think the lowest that he'll go is 500 or 300. And if you don't buy it at that price, then the other Koopa Troopas buy. And then to continue the game... To progress through the game, you actually have to buy it from the Koopa Troopas at a higher price if you don't take it at that lowest price possible. But we can't let this serendipitous situation go to waste. I've got an item and you've got coins, so let's see if we can make magic happen. Now then, this hurts me deeply, but I'm going to offer you the discount of a lifetime. For an extremely limited time, you can get this fine item for the low, low price of 5,000 coins. It's half price? What a deal! That's still kind of a lot. Nope, not buying it for 5,000. We're saving our money. I see, I see. Now this is a slippery situation we've got developing here. I'm looking to sell, you're looking to buy. Surely we can meet in the middle, just like your mustache. I'm just gonna put this out there. 3,000 coins, that's all for take it or leave it. That's a bargain, wow, 3,000. Why didn't I bring more coins? Okay, not buying it yet. Oh boy, I didn't want to do it, but you're forcing my hand. At this price, it's as good as highway robbery. All we need is the highway and 2,000 coins. How about it? That's cheap. Wow, no way. Nope, not buying it still. You're kidding me. You still won't buy it? I'm losing it. You want this shirt off my back too? Take this thing away from me for 1,000 coins, will ya? I want it, I want it. I can't believe it. Ah, someone's gonna get it. I think you can still say no and you'll still go a bit lower. I don't even want to sell it now. At this price, maybe I'll keep it. Ah, uh, but you got me on the day my rent's due. My loss is your gain. 500 coins. Take it or leave it. Oh, I'm so tempted. No way. Should we go in together? I don't know if at this point they go and they buy it together or not. Or if you can go down to 300 coins. But I'll just buy it now because 500 coins not much. Sold for 500 coins. Sorry, pal. I've got no enthusiasm left for you. That's so funny that originally he says 10,000. But you could get for this cheap. Maybe even cheaper. All the Koopas are so sad now. Mario, you just found the first of the Earth Elemental Shell Stones. Yeah, we gotta go find those Shell Stones. Okay, let's come back here first. It's right there. That's where this treasure chest is. And that is... Paper Macho Goomba. Okay, so let's come on back up here. 
Don't want these guys to catch us. We want to get past them. Okay, very nice. And wait. Hey, that's a shiny looking pipe and such a nice bright shade of red. Didn't we hear something about a shortcut pipe that leads to Toad Town? Maybe this is it. Yep, maybe this is it. Let's just hop on here and tear this up. Oh, there's a hole to fill in in that tree over there. I almost didn't notice that. Okay, let's enter this pipe. I don't think we have to go here right now. This will just bring us to the museum, but it's a nice shortcut. We could come back immediately. Yeah, there we are. We're in Toad Town. Oh, and look at this! Pipes one to six. Whoa, there are so many cool pipes! Bet you've never seen anything like this before! Okay, let's go back then. We don't want to go into the museum yet. Let's get out of here. That's enough of being here. Okay, now... Just... Oh, I didn't expect there to be a toad in there. I want to thank my friends, my family, my coach, my teachers, and all the other toads who believed in me! This is for you! Ah, uh, what a nice... What a nice speech that toad had ready already. Let's just go like this, fill in that hole, whack this tree a bit, grab some of that confetti, Fill in this. I wonder if there's something special for whacking that tree that we just saved. Nope. That we just saved the tree. All this here is confetti. But wait, can we go back here? Yeah, I thought that we could go back here. And there's a hole to fill in and a toad to save. And also just a few coins to get from that. Okay, but let's save this toad here. I had this whole lonely ledge to myself for ages. It was great, but I should probably get back home. Thanks. That was a nice big jump that that toad had. That was quite impressive, actually. Okay, let's get some more confetti from here. Nice that we've got that confetti. Let's take a bit more. We don't have a crazy amount of confetti right now. Oh, look what's on this bridge over here. Look what they're doing. Oh, they're bringing over a Goomba over here onto this bridge. That's going to be a bit difficult to get past. Come. Come to me. Come. Whoa, boy. He actually got me. That scared me. I thought that we'd be able to get away in time. Okay, turn around, bro. Turn around. Aha! Look what I did. Come now, come, come, oh, come here, whack, come to me, come, there we go, oh wait, that was so weird that the exclamation mark showed up above his head after he was defeated, that was such strange timing for that, okay, so let's fill in that hole, let's come here, fill in this, oh, and look at that, there's a toad on the wall, I think we can get this toad off the wall by just hammering this, and he's gonna slide down, leave me alone, you folded freaks, I'll never surrender, never, Oops! Ah, and he slid off. Look at that toad's face. Mario! Oh, thank goodness it's you! I was about to surrender! That's so funny. You know, very often when someone says, I'm never going to do this, sometimes people change their attitudes and then they do end up doing that shortly after. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. There's something that we could do over here. But where was it? Wait, is there an enemy here? I think there's an enemy here somewhere. Wait. Oh, that's a Goomba! Okay, maybe we actually have to do this, though. I can't remember if we have to do this to get the magic circle. Now, I remember that there was a magic circle here. Oh, this is interesting. Wait, are we gonna have three moves here? Yeah, we have three moves. Okay, so we could go one, slide this one down, and rotate it into place like that, and then we could just defeat these guys with some normal jumps here. We could just use our normal boots here. We haven't had a battle in a while, have we? Yeah, it's been quite a while since we've had a battle, I think. Well, aside from the giant paper macho monster that we just defeated, the paper macho Goomba, but we didn't have a kind of ring battle like this. Okay, it looks like you do have to defeat that guy to get this. Yeah, because I do remember that there was a magic circle around here. But, yeah, I couldn't remember where you got it from, and I guess the spot that you get it from is from taking out those Goombas there. Okay, and there we go. Oh! Oh, and look what it is! It's dry bones carrying one of those. Oh my gosh! Wait, why am I doing Toad's voice? Oh my gosh, Mario! This is so interesting, but also kind of spooky! It's the skeleton of a Koopa Troopa! It must have been trapped in here! Poor thing! And we get to have this! Oh, and I remember what happens next to that skeleton. Okay, so we got yellow shell stone. That's two shell stones so far. That's the second one we found! Now look at this guy. Rest your weary bones, poor Koopa! You're in a better place now! And he gets back up. I'm actually a Dry Bones! Hey, I'm fine! And I'm not a Koopa Troopa, I'm a Dry Bones, and I'm just dehydrated, okay? Off he runs. Oh, I look so happy! We'll never forget you. Does that mean Dry Bones is confirmed for Smash Bros now? It's funny that this game came out in 2020, and we still have no Dry Bones in Smash Bros, and it is 2023 now. We are more than halfway through 2023 now, that is kind of unbelievable. Everyone, please comment if time is going by quickly. Oh, and let's pull out these guys here. There you go, one toad safe. Thanks! Don't forget about my friends! Okay, I'll pull all you guys out. Pull this one out. Thanks, Mario! We didn't have mushroom to ourselves like that! Ah, typical pun, mushroom. Sounds like mushroom. Oh, oh, a Goomba's eating this one. Do I have to battle the Goomba? Stop! It tickles! Oh, oh, and he runs off with the Goomba. That's quite funny. Glad we don't have to fight that Goomba. Wait, where's the rest of your body? 
Mm. Wait, I accidentally did that with Toad's voice. You are now cursed by the head of Toad! Oh, I don't have a body! I'm just kidding! My body's just folded under me, see? Yeah, I thought that he'd do that. And off he runs. Olivia doesn't comment about that game. Then we pull up this Toad here. They burned me the deepest because I'm the one they were afraid of! Now vengeance will be mine! Yeah! Oh, that's actually so funny. What a funny little Toad we've got there. Hey, can I jump down here? Oh, I'm surprised that we actually can't jump down there as a shortcut and we actually have to go around. Let's go here. Oh! Oh, and there's a fishing minigame here. I almost... Well, actually, I did forget about the fishing minigame, but hold on. Let's see what's back here first. Wait, can we not come down? Yeah, okay, I knew that there'd be something down here. I do vaguely remember there being something down here that we have to get, and in the chest, we get another collectible, right? We get a tree! Sap Sister! Oh, remember the Sap Sisters? Remember they sang that song and it looked like something that you'd see in a medicine commercial? Hey, okay, now over here. Are you sad? Why are you so sad? Dang old fish got my lucky rock! Wait, how does the fishing minigame even work in this game? I don't remember how the fishing minigame works. Dang old fish got my lucky rock! You wanna help me out? I can learn you how to fish. Let's see here. First, get a good old grip on them ZL and ZR buttons, then use L to aim for the fishies. Okay, flick both to cast when you're ready. The harder you flick, the farther it goes. But when a fish starts getting interested, it'll start nibbling. That's when you gotta be patient. Them fishies like to tease a little bit. Wait until you got them, and then yank back on that. Okay, let's go. There! Hey, okay, can I get him? Hey, okay, when do I go? Let's see. Ready. When do I go? So when they tap? Or am I gonna get a... symbol like an Animal Crossing? Go! Okay, we pulled it up. Wait, do I battle you now? Or do I just ca catch you? It's really small. 24 centimeters. New size record. Very nice. That's not what we need. What we need is the orb. Let's go. Come on now. Be the rock. Be the rock. Come on. Come on. Go! Reel it in! Oh, come on. Just another cheap cheap. So sad. So sad. That's not what we need. 19 centimeters, even smaller than the last one. You know what, maybe that big thing over there that kind of looks like the orb is what we actually have to get. Maybe I have to aim at that. Let's just catch this fish first though. Come on now, come on now. There we go, and this one looks tiny too. This one's 17 centimeters, they keep getting smaller and smaller. Okay, let's go for this here. Get it. Okay, let me come back. Oh, 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 perfect. Come here. Go. Yes! It noticed. Notice me, senpai. I'm ready to reel it in. Let's get ready. Can we see that exclamation mark? That's what we gotta reel it in! Oh, it's not an exclamation mark. Is this something big? Oh! Oh! I remember what happens now. Okay, that one looks so big and inflated like that. Because that one ate the you-know-what. Okay, so we have three moves here. So let's go like this. One. We can rotate that one in. Rotate that one over. There we go. Now we'll be able to line them up nicely. Let's actually use the iron boots because I don't know how much HP these have. So we'll go like this. And... Okay, it looks like that is enough to defeat them because for some reason I do remember getting attacked by those guys. I think they actually have an attack where they spit out the ball at you. So I wanted to make sure to line them up and use the iron boots just so we could deal more damage. So this is number three, right? I think we just need one more after this. That's the third one we found! Thanks for getting my lucky rock back! I guess I probably knew all along it wasn't really mine. Can you take it back to the temple? And, uh, maybe don't tell them where you found it. Haha. <laughs> okay, so there is some other stuff that we can go fishing for, but we're gonna go fishing for some more later. Oh, and we have some kind of announcement here. Let's see what the announcement is, and let's hit this way. Do we get a star for- Oh, I thought that we got a star here for some reason. But I guess when we go up there, something's gonna happen. Oh, and we can see our fishing accomplishments at the museum when we go to the museum. Wait a minute. Oh, oh, okay, something's gonna happen when we go here. Because look, we can almost make it, but then look what happens! A big thwomp comes here! And now, thwomps are just falling down here! So, luckily, we made it away, but look what's going to happen. A star shows up there. This is gonna be the second time in the game that we get a Starman power-up like this, and while we have this, we're invincible. We can luckily run through these guys and just destroy them like that. Wait, while we are invincible, can we defeat these guys too? Let's go. Yeah! Get wrecked! Wait, what if we fall in a hole? You take damage? Wow! Wait, we took seven damage. I thought normally we take eight damage when we fall into a hole. I wonder if we took less damage because we were partially invincible, or if the amount of damage that you take depends on how much HP you have left or other factors. That's very interesting. 
Hey, so let's see what's over here. Let's just fill in these holes. We got some holes to fill in. We do like to fill in holes. And anything down here? Oh yes, of course, there's a toad down here. Yeah, they wouldn't just leave an empty path here. Forget about me! I'm pretty sure there was an earthquake! Are you alright, Mario? Sorry, no time to wait for an answer! I was expecting him to jump over this wooden fence here. Because some of these toads, they sometimes have a very impressive jump after you save them. But, it's like we're heading up this way, and soon we're probably gonna be heading to Overlook Mountain. Okay, we already got that question mark block there. Oh, and soon we're gonna be heading there. Oh, look at the toad that's trapped there. Look, there's a toad playing around with this streamer up by that tram. Hey, uh, toad, can you stop playing with the streamer now? It's dangerous. Just pop on out, okay? Pop out. Just pop out, toad. Oh, sure. Don't mind if I do. I'm trapped in this thing, lady. You think I want to be coming up the works like this? No one can get to Autumn Mountain because of me. And boy, do they enjoy reminding me of that. Oh, so this could take us to Autumn Mountain? If you weren't all tangled in it, I mean. That's good to know. It must be the Reddish Mountain over there, right? Oh yeah, Autumn Mountain's where we go next. I think I accidentally said Autumn Mountain instead of Overlook Mountain earlier. Ah, the blue streamer fluttering with the red mountain in the background is so cool looking. Huh? There's the blue streamer, Mario! It was so pretty, I almost didn't recognize it for what it was. After we take care of the red streamer, maybe we should come on back here and follow the blue one. Just hang on tight, Toad. Uh, you know what I mean. Stay loose? Ah, uh, that's probably worse. We'll be back. Probably. What if we never come back? But, oh, I don't think that any of these flowers are actually toads. Hey, okay, let's just stay away from this guy. Oh, and I think we actually want to go back here behind this staircase. I think that we can go back here, right? Can we? Yes, we can. Look at this. There are a bunch of toads just tied up like this. Let's pull this. And look at all the toads that get saved. And there's going to be a lot of dialogue here. Going to say a lot of things all at once. Got a nice snap in the goddess with the itchy string. I learned a lot today. We're a toad bum with the man with the plan, but you didn't. Look at me now, classic Mario Nosers. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Can one of you sum up all of that for me? A summary? How could I possibly sum up that torrent of toad emotions other than to say thanks? Look at how all the toads run away together like that. That's quite funny. Okay, but I don't think that there's anything else nice here for us. So we'll just go with that. Let's carry on. We don't have a lot of confetti, so it'd be nice if we could get some more confetti somehow soon. Let's just hit this block here. We can't get up from here, can we? Nope, can't get up from there, so that's too bad. Let's come on up like this. Maybe that'll be something nice. Nice, a confetti bag. That's exactly what we needed. And that basically fully... Oh, no, they're coming down. They're coming down. They're coming down. Okay, we got away from them. Oh, that's amazing. I noticed them at almost the last possible moment. Oh, and look at what we've got here. Finally, the peak. What a climb. It must have been for you. Good job, Mario. All right, now we can just head inside, find the streamer, and... Ah, uh, tell me, Mario. This isn't what doors normally look like. It isn't, right? How do we get in? Yeah, look at that. It looks so out of place for Paper Mario. The rest of the game looks like it has very different graphics. Who on earth put the door up that high? I can't even float up there. How are you going to get in? Wait, Earth, that's it. Something happened to the Earth here to make it like this. It's not supposed to be up so high. And look at that, it's a magic circle, a turtle magic circle. But we can't use this one yet, we haven't unlocked it. But it's different somehow. It has to do with the Earth Elemental. But would the Earth Elemental really do a mean thing like this? Maybe my brother used that magic circle to summon it here and made it do this. I suppose we'll just have to track it down and see if it can help us. Yes, that's exactly what we are going to have to do. Wait, oh, this bench is a bit suspicious. But let's read this sign. Overlook Sports Park, so that's gonna be the way that we have to go. And wait, we have to drop down and get a question mark block soon. But I don't want to go down right now. Oh wait, we actually can go here, because we could come back there. But, we don't want to go down all the way yet. Let's go- Hey, hey, hey! Where are you going, bro? Where are you going, bro? Where are you going, bro? That guy's following us. Look at that little guy. That little creep's following us. Okay, but we want to save this toad here. Kick it. Go! Oh, save the toad! Yeah, we saved the toad. Okay, very nice. I can tell you, I sure wasn't having a ball. Ha <laughs> ha, that's so funny. Oh, stay away from me, bros. Shy guys look so sad now, so sad, so sad. Shy guys, so sad, they look so defeated. So sad. Oh, oh, and this guy has some funny dialogue too. What do you have to say? This pipe leads to the Earth Elemental Temple over on Picnic Road. Before those goons wanted me into a soccer ball, it was my job to stare at it angrily. Isn't that such a funny job? Job is to stare at that pipe. Okay, now what we want to do is get that because there's the final one. Okay, so what we can do is let's go like this. Oh, oh, oh. 
Let's see, let's see. I want to knock one of these guys over. Let's see, can I get behind them or no? Oh, I would have thought that you could get behind them. Okay, let's see. Oh, you guys are really trying to keep your backs hidden from me. What if I go like this? Can I get to your back or no? Will you not let me? You don't want me to get to your back. Hey, what if I knock you over like that? Okay. Oh, you gotta kick it to... You gotta kick it to there. What? Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. He got up in time. Okay, so here's what I'll do. Here's what I'll do. I'll go like this. And I'll make you pass it to him. But before he gets up, I will get it. Okay, that's the way that you have to do it. For some reason, I was thinking that I'd be able to defeat them. But maybe I should defeat them now. I don't know if he gets something from it. That's the last shellstone, Mario! Now, these guys, I think they're gonna be upset. Hey, okay, Mario automatically ran to the center like that. I don't know if I actually have to defeat these guys or not. Or... Oh, no, that didn't work! Okay, gonna hit on that guy. There we go. Where are you going? Where are you going? Let's see. I can't see. I can't see. I can't see. Where's your... Where's your sticker? Where's your sticker? There we go. Got you. Okay, now you come this way. Let's hit your sticker. That's good. Okay. We got one hit on you, so let's get another hit on you. Probably takes three hits to defeat you guys. Come! Come! Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, my health is actually kind of low. My health is actually very low. Go! 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 I'm almost dead. I'm almost dead. I'm almost dead. I'm almost dead. Hammer them. Hammer them. Okay. Oh, oh, nice. That healed us. Okay. Yeah, in this game, for some reason right now, I'm not too worried about taking damage. And my HP is getting pretty low sometimes, but it just seems like as you progress through the game, you just constantly get healed always. Oh, and there we go. These toads are safe. I wonder if it's always that one that has the toads or if it's always the final one. Nice running, Mario. You must be exhausted. Here, take this. Oh, thanks. That was quite easy. Oh, fully healed us. See what I mean about constantly being healed? Heard of air guitar? This is air soccer. Oh, they're pretending to kick around a soccer ball now. That's so funny. No ball. No problem. What do you have to say? Visualization is how you really get good at a game like this. Yeah, they're really, really focused on visualization here. Okay, so we'll come down and get this treasure chest here. And, oh nice! We just defeated these guys. It's so nice how after you run into something, sometimes you get a collectible treasure that is that thing right after that. Okay, so there's that. Now, we are going to head up this way. And we're not taking that pipe back yet, because there is still something else that we need. There's one other treasure that we need somewhere around here. I just have to- or sorry, not a treasure, but a question mark block. Is it here? Yes, this is the one. Okay, that's what I wanted to do. Oh, a toad in a box! The real question is, am I the first toad to pop out of the question mark block? I think I heard people talking about this somewhere. They were saying that that actually wasn't the first toad to come out of a question mark block. That there's some other game where a toad did come out of a question mark block before that toad. Okay, but now what we want to do is of course oh i didn't mean to talk to them enjoy your new shiny stone thank you guys thank you guys we want to come down this way and go back to the earth elemental because now we have all the stones so we should be able to make it back easily oh nice and we could collect those coins that's very nice don't really need more confetti oh that toad is way up high now there that's quite funny and if we hit this again i'm guessing that'll come up again like that that's so cool the way that that comes up and it makes a reference to the earlier mario games so, we are now here, we can save here, and, oh, oh, and we can, we collect that money, which is nice, that's some nice money there, and now we can put all of these shell stones in here, and we'll now be able to enter the Earth Elemental Temple, let's put in the red, put in the blue, put in the yellow, and then put in the green, and there we are, all five are in place now, now this is gonna open up and we'll be able to enter the Earth Elemental Temple! On, open up for me, please. That's a kind of cool security feature that you need all those stones to be able to enter. Oh, and look at these Koopa Troopas now. How cool! Those shell stones did the trick! The shell stones! Well, we should go meet this Velimental, huh? I'm so excited, I've never met one before! Let's go! Thank you so much! Enjoy the tour! Oh, I wish I could see the tour for the first time again! Guys, if there is a video game that you could play for the first time ever again, what would it be? Wait, 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 wait. I remember there is a hidden block somewhere around here that was very, very hidden, actually. It's not up here, is it? Where was it? There was... Okay, we've got to kind of look out for it. Earth Elemental Path, number one. Temple Origins, ten coins. I don't know if you have to listen to all these to unlock something, but we're going to do it just to see the dialogue. Let's see what it says. Nice music playing. Legend says... The spirit of the dirt, known as the Earth Elemental, lives in this very cave. It is a mighty spirit imbued with the power to lift the very ground. It is no wonder 
that the meek and modest Koopa Troopas venerate it so, via pilgrimage and gifts. And that's nice. Kinda touristy thing over there. Wait. Where's the hidden block? There's gotta be a hidden block somewhere around here. Where in the world is it? I remember there being one around here somewhere. And by the entrance here, it was a super, super, super hidden one. There it is! Look at that! What a random spot for it! I was just hopping around everywhere, and there we go, we found it. Because I remember that there's a very, very hidden one there. How in the world are you supposed to know that that's there? Okay. Shelvation is near. Let's listen to this next one. To one with a creative mind, these fortuitously formed formations may resemble the Earth Elemental. Indeed, one may pay respects to its hallowed shell this very spot, as many Koopa Troopas do. Notably, the Earth Elemental shell is even stouter than this rock, which is itself impervious to damage. Hey, look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that! There's a guy, there's a guy, there's a guy, there's a guy! Oh man, look at that! Good thing that we found that. Does that rock look like there's elemental to you, Mario? I don't really see it, to be honest. Wait, what else do you have to say? Oh, you just keep saying the same thing. That's fine. Okay, and this, I don't think that's a hole to fill in. I think that's just a scratch from the Earth Elemental. What do you have to say? Pain point. Let's listen to this next one. It's said this claw-shaped gouge was created by the Earth Elemental in an epic battle. Mario? Hey, if it's really you, Mario, you've got to help me. Yeah, because in here there's a toad. Yeah, and look at that. <laughs> Wonder if the other ones also have toads. I don't think so. I think it's just this one, if I remember correctly. Oh, wow! Thank you so much! Oh, wait. Is this one broken now? I didn't do it! All right, it probably was me. I ripped out a bunch of gears and wires and stuff while I was in there. Ah, just put some coins in and I'll give you the spiel. Okay, let's put some coins in and Toad will announce what happens. Is Toad going to speak now? Let's see. Where was I? Oh, yeah! They think this giant couch in the wall was made by the Earth Elemental. But this part is important. They also said that its claws were like its weakest attack. The attack that will really get you is when it launches rocks out of its mouth. So uh, watch out for that, I guess. Yeah, I don't really remember what the boss fights are like in this game. I guess we'll see when we get to them. Hey, footsteps of the Elder. Oh, and I think we have to jump onto these lights. Wait, does one of them not light up or what will happen? The following section of the path has been left in its historically authentic, uneven state. Please, watch your step. Okay, we will do that. Let's see. Is there something special in one of these? Yeah, the last one isn't... Or, sorry, the second last one isn't lit up. Look at that. Yep, because there's a toad in there. That's why. I just wanted to see the Earth Elemental. Now, I've heard that recording more than 400 times. It gets better every time. Is there anything that, after hearing it for the 400th time, it gets better? Oh, and he just repeats the same thing. That's quite funny. What if someone listened to his dialogue 400 times? Hey, 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 hey. Come back here. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Where did you go? Where did you go? Where did that little rat run off to? Okay, well, there's one here. We can get this guy. Hello there, Toad. Oh, it's one of these Toads. Whoa! Thanks for that, Mario! Now I can get back to my shop. It's the local fun, funky, and functional accessories outlet. Set up just outside the temple. Come see me if you need any accessories, okay? All right, I will do that. Oh, and this wall. We're gonna have to do something with this wall. You know, I read a book about this once. Somehow, I still didn't feel prepared for it when it happened to me. Wait, you read a book about being turned into a beetle? That's quite funny. Okay, let's read this sign. A request, do not hit, disturb, or even look at the divine image too closely. And by divine image, they mean that there. Well, let's listen to this, and now Olivia's gonna say something about what? This is the end of the tour? Behold, the spirit itself. Okay, let's insert 50 coins. I don't know if you have to do this, or if you can just continue by hammering the wall, but let's see. You're looking at a holy image representing the full, glorious form of the Earth Elemental itself. Although this spirit is fully invincible, kindly direct your attention now to the beast's great tail. In certain tales, no pun intended, the spirit's still formidable hind portion is described as less than 100% invincible. It is this combination of great power and weakness that has endeared the Earth Elemental to so many. This marks the last spot on the temple tour. Consider donating generously and frequently. Now Olivia's gonna come out. Oh, oh, and we get some confetti. That's nice. Olivia's gonna say, what? Is that it? Is that it? Is that the end? We didn't see the Earth Elemental. Huh? Is this the end? It's kind of a letdown, isn't it? Hmm, this might be silly, but maybe it's worth a try. Is Olivia gonna say to hammer this? Dear Earth Elemental, 
If you're there, please find it in your heart to lower the rocky pile keeping us from the streamer. Lastly, thank you for all of your generous gifts and, um, turtly goodness. Haha, <laughs> I don't think that's gonna work. Well, that did nothing. Now I'm all embarrassed for trying. Mario, do something, please. Oh, Olivia's all red. That's so sad. So sad. Okay, we'll just hammer this. And it's starting to fall. And hammer it three times. And there we go. It falls over. Look at the toads. Whoa, you knocked the Earth Elemental completely over. Uh, do you think we'll be cursed now? What's the usual punishment for messing up a, div a divine sight? Huh? Is it just me or is it super drafty all of a sudden? Yeah, because there's more to the cave. Ah, the cave keeps going. Oh, I can't wait to see what's ahead. It's like a behind the scenes tour. So exciting. That's right, Olivia. Let's get going. And I want to be on the lookout for where there might be some toads to save. Are you going to come up? Come on. Yeah, there's got to be another one. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Come up. Come up. Come up. Why is it taking so long to come up? Come on, let's go. There we are. Now let's save. Now, wait, is there one to drop to here? Whoa. Now, where's the next one? Oh, no. This happens to me every single time. Every single time. Got to be ready for that one. Oh, no, and I missed again. Okay, we're taking some damage. That's all right. Come here, come here. Now go. There we are. Now we want to throw some confetti down here onto this one. And that one doesn't even give us any coins, okay? But we can jump to here. Now this. Let us come across. And... Oh, nice. It's actually a heart. That's so funny. A 50 heart, too, so it fully heals you. Well, fully heals you and your HP is... Just 50, when your max HP is 50. Oh, look at that! That's gotta be where we've gotta go, right, Olivia? But we can't jump that high. That's way more impressive than anything we've seen so far. I wanna climb inside that thing's mouth. Is that weird? Let's do it anyway. That's so funny. Oh, but look at this. By the way, I hope this doesn't jinx us, but I feel like we haven't seen any folded soldiers for a while. And then look what appears here. Folded soldiers around us. Eek, it's like I summoned them. Can we avoid them? Go! Oh, nice! Okay, we can just avoid them like that. It's so funny that we are just trying to avoid these enemies. Okay, and do remember there being something here, so let's get this treasure chest. And we got Earth Elemental Relief. Nice. Collectible treasure number 25. Very nice. And hold on a second. Like the kind of place where you'd have an invisible block. Is there an invisible block here, perhaps? Nope, nothing there. Okay, that's fine. Come here. Oh, it's kind of hard to see depth-wise where this is. Okay, now let's go. Come across. With that. Very nice. Now, is there something down here? There's gotta be something at one of these, right? Right. Stay back. Stay back. Could it be here? Yes, there we go. Okay, because there was kind of a suggestion that there would be something like that. That was a weird shadow. No, and he first struck me. Oh, no. We got hit by the first strike. We probably could have avoided him if we were really, if we really played it well. Okay, so it looks like we gotta do a rotation and then a slide like this. There we go, very nice. Now then, oh, oh, and you know what? I think jumping on these is gonna be interesting. Look what this first jump is going to do when they're in their shells like this. It sends it back like that, hitting all of them. That's so funny. Okay, now with these guys, we gotta hammer these guys. Let's try and time this nicely. We haven't had a nice hammer in a while. There we go, all right. We got an excellent hammer attack, so all the Koopa Troopas are defeated. And it's funny, some of you who have played the earlier Paper Mario games, you might think, wait, that's so weird. Why are you hammering Koopa Troopas that are still in their shells? Because normally that doesn't do... Oh, oh, and there's an item here. Yeah, because normally that doesn't deal that much damage in normal Paper Mario. Normally you want to knock them over first. Okay, but... Go here. Oh, nice, we got... Shiny Boots, stronger than Iron Boots, but can't stomp spiked enemies. That's really interesting. Okay, wait, do we want to come down here? Let's go down here first, maybe. Yeah, we'll come across here. Wait. There we go. Okay, hammered that. Now that all comes down. And there's a toad to save here. Let's see. Oh, I wanted to whack them. I don't know if you could. That toad looks like a DJ. I can't remember if that toad is a DJ or not. Okay, now let's see. What are we going to do here? All right. Is it just like this and then the center one? I probably could have done the center one first. Okay, that looked more complicated than it was, but that was super easy. Now then, our... I don't know if regular boots are enough for these guys, so I'm gonna use iron boots just for... Wait, 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 no, we faced these guys before. So this should be... Yeah, we shouldn't even need that. Regular boots should be enough. I just used iron boots for basically no reason, but we do have a lot of iron boots, so it's okay if we damage our iron boots a bit. And we also have shiny boots in case there's an opportunity where we want to deal more damage and we're not jumping on spiky enemies. And what's this guy gonna say for saving him? And do we want to continue to the left? That's the other question. 
What do you have to say? Oh, thank you. I can't tell. Wait, no, that's not Toad Voice. Oh, thank you. I can tell you how long I've been trapped in here. I'm actually the creator of this exhibit, you see. I realized that the divine image I crafted from my imagination alone was a bit lacking. So I came here in search of the real thing. Yes, I admit the exhibit is a bit of a coin grab, but did I deserve to be folded so harshly by those swoops? Yeah, probably. Anyway, be careful on your way out, Mario. That's fine. I'll be careful. Okay, and... Oh, you can't continue on. For some reason, I thought that you could continue on. Okay, can we jump out from here? Oh, you can, but you just land in the spikes. Okay, so I guess the only reason for coming in here was... ...to save that toad that's there. We can't go up there yet, because that's taped, so we can't jump up here yet. Where we are gonna go is... Let me up here! Perfect! That's exactly where we want to go. And you know what? One of the first videos that I ever made on my channel was how to make it through this room right here. So many people get stuck here. Oh, wait. Does Olivia have a tip about this room? Oh. Okay, wait, hold on. Let's not go down there yet. But wait, 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 wait. There is a reason to go down there, I think. I think there might be something down here, right? Yeah, we've got to fill in this hole. And I think there might be a treasure or something later on, but... First, let's just make it through. Let's get everything that we need to- Oh! Shiny hammer, that's very nice! Okay, so you know what? I am gonna put on some weapons in case we need them. So let's put on another iron boots in case we need it, and- Oh, I've got a- <laughs> Excuse me! Okay, and we'll put on shiny hammer also. There we go. Wait! It looks like there's something shiny up there, doesn't it? Okay, now these, you have to time it nicely. Okay, so now the right one is- or sorry, the left one's gonna come out first, right? Yeah, okay, the left one comes out first. Now it's gonna be the right one that comes out first. So now we need to go, because now it's gonna be the left one coming out first, and that's how you make it pass. And... Where we want to actually go is in here. There's an- there's a secret entrance in there, but hold on first. Let's check if there's something here. Is there anything here? Okay, we want to fill in this hole. But is there anything down here? I'm not sure if we want to actually go down here first. Yeah, there is a chest here. I did think that we wanted to go here. Okay, so let's open this, get this. Rocks! That is great. For 26 collectible rocks. Okay, so let's fill in this hole. And then grab that confetti. So we have some more confetti, but now there are going to be a bunch of folded soldiers. A bunch of these Koopa Troopas. But don't need to battle them, so we're just gonna ignore them like that, and we didn't make it out to this as it was coming up. That is so sad, so sad, everybody, so sad. But, what we do want, to not get pushed down by these, so let's just make our way across. There we are. Oh no, the left one came out first. Okay, so now I'm gonna have to wait one more cycle, because now it's gonna go right first. And after it's right first, it is left first, and that's when you can squeeze by. Then, we need to just get in here, because we got everything over there already, so let's come in here. And we can slide back here. Oh, and Olivia says, Ah, oh, that's so strange. Normally she gives a hint about some kind of shifty rocks. Says, hey, check out that shifty rock. And then that's what, that's the hint that you need to get through there. And this is one of the first videos that I made on my channel because I thought that a lot of people would get stuck here. And so many people commented on that video saying, thank you, thank you for helping me out of here. Okay, so let's head in here. And wait. An enemy. I think an enemy is going to come down, but can we avoid it? Go! Go! Oh, yes! Whoa, Mario, these traps are actually on fire! Please be careful, okay? If you get hurt, remember that you can press Y to eat a healing item. Yeah, and you know what? The hitbox of these fire things was really weird, I remember. Okay, so we want to avoid those Koopa Troopas there. Now should be a good time to go! Look at that! That's a lot of damage! That's a lot of damage that those deal there. Okay, let's go like this. And very nice, made it past there, that's beautiful. Now fill in this hole. And fill in that hole. And this should give us some more confetti. Big confetti bag, that's beautiful, just what I wanted. Now then, let's see, when is a good time to go? Let's go now. But wait, 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 wait. I'm thinking that, is there possibly something else there that we need? Well, if there is, I guess we'll come back. But. Yeah, I was thinking that maybe there's something that we have to do, because in that one, I know that we do want to go in this one, because I think that that does help us. Or do you just need to do that to get across? Okay, wait, let's wait for the little opening. There's the little opening, get in there. Okay, now it'll just spin us across, and then we'll be able to get out nicely. And just head right down here. And we can get to this save block. Ah, that's not the save block. Where is that save block? 
Okay, yeah, you wanna be careful to not fall there. Okay, so let's come down here. Okay, here's another fire wheel. Don't get hurt. Okay, now's a good opportunity. No, run! Oh, we didn't get burnt. That's great. Okay, let's hit this. Now, that's starting to fall. We've got to run! Oh, actually, actually, you want to go in here. Not that you want to run away. It's that you can just crouch right there, and then it isn't going to squish you. It's not that you have to run. And that falls perfectly into the gap so that we can continue across. And some stones even fall there. That is perfect. What do you have to say? That was close! You're already pretty flat, but that thing would have really flattened you! Ah, but I should have known you'd figure out a way to get past it safely! Nice one! Thank you, Olivia. Okay, so... Let's go fill in this big hole over here. And we are also going to get a max up part. Is this gonna give us a lot of coins? Oh nice, 100% of holes filled in. That is absolutely fantastic. Yeah, hey, look at this. This heart is shinier than normal. Oh wait, did I collect it with my hammer? I'm not sure if you can. Max up heart plus 20. Our maximum HP now goes up to 70. And does that also fully heal us? Yes, it does. That's perfect. Oh, it is a max up heart! Hooray! Incredible! What does it do? I mean, this is just a guess, but it looks like you have more HP now. And is it just me, or do you look a bit stronger too? Wow, those max up heart things are great! Yeah. As your maximum HP goes up, you do deal more damage in this game, which is kind of cool. So, now we could hit that. Oh, and there's going to be a hidden block somewhere up here that is quite difficult to find. Somewhere around here. I think it's on the left side, actually. We made it! Okay, Velemental statue, we're heading into your mouth. I hope you brushed your holy teeth. That's funny. Olivia has so many funny lines. Okay, so there's got to be one somewhere around here. Somewhere around here, but where is it? Quite hidden, I remember. Oh, right there. There we go. Yeah, look at that. How hidden is that? That's such a hidden one. Who would expect that to be there? I'm lucky that I played this game and I remember where a bunch of these secrets are. And that's also nice that we got a notification that that is all of the, uh, you know what, all of the hidden blocks. Or was it all the collectible treasures? Oh, it wasn't all the question mark blocks. There's one more, or well, at least one more question mark block here because we have 60, we have two thirds of them. And we didn't rescue all the toads. But there's still more to do here. Okay, so let's come here. Oh, guys, I'm so familiar with this. I've seen this before. I remember this. Wait, it's just a big empty hole? How disappointing. Where's the Earth Elemental? We've come so far to see you. Olivia looks down. Hold on, what's that? Okay, I guess. Oh, I can't leave. You should really see this for yourself. Come take a look. All right, let's do it. Let's see. And we fall down. And look what we land on. Some earth just like before, but there's something in there. So I'm not the best judge of footing as we learned. Oh, that's funny because she floats. Sorry, Mario. I'd teach you how to float if I could. Anyway, I was looking down at this odd green spot before you fell down. What do you think it is? Uh-oh, what's that? We're hearing something. And look what comes out. It is the earth velamental. Oh, this is such a cool theme. The velamental boss fight theme. Oh, it roars. It's like that one grass starter Pokemon from Gen 4. It's the Earth Elemental, and it's made of origami? Look at it. Ah, it's so cool. Oh man, it roars very loudly. Oh no, I don't think it's very friendly right now. Maybe because it got all folded up. When it's like this, I'm afraid we have no choice but to fight it. Let's do it. Oh man, and the boss fight theme is so cool too. Oh man, look at those stomping feet over there. All right, I'm ready to battle this guy. Let's go. Wow, this Velemental looks just as powerful as I hoped it would. That shell looks super sturdy. Its body must be well protected. Makes those little legs look kind of vulnerable, doesn't it? Okay, so we probably want to attack its tail. Okay, this is our first boss battle. I've been itching to try one of these. The Earth Velemental is in the center this time. Your attacks won't reach it from way out here. You'll have to get closer. But it looks like something weird has happened to the rings. And what's up with those arrows? Should we follow them? Oh, are we gonna get a tutorial on how to do this? Okay, all we have to do is rotate the inner ring and so that we have the attack panel at the tail. And then we have to rotate the outer ring so that we actually step on an arrow. Let's give it a shot. If my hunch is right, we need to start with the start. Let's try to place one of those arrows in front of you. No, but I want to move the attack one first because that's easier to keep track of. Can I move this one or no? Uh, Olivia won't let me. Oops, that's not the right ring. Great. So the first round of the boss battle is actually a tutorial still. Okay, let's move it. Bingo, that's the ring. Now rotate until the arrow's under there. Okay, okay, let's do that. That's fine. 
And now it shows us where we're gonna go. Yeah, my hunch was right! Okay, so once you step on an arrow, you'll keep moving in that direction until you step on another arrow. We keep that in mind. We'll be able to- yeah, 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 I got it, I got it. Okay, but I don't really want the attack panel to be there. Oh wait, actually, I do have to put the attack panel there. Because... Otherwise, we won't be able to reach this, so yeah, we have to move the action panel there. If we put one of these circles here, then, well, either way, we won't get to attack, so we have to go like this. That's what we've got to do. So we're going to attack its leg first. Way to go, Mario! You made it to the Earth Elemental! Now it's time to attack! Let's see, different attacks are probably going to affect different areas. Try to aim your attack at an area where it won't bounce right up. I don't... I don't know if using a fire flower is a good idea. But let's just use the shiny hammer here. Let's deal as much damage as possible. Let's go. Nice! You got a nice action command there. Very nice. Okay, eight damage. Not amazing, but that's something. Yeah! You would have bounced right off that hard shell, but attacking its legs seemed to be pretty effective. Okay, now it's gonna attack me, right? Let's get ready. Oh no, I think the Earth Elemental's winding up for an attack. Try to guard against it this time. Press A just before the attack hits. Here it comes. Oh no! Multiple attacks! Okay, hit three times. Oh, you took less damage. Good thing, too. That looked like it hurt even with guarding. Ah, yes. Now we have two X panels. All right, let's see. Let's see. Why not aim for its front leg? Well, I don't know. We'll see what we aim for, Olivia. It depends. Okay, how many moves do we have? We have two ring moves. Oh, no, but we can't really use the two X panel. Yeah, we can't really use the two X panel because we only have two moves. Because we can go like this, but then we end up getting to the leg. Okay, how about I attack this leg? Can I just attack this leg? I'm fine with attacking this leg. Why don't we do this? We can just go like this, then around... Wait, 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 wait. Actually, it's uh, around to that... No, 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 no! Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. I'm really messing up. I might need more time. Actually, let's just go like this. Yeah, that'll be fine. There we go. That's what we have to do. I was trying to do something else. But, uh, this is a better move, I think. Yeah, because I was trying to get the 2x panel, but I don't know if we could get it this turn. Okay, let's try this then. And with the regular hammer, we deal just 6 damage instead of 8. That's okay. Yeah, just like that. Okay, what are you going to do now? Let's get ready. Okay, block, block, block. There we go, 3 blocks, that's fine. Still at 48 HP, still up. Oh, look, and there are chests. Looks like you've got the hang of boss battles. Remember to think about tar timing and targeting your attacks. Those other panels look interesting too. You should see what happens when you walk over them. Maybe I will. Let's go and win us a fight, Mario. Okay, let's see what we can do. We can go like this. That brings us to there. So we could possibly get a treasure chest here. Oh, we have three moves. We have three moves. Okay, that's perfect. So you know what? Let's bring a treasure chest here. Fun. Let's actually get some more time here. Let's add some coins. Let's use our coins just for some more time. Because over here, I haven't done this fight in a while, so I want to find what a good way to do this would be. Let's bring this in this path. And we can go like this. Then we'll be coming down. And then we can go like this. Is that going to work out the way that I think it is? Because we'll come down here. Go around to the chest, open the chest. Wait, no, 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 but then we're not actually attacking anywhere, so no, that won't work. We don't want to do that, okay. So let's see, if we go like this... Ah, this is actually a little bit tricky, okay. What if we go like this? Okay, so we would be making it where we want to be going. Okay, so let's go like... Ah, but I really want to get the chest, but it doesn't seem like there really is a good way to get the chest right now. Okay, what if we go like... This... Because yeah, if I move this, this could be troublesome. Oh, I could go like this. And then... Do we get the chest like this? We go around, come down, get the chest, and attack the lake. Okay, that's perfect. That's exactly what I want. Okay. So, it was some trial and error there, seeing what was a good idea. But now we get the X2 and the plus attack panel. Or, well, we get them to appear, I should say. You know, let's attack like this. Let's get ready. Okay, nice attack over there. Just some six damage over there. Okay, and I want to start attacking the tail. Oh, wait, but we need the, uh, thousand-fold arm circle, if possible. Where do you even get that from? I don't remember where you get that from. It's been so long since I've done this. Okay, do we need the chest again? Or what should we do? Let's see, we could... Let's see, what can we do? We can go and attack the face, or do we want to attack it from there? What is the best way to do this? 
Mm, we could go like this. We could get this chest to come out, because maybe that chest will give us what we need. We can go like this. And now we can attack its face. Maybe we don't want to attack its face. Does something bad happen if you attack its face? I can't remember. But let's try this. Let's try this. Maybe we'll get the circle we need. The Earth Elemental Shell is super sturdy. Jump attacks will always bounce right off of it. Aim for its exposed limbs instead. Get up close and personal with your hammer. Okay, and what's in here? Oh, just some money. Okay. I was thinking that maybe that's where you get the thousand-fold arm circle, but no, that's not where you get it. Okay, let's use shiny hammer since this is its head. Okay, nice, and I still got excellent. Okay, that dealt only eight damage, but I think now it'll be angry. Now it'll do a powerful attack. Hopefully I don't die. Okay. Oh, oh, that wasn't too bad. Yeah, that wasn't bad at all. Okay, so hitting its head was not bad at all. That actually dealt less damage than its other attack. Okay, so let's see. We probably want an arrow there. Now what can we do? If we go like this, that'll let us get to the tail and attack the tail. And we still have one more move. Now, do I want a heart? Or do I want a double attack panel? You know what? Our HP is kind of low. But we could just do this. Wait, wait, wait. I want to hold Y. Hey, let's put that back. Let's hold Y. Let's cheer for the toads. Cheer a lot of money for the toads. Thousand coins. Hopefully they heal me. Are you going to give me any hearts? Give me some hearts, toads. Come on, toads. Yes. Okay, okay. I get healed a little bit. Okay, it was worth doing that just to get healed. Because now, oh, and the toads revealed all kinds of cool stuff. Now our dotted arrows will show us exactly where we go. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So now it's super easy to do this, because now we can go like this. And wait, wait, wait. How many more moves do we have? Oh, I didn't realize that I could have actually taken both. I could have taken this. And we could also do this. Oh, wait, wait, wait. That's actually not the one that I want. I want to go like, oh, and we don't have a lot of time. Okay, let's be careful. Let's be careful. Okay, there. Now we'll be attacking the tail. And if I go like this, then we'll be attacking the tail twice. Well, I don't know if you actually can attack the tail twice or not. Okay, let's do this. Let's do this. This should work out. Hopefully, I didn't make a major mistake here. It's been a while since we've had this boss fight. Okay, so let's first go like this. Shiny hammer. Let's get ready. And you know what? I'll try for shiny hammer again. I don't know if we can attack the tail twice, though. Let's see. Oh, that was just great. Not super. <coughs> or, sorry, not excellent. Okay, whoa, its tail must be super tender. Oh, and we're trying to attack again, but this will deal almost no damage, or one. Oh, it dealt three damage. Well, that's actually something. Okay, enemy's turn, don't hit too bad. Okay, rough landing, only seven damage, that's not bad. Whoa, what's up with the Earth Elemental? Its legs are tucked inside. This might be our chance to try a cool move. And, oh, look at all these thousand-fold arm circles here. Okay, and I think you can actually just bring the circle right up to you instead of making us walk up to it. But we could also just walk up to it. Hmm. What we could do is go like this and like this. Is there anything else cool in here? Okay, I guess we can take 10 coins. Then we'll walk around like that, pass by the chest, and get to use the thousand-fold arm circle up close. And we get some coins, so let's try this. Paying those toads for some more money. Oh, nice, and now there are a bunch of 100 coins out on the field. Yeah, paying those toads for the thousand... Paying the toads a thousand coins was probably not worth it. Okay, let's go grab. Now, do I use motion controls? Oh, this is so weird. I've never done this boss fight with motion controls. Okay, we flip it up. Now, yeah, Mario, give it all you've got. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Hit it over and over and deal a ton of damage. Wait, let me say one quick thing. Be aware of your surroundings, and please don't shake your controller too wildly. Okay. Wow, we got to hit that nice and quickly because normally I mash the A button there, but when you use motion controls, that goes quite quickly. Yes, you did it, Mario! One of the toes in the background said, I want arms like that! All right, 1,250 coins. So at least we did profit from the battle. Uh, and not considering the weapons that we used and their degradation. We paid 999 coins to the toes, but we won 1,250 at the end. And the Earth Elemental is defeated. Now look at this. Look what we've got here. Oh, and I remember what's going to be happening here. This is quite funny what's going to be happening here. And we get some kind of book here. Huh? Did it just shrink down into something tiny? Yes, it did. Let's get that, Olivia. You got the Earth Bibliofold. Did you somehow turn the Earth Elemental into a book, Mario? Well, maybe, possibly. Oh, it's instructions for folding into the Earth Elemental itself. Ah, uh, maybe this is its way of helping us. Yeah, the Earth Elemental wants to help us. Let's see. I has a mountain fold here, a valley fold here. Guys, do you know how to do origami? Whoa! 
I just have this strange feeling like the spirit of the earth elemental is inside me. And the book's gone. And we get that power. Now we can use these circles. Ah, oh, maybe we should try using that magic circle. Let's do it. We can now use elemental power here. Oh, and we have this great theme from before. Okay, Olivia unfolds into paper. Now she's going to fold up into something. And is becoming the earth elemental itself. That's such a cool animation, the way that this just pops out like it's paper, like it's origami. Wow, what a great Pokemon we have. Not Venus, or what is it called? It's Terra something, that Gen 3, or sorry, Gen 4 Pokemon. How do I look? Powerful? Imposing? Magnificent? Maybe even a little cute? It's like I'm the Earth Elemental! Mario applauds. I definitely feel powerful, like I could really shake things up in here. All right, you know what? I'm gonna dance it out! All right, Olivia. Where did those pom-poms come from? Go, Olivia, go, Olivia. Okay, okay, Olivia. Good thing that you're bringing this up. I'm glad that you can control the Earth like this. Mario looks like he's a bit panicked, but luckily for us, now we are able to exit. That's very nice, and we should be able to enter Overlook Tower now. Oh, wait, is Mario scared or is he also dancing? I can't tell. But now we can make it out of here, which is lovely. What came over me? It was so fun to wield all that turtle power. I guess I could use any magic circle that belongs to the Earth Elemental now. Hey, that means I should be able to lower the tower back to a reasonably but still scary height. Or a reasonable but still scary height, I think she said. Hey, anything back here? No, I don't think there are any hidden blocks here, so let's take this one back. And there must still be some question mark blocks here that we didn't get. Hey, didn't everyone, didn't anyone ever teach you to not step on the gods? You step on our god, you get a divine punishment. Hey, I'm worshiping here. All right, let's get out of here. That was a fun temple to visit. And we're probably going to be back sometime. Let's just make our way out for now. Oh, oh, look at this. There you are, we got you, Toad. We got you, what's going on, Toad? Oh, I was just getting the hang of being a bug at a great little hiding spot pit out to freak out the next pilgrim. And that's 100% of Toad's rescued. That's amazing. Hey, for some reason, I'm thinking that there was a hidden block up on top of this, but I don't think that there actually is. Oh, I wonder where the question mark block that we missed is then, because we got this one, but we still don't have 100% of hidden blocks, so we're going to have to come back. All right, so let's get out of here. Well, that was nice that we did that. Oh, and you're over here. Hello there, sir. You saved the entire crew! Now we can get to work maximizing profit off of this whole thing! It's a miracle! That's quite funny. Wait a minute, I remember something happens here. Popcorn, popcorn! Get your fresh popcorn, just 100 coins a bag! Coming right up! And at first, I think it's not actually popcorn. I think it's a bunch of toads, isn't it? Look at that! Look at all these toads! Pop! 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 This guy's surprised. Corn! You look so sad. Why are you so sad? Popped all the corn, pal! Sorry! Oh, uh, that's quite funny. Oh, can we- Oh, I know what we can do here. Okay, this one is actually just a toad, of course. You were thinking about using me when you thought I was a mushroom, weren't you? Admit it! He's so angry. Oh, but now he's now he's not angry anymore. I was thinking about it. Oh, that's funny. I'm free. Now I can finally shop. All right, let's buy something. We want to buy this right here, of course. Salvation is near. Let's get that. Yeah, for 2,400, we do need that one. Okay, but otherwise, do we need anything else? Maybe we could buy another shiny hammer, but we might actually get some more. Okay, we have lots of mushrooms, so I'm not worried about that. You know what? Why not buy one of these? Let's do it. I'll buy it. Because we are getting a lot of money, so might as well. Might as well have another hammer in case we need it. And other than that, I think we've done pretty much everything we need to in this area. And we can just continue on to... What is that area called that we are going to? Oh, and let's have a chat with you. Oh, we might be able to buy something from the others too. Want to buy a fortune? Or just 100 coins each? I can't remember if you could possibly get something good or unlock something from buying a fortune. Get ready! Here it comes! Look you! Someone will pay you a compliment! You're the best, Mario! Oh, nice. We basically paid 100 coins for some uh, confetti there. Wait, can we get anything else? Oh, when I went to talk to him, I jumped over like that. That was cool. Okay, what else can we get? Can we get something crazy good? Here it comes! Look at you! you soon be feeling better! Oh, nice. We get healed up. Okay, can you give us anything good? Or can anything bad happen? Let's see. Get ready! Here it comes! Great fortune! Your path is paved with wealth! Oh, and look at that! Look at all these 100 coins here! Wow, that... definitely paid for itself and more! That paid for how many fortunes? 
Hey Mario, see if you got stronger when your HP went up. I bet you can beat one of those Goombas with a single hammer strike or jump without going into battle. Let's try it. Yeah, that's so nice how you can do that. What about you? Bam, get wrecked, Goomba. Oh, it's so satisfying when you can do that. Okay, but I still want to see if we can have anything else very nice. Let's get another fortune or two. Let's see. Get ready, here it comes. A boring blessing. Nothing bad will happen. Haha, <laughs> that's funny. Okay, let's do maybe one or two more. But it's nice that we made that money. Get ready, here it comes. Look, you, you might find something useful. Might. Oh, we just found a fire flower all of a sudden. That's quite funny. I didn't expect that, actually. I think that might have happened to me before. Okay, what else can we get? Here it comes. You'll soon be feeling better. Okay, are they starting to repeat now? Let's do one or two more, and we'll see if they also repeat. If it's just a bunch of repetitions, then we'll continue on. A boring blessing, at least it's not a bad one. Okay, and let's see, one or two more now. Let's see. We get a boring blessing, nothing bad will happen. Okay, I'll try one more. If it's not a repeat, let's see, what is it? Here it comes. Lucky you, someone will pay you a compliment. Okay, it looks like they're starting to uh, repeat now. So that's fine. It's nice that we were able to get all those extra coins, though. I don't know if overall if we profited or not. Fun, funky, and functional! Want accessories? We've got them! Okay, let's get this. Reduces the amount of damage. Or you know what? Heart Plus would be nice, too. That boosts your 2,000 coins. Okay, that's a bit pricey. But the nice thing about it is your HP increases a bit during battle. You have to equip them. Yeah, yeah, makes sense. There's a limit to how many you can equip at once, so think carefully. And we can also get... Oh, Toad Alert! That could also be cool. It'll be nice to get an alert when we're near a toad. I think the most useful alert would probably be the one that lets you know about if there is a, uh, if there is a you-know-what nearby. If there's a hidden block nearby, that'd probably be the most useful one. Okay, you know what? We're gonna buy all of his stuff. Yeah, we're gonna buy all that. That's a lot of money that we just spent, though. But, let's do that. Thank you kindly! And that's it, we're sold out! Don't worry, we'll restock in a bit! Don't forget to equip your accessories! Okay, so how many of these can we have equipped at a time? I'm guessing two? Let's see. Oh, oh, and this one. Oh, we can have all of them equipped! That's so strange, I'm actually surprised that we can have all of them equipped together. I did not expect that. Wait, there's a toad to save around here somewhere. Is the toad in here? Where's the toad? Because the toad bell just went off. Ah, where could the toad be? Don't be shy about donating! Yeah, there's a toad to save somewhere around here. Where is it? Oh wait, there's another... Is there another collectible to buy here? Yeah, there's another collectible. Oh, 3,800. I could actually barely afford that one. Uh-oh, maybe I shouldn't have spent all that money earlier. Ah, okay, well, it's a good thing that we got that. Oh, I don't want to buy iron boots. No, 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 let's get out of here. Hang on! It says here that you've spent more than 5,000 coins! A savvy shopper like you deserves a special reward! Allow me to present you with, drumroll please, this membership card! Gives you a 20% discount. Oh, that's great. Before you shop, go and equip the card. To maintain the shopping streak, I'll bump up your membership card to get you better deals. Hey, that's great. Wait, oh, and now it's just uh, fire flowers for sale there. Okay, fire flowers took the place of that collectible. Okay, that's fine. That's nice that we got that. But around here, my bell keeps going off that there's a toad to save here. Wait, what if we read these signs? Okay, buy some fortunes, 100 coins, that's fine. You know what, I'll buy one final fortune. What's it going to be? Get ready, here it comes. A boring blessing. Ah, oh, so sad, so sad. Okay, what if we read this sign? Nope, doesn't seem like there's anything too crazy there. Okay. Well, I guess we'll come back and maybe we'll find out where this toad to save is. Where could this toad be? Ah, I'm actually surprised that we're missing a toad, but wait a minute. Yeah, we have 91% of toads rescued. Okay, so there still must be some more toads that we didn't rescue yet. Gotta be on the lookout for where those toads could be. I'm gonna hammer you! There we go, and you're defeated. That's nice that we get that. Is the toad... Uh, do we also get the toad bell ringing here? No, the toad bell doesn't ring here. Oh, maybe we have to go through that pipe to rescue the toad. Maybe that's actually what we have to do. Okay, well, we're just gonna head up this way to Overlook Mountain, because that is where we are going now. Or sorry, yes, Overlook Mountain, that's what it's called. It's very easy to confuse Overlook Mountain with Autumn Mountain, because Overlook Mountain is where we are going. But, later on, we are going to be going to Autumn Mountain. Oh, and there's a toad to save around here. There it is! There's the toad! Look at that. We didn't save this toad here. Hello, toad. I'm saved! Now I'm gonna 
save you, Mario! Try pressing minus sometime when you're in a pickle to open up a whole new world of info! Seriously, I'm talking control settings, basic info! It's all right there for you! Thank you, Toad. That's very nice of you. Don't know if I can defeat those guys in a single hit, so I'm just gonna ignore them for now. Oh, look at this. Do I want to save this Toad here? Hey! Somebody! This folded Goomba won't leave me alone! Help! Uh, I was hoping that I'd just be able to whack the Goomba and take him out, but it looks like we actually have to have a battle. That is so sad, so sad. Oh, and... What we could do. Okay, nice. So we get all those uh, bonuses. But we could go like this. Now we can just hammer them. Wait, I don't know if we only had one move or if we had two moves, but this should be able to take them out. Let's just focus on this hammer attack. And there we are. Perfect. 18. Okay, a nice strong hit. Taking them out. Get 300 coins there. I feel like I'm poor again. We are starting to run out of money. We had so much money before we went on a giant shopping spree. Was it just folded? I wasn't folded in the mind. Oh, I was expecting him to go down the red pipe for some reason. Okay, but that's not where we are going. We are going up this way. And funny thing is, if you hack the game, you actually can go down there. And I'm pretty sure it is solid down there, if I do remember correctly. But let's make our way up this way. We can save. Nice spot to save. Let's hammer that tree. Nothing in the tree. Okay, let's run on up here. And soon we're going to be making it to Overlook Mountain. Oh, and we probably want to fill in those holes, but I don't think we can fill that in from here, can we? No, I think we have to get rid of the red streamer first. Okay, so let's make our way up here. Don't want to get hit by the spinies, because there are going to be the spinies that drop down here. Right, right, right. Oh, I guess they don't drop down this time. It looks like the fence is fixed now. But, now we can go here, and we can use this. We can use our Velemental power. Let's go, Olivia. Transform! Can I skip this? Oh, B is skipped. Nice. And there we go. We've got our Earth Velemental. Olivia transformed into the Earth Velemental. All right, shake it like a piece of outdated photographic paper. Oh, is the joke that she's making that back when they had cameras back in the day, when you take a photo and the photo would be printed immediately from the camera, you'd shake it? Guys, let me know in a comment if you've ever seen or had one of those cameras, or if you know what I'm talking about, Ethan. That is quite an old reference. All right, but there we go. Well, not bad if I say so myself. All right, let's head in here then. It is time to head inside Overlook Tower is the final castle of chapter one overlook tower here we are oh boy and there's a lot of exciting stuff that we can do here and we've basically got to fill in this hole but the funny thing is that's going to use up essentially all of our confetti whoa look at the size of those mushrooms and that banana that could feed an army wait there's something off about them isn't there oh they're just drawings flat as paper sorry if i got your mouth watering there yeah i thought that that was a real banana definitely yikes that's the, one of the biggest holes we've seen isn't it it looks like you'll need plenty of confetti to fix it up, I'm afraid. Yeah, we're gonna have to use all of our confetti here to fill up this hole. And then we can go and save that toad. Okay, there we go. Very nice. So we filled that in. And look what it is. Hey, you fixed that huge hole! Now we look. Oh my gosh! It's my brother's face! This one I could tell was a drawing right away. It's really well done, though. It must have been the same artist who drew the banana and the mushroom. Oh yeah, I know who the artist is now. Wait, that means whoever drew this knows my brother. I don't know how, but there's just no other explanation. All right, let's get this toad out of here. No, no, they're ripping me. There's gotta be a better way. Oh yeah, that's right. I actually forgot about that, that you could just press this button. That's so funny, the toad's stuck in the elevator. We're just trying to pull him out. Ah, that's better. Welcome to Overlook Tower, Mario. The tower with a gift shop. I'm still working on that slogan. That's a funny slogan. And it looks like we've got some major cleaning to do as well. This artwork isn't bad, mind you, but every time I see it, I'll think of that monster that attacked us. It was horrible. A thin, rattling body with a huge mouth filled with all manner of fangs. You think a monster did this? I didn't know my brother was friends with monsters because it has to be someone who knows his face. Well, I know you're scared, but Mario's here now. That means there's nothing to fear. Right, Mario? Yeah, that's right, exactly. What do you have to say? If you're looking for our world-famous observation deck, it's on the fourth floor. Please be careful. Should we take the elevator up there? Because we don't have enough confetti to fill in this, so we can't go up the stairs there. But we can hit this, get that guy to pop out, and look at that, we saved the toad. Me! I haven't had that much fun at work in ages. Will you pull me back up for another ride? No, sorry. Sorry, we won't do that, Toad. We have work to do right now. And if we look up here... Oh, wait, let's knock that over first. Are these guys all Toads? Yes, there we go. We saved three Toads. We got to know each other pretty well while we were all rolled up. Wait, 
Where are they going? Oh, now they're just gonna sit down there. And this one over here is also a toad. Look at this one. This flag had the toad symbol. Yes! You noticed me! Oh, that's quite a drawing. Now that I can see it, kinda wish I'd been part of it, you know? It does make you wonder, could a toad have drawn that? And if so, with what? Yeah, that is a good question that you're asking there, toad. Now wait, are these here toads? These can't be toads, can they? Oh, I guess these are toads also. I kind of forgot about those, actually. Thanks, Mario. Come see me on the second floor if you get hungry. I work in the restaurant there. Wait, how are they going to get up? I guess they're waiting for the stairs. Okay, come on, I gotta hammer this guy. It's a bit hard to aim with a hammer here because we're so close to the wall. Don't tell my boss, but I mostly just stand here all day doing nothing. So that attack was pretty exciting. That's something that is true of a lot of work, unfortunately. But hey, at least they get paid for doing almost nothing. Good that he is grateful for his job. Oh, thanks, Mario. I can get back to selling tasteful souvenirs and tasty items. If you're in the market for either of those things, stop by any time. Wait, what can we buy from you? Welcome. I lied about the souvenirs for the sake of wordplay. I do have tasty items. Take a look. No, we don't need any mushrooms. We have plenty. That's fine. Thank you. I never run out of mushrooms. So come back anytime, okay? All right, that's great. Thank you. You think I can put Mario Save Me on my resume? That'd be a funny thing to put on your resume. And this guy's waiting for the stairs, of course, right? How am I supposed to get to work? I'm the chef's top radish cook. What if someone orders a radish? Well, then I guess they'll have to wait. And these guys are very sad, so sad. We were kind of cozy like that, but now it's too awkward to roll ourselves up again on purpose. Oh, that's quite funny. Okay, but let's take the elevator up, and we'll definitely just be able to take the elevator up to the fourth floor without any problems at all, right? Right? Hey, could you humor me for just a second? This reminds me of Luigi's Mansion a bit, being in an elevator. Ahem. What's Olivia gonna say? It's the button for the fourth floor? Now passing the third floor, cosmetics, handbags, men's slacks, oranges, perfume, and camping gear. Yep, on our way up, here we go. In Luigi's Mansion, I always thought that I would get attacked in the elevator. I didn't finish the game yet, so I don't know if we will. But we're on our way up. Next up, fourth floor, bicycles, mattresses, formal wear, blenders, and comic books. How'd I do? I've always wanted to be an elevator operator in one of those fancy department stores. I'm actually not too clear about what a fancy department store is, but it sounds fun, right? Mind if I do the same thing in reverse on the way down? Yes, you'll definitely have the chance to do that. But we're being attacked by pencils. This is absolutely wild. Whoa, that was way too close. What are those sticks making us stuck? Oh, they've positively ruined my department store fantasy unless... Unless, dearest elevator passengers, there might be a slight delay while my friend Mario takes care of this emergency. Psst, do something, Mario. Okay, let's hammer these, get them out, hammer that one out, hammer this one, and now that those pencils aren't holding us in place, the elevator's falling! Going down! And down we go. Oh, and we just slam into the very bottom floor. Oh, I think we're gonna have a battle now, because how else are we gonna get some confetti? Ah, uh, first floor, absolutely flattened, princesses, crushed dreams, broken glass, and athletic wear. Now, and there are also origami Goombas. Let's see, is it, oh, it's not a wave battle? Really? Okay, so we just have to take on these guys. Okay, so let's see, what are we going to do here? Okay, so we have three moves. We could go one, two, three. There we go. Okay, and we've got a great lineup over there. Okay, so for our jump... Let's use our iron boots. We probably don't need shiny boots to take on these guys. I don't know how much HP they have, but hopefully, yeah, looks like that's enough to take them out. Now we should have two hammer strikes, right? Do we have two hammer strikes? Yes, we do have two hammer strikes. Okay, so we should be able to take these guys out, no problem. Let's just focus. And there we go. We probably don't even need an excellent action command to take them out because they're Goombas and they're weak and our HP is kind of high. We should be dealing Quite a bit of damage. Yeah, that was just a great, and that was still enough. Even if we just hit A right enough, it probably would have been strong enough to take them out. But they're defeated, so we get lots of confetti. That's amazing. Now, just use this confetti here. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, I want to get up there. Okay, there we go, there we go. That's very nice. Now we can head upstairs. Hooray! We can go up to the second floor. And wait, is this the restaurant now? Okay, we're almost at the restaurant. Okay, so what are we going to do here? Let's read this sign. Observation deck restaurant. Overlook this way. Okay, so the restaurant is here. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I don't know if we actually have to come here and save somebody first. 
or if we want to go over to the right first. But let's come here first. Let's see what's going on here. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, not these stairs, too. I can't imagine you have much confetti right now. No, we don't. Do you think we can even find enough confetti in here to fix them? We'll have to. Hey, uh, couldn't help overhear it, but I might be able to help. Something real bad's going on at my restaurant right now. I don't even want to say it out loud. I'm the head chef, but I really can't show my face until it's cleared up. Can you help me take care of the problem? And keep it on the down low, and I'll make it up to you. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay, so there's an invisible block here. And that's all question mark blocks hit, which is nice. So, oh, wait a minute. How am I going to make it up to that guy? Can we make it up to him later? No, no, no. We can go up like this, of course. Go up like this. There we go. Let's tear that off. And now, you're saved! Is that supposed to be me? What was Ernest thinking? I have a blue toad, not a red toad. Ah, sorry. I shouldn't be complaining to you. Least of all after you just rescued me. Here, let me make it up to you. A mushroom. Thank you, toad. That's very nice. It's funny that we have all these mushrooms and we haven't used any yet, I think. Do I really look like that? I want another portrait. All right, let's get out of here and let's go save. Or sorry, let's go take care of the problem that is at this restaurant here. And you know what? Oh boy, I remember playing through this game with 1 HP to see how far we could get. And there were some major problems over here when you're here with 1 HP. Wait, wait, wait. Do I want to eat that? No, I have enough HP, so I'm not going to eat that right now. Oh wait, I think there's a toad in here. Yeah, there's the toad. Very nice. Thanks for that, Mario. Just a tip. I wouldn't order anything from the kitchen after the state those folded soldiers left it in. Thanks for the tip, toad. I'm going to come here. And something special is going to happen when we open this. Watch what happens. Wait, is it this? Yeah, look at all the little Goombas there. So many little Goombas there. Okay, and we want to crush these little Goombas. You don't want to get hurt by them. It's so easy to get hurt by these guys. Don't hurt me, don't hurt me. Get off of me. There we go. The little guy is on me. Get off of me. Get off of me. Get off of me. There we go. Now we can finally whack him. All right, that's nice. Now let's whack this so we can come up here. Oh, and we save a toad while we are at it. If you just throw everything in one drawer. Does it or does it not? Oh, oh, got that toad, okay. And we got that flying goomba there. Oh, thank you for that. Fun fact, I weigh as much as a single carrot. Well, how much does a single carrot weigh? What kind of carrot is it? Oh, and I guess we probably want to collect the confetti as we defeat these guys. Okay, and there's a toad right here that we could also get, which is nice. Oh, that egg over there is probably a toad. What are those folded things threw me behind its back, off the wall, off of the ceiling, and right into that thing? It's actually an amazing shot. It does sound like that is quite the amazing shot. Okay, so let's collect this confetti. And this, oh, oh, there's a goom on the wall right there. One in this pot here. Okay, we got that. It's funny that that pot looks angry. This over here, that fried egg is just a toad. Oh, thought for sure I was gonna be someone's breakfast. The thing that you're not. Glad to get all those things, Mario! Do you know how bad it looks to have them crawling around the kitchen? Yeah, that's true. Anything in here? Wanna knock that over? Oh, that's just a toad to say. Very nice. Oh, that was horrible! I was beginning to compost! That's funny. Oh, and under here, there's of course another Goomba. Okay, I think we might be good for this room. Now, we got a bunch to get rid of here. Let's hit that. Now, that Goomba's right there. See a bunch running around like this. Don't want to get hurt by them. Oh boy, when I was playing through this with one HP, it was quite wild because if you get hit by something like that, then you're just dead and you have to restart. And it's actually quite a while before you have another save. Okay, come here. Come here. And the last one might be a bit tricky. You can see that he's actually up here. Is that the last one? Wait. That might have not actually been the last one. It looks like there might be more. Oh, hey, let's look around then. We have to open this drawer. Is there another one in here? Oh, oh, he's up on the wall over here. Okay, that one was actually really blended in. Is that it now? Okay, the crazy music stopped playing, so I'm guessing that that is it now. What do you have to say? This place is slightly messier than usual. That is so funny. Slightly messier. Okay, so now we're gonna head on over and talk to the chef. And uh, hopefully our reward is a bunch of confetti and we can continue. Let's see. Ah, I don't hear the bitter pattern of little pests anymore. You did it! Here, hope you enjoy this freshly topped confetti. Bon appetit! All right, that's great that we got all that confetti because now use that confetti over here to fill in this and then we'll be able to continue up some more. Okay, and let's go a bit this way. Come on now. Come on now. Do we not have enough? Okay, good, we do have enough. Okay, that was starting to scare me. I thought, no, do we have to go and get some more somewhere else? But you should have enough. 
Oh, and this floor is going to be quite difficult. Okay, this is locked, actually, so he can't head through there. Locked out! It doesn't look like pushing it will open it, but how can we get to the top if we can't get in there? Oh, and I love the reference to classical Super Mario Bros. here. Oh, and look at what's coming by over here. Ah, another one of those sticks. Okay, can I jump over it? Okay, it looks like you can jump over it. I think you could also hammer them, if I remember correctly. Let's try this. Go! Oh, maybe you actually can't hammer them. But, looks like we want to stand here because this part is a bit cracked here. The hammer isn't working! That's alright. We need them to aim at us, right? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Let's go like this. I don't remember if you have to go all the way around once first, okay, because that's closed. So, are they going to start aiming at me yet? Oh, maybe you have to go around. I don't know if you have to go around or if it's based on a timer. They just keep coming. We've got to get out of here. Huh? Is there something on my face? Yes, there is. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, that was quite wild. Okay, let's see. Let's see. We just need you to lock on over here to this crack part. Come on, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. I need you to lock on here now. Let's go. Lock on. Okay. Now that's cracked. Okay, now we can get in here. Very nice. Now, what do we have to do here? Oh, nice. Money there. Get that money. That's very nice. Anything in there? Heart? Yeah, sure. We'll take that. Break that. Hit this button. Now, the ladder's starting to come down. This part... Hee! Come on, come on! This part was so incredibly difficult when you have only one HP, especially the ending part over here. You guys are gonna see something crazy happening in a moment. Because you can stand under one of these, but pencils can do that. Pencils can knock the umbrella open. Oh, oh. Wait, can I just stand in here? Let me in here. Am I just safe here? Oh, no! They damaged the roof there, too! Uh-oh! Uh-oh! Okay, things are gonna start to get crazy soon. Let's get ready, let's get ready. Okay, light up the whole thing. Now stand there, and you're safe! Okay, that's amazing. Okay, so we timed that nicely so that we could have been safe here. Now let's start climbing. Time to climb, Mario! Make your way up, Mario! Make your way up, Mario! Climb faster! There are pencils coming from everywhere! We've gotta climb! I wonder if you stand still if you can get hit by the pencils there, because I don't think that's happened to me before. Okay, but we made it up here. That's amazing. Oh, and there's a toad to rescue around here. Where's the toad to rescue? Oh, that's the toad. Oh, I actually didn't remember that. I vaguely remembered it. Oh, man! Thought for sure they'd throw me out with all the other broken pencil bits. Thank you! This is the top level of the tower, but I swear those colored pencil things came flying down from above. Oh, and what a cool drawing we have here. Look at this 8-bit Mario that we have here. It's like a game over Mario. So many sticks. Is this the same spot where we were attacked on the elevator? Yeah, it looks like it. And we don't need that part because we are at full health already. It is time to go and take on the boss. This is very exciting and very scary. Let's see, here we are, the very top floor. What's going to happen? There's the streamer. There's the end of the streamer. And that's my brother's face right in the middle. He's really making sure everyone knows this was him. Should we try to detach it somehow? Oh, maybe if you jumped into it from below? I don't think that's going to work. Wait, can I do this right now? Oh, I can't go there. It's a nice view, but shouldn't we do something about the streamer first? Yeah, there's something funny over there, actually. Okay, let's try this. Jump into it. Looks like it doesn't do anything. Mario shrugs, raises his hands. Huh, is that the most powerful jump you can do? Look out! Oh, man, Olivia just pushed us out of the way. Those pencils would have destroyed us. Yikes! That was way too close! I wish those sticks would stick to their own business! Ha ha ha! Oh man, you were almost out of the picture! For good! And look who it is! Look out, Olivia! And now Mario saves Olivia! Funny, we took turns saving each other like that. Look at this boss! The Missile Maestro! Colored pencils! I'm sick and tired of Philistines like you erasing all of my hard work, man! You probably haven't heard of me, right? Figures, when was the last time you even went to a gallery? Phew, don't answer. I'm gonna give you an art lesson for free. The name's Jean-Pierre Colored Pencils the 12th. I represent the Legion of Stationery, I'll have you know. Anyway, I'm guarding this streamer, and I'll scribble on your flat face if that's what it takes to stop you. Look how realistic those pencils look. Legion of Stationery, jean P that's too long for me to remember. I'm just gonna call you Colored Pencils, okay? I suppose my brother sent you to try and stop us, right? Well, Colored Pencils, you talk tough and you draw really well, but have you heard of Mario? Yeah, that's what I thought. Mario is tough and he's got a mustache and he's gonna mess you up. Right, Mario? 
That's right, let's go take on the colored pencils boss. Okay, I am prepared, I am ready, let's go. Oh man, this is gonna be a tough showdown. What are we gonna have to do? Feast your eyes upon my arsenal. 12 colored pencils, ready to make your paper bodies my canvas. Okay, I think using the attack squares might be a good idea. Oh, 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 this is interesting, okay. Wait, 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 wait. I actually, you know what? I actually don't want to hammer it from behind. I think, oh yeah, we have to get to the arm panel first before we could activate the, you know what, before we could activate the magic circle. I think using fire flowers might actually be a good idea. It looks like a switch, maybe it activates something. Yeah, that activates the, you know what. And we have three moves, so we can go like this. One, two, and I guess we can go like that and use a fire flower. Let's try this. Or should I do it from up close? Let's do it from up close. I don't know if it'll make a difference, but we'll try this. Let's go. On. That's activated. Now let's try a fire flower. I don't know if this is a good idea. They all miss. No, my missiles are flawless. It's the targets that are all wrong. That reminds me of that one Simpsons beep. Am I out of touch? No, it's the kids that are out of touch. Okay, let's try this. And hold on, how does it work? What's the timing like? Let's see. Okay, I don't know what the timing is, apparently. I got one of them right somehow by fluke. Watch as I unleash my full artistic vision. Let's see you handle the rest of my missiles all at once. Let's see. Okay, they don't hit super hard. But we are hit with a few things like that. Okay, now what do we want to do? Oh, it's reloading already. Okay, reload complete. And I have plenty more where these came from. Ah, so what is the way that we want to take on the boss? What is the best way? I guess... Um, let's go like this. We can go like this. We could bring the X to here. And we could bring the chest here. And we still have one more move. So then we could bring an attack panel here. We can attack you like this. Wait, is jumping the best? Or do we want to hammer you? I'm not sure what deals more damage. I'm not sure if fire flowers or hammering deals more damage. Let's try hammering. Let's see how much damage hammering will do. I guess we could probably hammer you right now. And this is X2, so let's see if this will be better. Let's see. And... 29! Okay, that's a nice hit there. Okay, that looked like that was a good amount of damage. Okay, let's see. Pencils are gonna come out now. Let's go. Block, 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 block. Okay, not much damage onto us at all. Okay. Now, I'm guessing we're gonna have to, or we're going to want to do another attack like that. Oh, and we've got an A plus one panel. An A plus one panel would be very nice. Okay, let's see, where are we going? Go like this. Hold on. Can we bring this somewhere nice? No, not really. We can't bring that one somewhere nice either, really. Oh, we could go, uh, one, two, three. No. No, nothing too crazy here, really. Could go like this, because we do want to finish like that. And I could either have an A plus one, or I could open up this chest. I guess I'll go for the A plus one. And you know what? Let's bring over this letter so we can also read the letter and we'll see what the letter says. Let's do this. And we're also getting a heart on our way. So that heals us up. That makes the boss fight quite easy. Avoid the targeted panels, sneak behind the case, then whack the lid with your hammer. I don't mind doing it this way. I know that that's what it suggests, but it seems like you can do a decent amount of damage just like this. And you know what? Hold on. Let's actually try using... Wait, wait, wait. How much damage did the Fire Flower do? Oh, yeah. We already tested the Fire Flower. The Fire Flower did not too much. I think the hammer might be better. Actually, it'll probably be pretty close. Let's see. Because the hammer does 17 like that. And 17 again. So that's 34 damage. And the Fire Flowers are doing how much? They're doing 4 or 6 each, I think. Depending on if we were hitting the action commands or not. So they're kind of similar. If I could get the action commands with the fire flower, then I think that it would be better. Okay, are you gonna do your special attack now? Oh, everyone's a critic. I won't let my work be disrespected like this. Time to roll out my masterpiece. Behold, my rainbow roll. It sounds like a sushi special. Okay, so what we're gonna wanna do now, we're actually going to want to grab those pencils. And we have the thousand fold arm panels activated. So we should be able to just use one of those panels and grab it. So, let's see, can I just go like this? Wait, is that one there? Yeah, there's one here. And we have one more move. Do we want to get the chest here? 
Let's get the chest, because there might be something nice in the chest. I don't know if we'll be able to even get any of the stuff that comes out of the chest. Let's do this now. Let's get ready to grab. We are going to grab these pencils. At least, hopefully we can. Can you grab it while it's spinning? You can, right? Yeah, we can. And look at this massive attack that we are doing here. We are going to be whacking the boss with these pencils. Slam, 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 slam. Do we defeat it or is it still alive? Oh, it's still alive. Oh, no. Oh, no, we didn't finish it off like that. No, you made me waste my precious missiles. Do you have any idea how expensive good art supplies are? At least I don't need any missiles to do this. And look, now the text is all gray. Oh, we blocked it and it did zero damage. That is so funny. Yeah, that did very little damage. Okay, now we should be able to finish it off with basically anything. So let's go like this. And you know what? Let's read another letter. Is this all lined up perfectly? Yeah, that's all lined up. Let's see. Do we get a different hint now? You're almost done. Attack it to finish it off. Okay, I'm going to do that. And wait, I wonder if we can do jumps to finish it off now. Let's try doing jumps. Let's see. I probably should just hammer it, but let's see this. Oh my goodness! A 14 and then all threes after that and it explodes. Look at that big explosion. GG everybody, we did it. 1,240 coins reward. Ah, uh, no way. Defeated by a no name, no talent piece of disgusting pop culture. You were better when you were a side scroller, man. Ah, oh, that's such a funny line. Making a reference to back when Mario was 2D. We defeated the hipster pencil case. And it explodes. And... Now got the thousand fold arm circle over here. Hey, a new magic circle appeared. It's almost like it came from that colored pencils thing you defeated. Maybe it's really important. What if we just try and leave? What about the magic circle, Mario? Yeah, and we can't go there either yet, can we? Yeah, we can't go there yet either. Okay, so we have to do this. Let's go. Let's whack this. Whack, 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 whack. And it's so cool that you do it with motion controls. I've never played this with motion controls before, so it is quite fun. And... It looks like streamer number one has been cleared. Look at all that confetti. And we get a cool cutscene now. We can just see the red streamer being destroyed now. The first streamer in the game. Complete! One streamer no longer has the hold on Princess Peach's castle. And the music is quite lovely. And we're gonna have a nice celebration now. I like that we high five. Congratulations! Red streamer cleared! And I think that we can now hold more confetti, which is nice. Yeah, look at this. Our confetti bag has grown, right? Look at Olivia spinning around us. Max confetti increase. The music in this game is so great. That was amazing. And we both did something. Hey, like I said before, we do make a pretty good team. You're right. Hey, it looks like you're back and hold more confetti now. Confetulations. All right, that was all really exciting, but we've got a lot more streamers to unravel. Now, which color of streamer are we going to head to next? The blue one by Autumn Mountain. Oh yeah, the blue streamer on the red mountain. That's as good a place as any. Maybe even better because it looks so pretty from here. Okay, but before we continue, we need to check these here. Look what happens if you look through this one. I can't remember if this one or the other one's funny. Let's look through this one. Telescope, insert 10 coins. And you can see the mountain over there. You can see the mountain with Princess Peach's castle on it. We can see that there are still one, two, three, four streamers left. And the blue streamer is next. But look what happens when we look at this. When you look at this, insert 10 coins. Look what you see. You see a toad's face! Look at that! How funny is that? Because in here, there's actually a toad in there. And I wonder if that's the final toad we have to save. I've been on the wrong end of that for way too long! Move over! It's my turn for the view! And wait, can we actually not see the view? But there you go, 100% of toads have now been rescued. Can you just, like, use another one or something? I can't get enough of this! It's so funny that they didn't add a view for that, so just the toad looks at that. Okay, so now we can head down. And, looks like the art is actually gone. Yeah, there's no more art over here. So sad, so sad. Hey, all those drawings by that colored pencils guy are gone. Maybe they disappeared when we beat him. Ah, oh, he was a bad guy, but his art was pretty good. Whoa, that's a real doozy to think about. I'm kind of surprised that they would say something like that in this game. That's quite the funny thing. Here's what I'd normally say. Welcome to Overlook Tower Observation Deck. Enjoy the view. Guess I can still say it. You can still enjoy it. But I'm not gonna like it! Oh, that's funny. Oh, and we can't take the elevator down. And this doesn't matter because we are at full health. That's not a max up hard end. Oh, a hundred! Man! That really heals you. And we just jump down to there, which is quite nice. And now, we can just open this. Oh, you have to push it from there to open it. Can we open it from here? Oh, now it's unlocked. Okay, so that's nice. But wait, 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 wait. Was there something here? No, it looks like this is just all destroyed. I was thinking for some reason that there might be something at the cafe for us, but I guess not. Oh, and I wonder if we can now take the elevator down. 
Well, let's just go here. Let's come down this way in case we're possibly missing something. Okay, not seeing anything here because there still is at least one collectible that we could get here. Can we go buy a collectible from somewhere? Or where do you get the collectible? Hold on, we can't go in here, can we? Mario, the elevator's broken. I can float and I'm still scared to try it again. That's funny. Okay, so we're coming down here. We can't jump over that. Let's walk on down. And where can I get the collectible from? Who's gonna give me the collectible? I'd say the elevator is broken. Maybe try the stairs? Yeah, that's a good idea. Wait, do you have anything to sell me? Can you sell me something? Can you sell me something? Where can I get the collectible? Because we have 0% of the collectibles here. Okay, I guess we'll probably have to come back for the collectible treasures because we probably get them later. And here we are. Overlook Tower has been completed. We're now at Overlook Mountain. And soon, oh, oh, we have an announcement. What is the announcement? Oh, and there's a toad to save around here. Where's the toad to save around here? Oh, the sensor lab to Picnic Road is now open. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. We can actually head to there now because we have cleared the red streamer now. Oh, look at that. I had to hammer the sign. That was kind of unexpected. Okay, is the toad gonna get up now? Wait, uh, okay, finally he got up. Yes, someone finally read the fine print on the back of the sign. Now I'm safe and you're aware of the sign's limited liability and full terms and conditions of use. Wait, was there text back here? No, I didn't read it. What does the sign say? Overlook Sports Park. Hey, do we still get a notification that we have to save someone here? Yeah, we still do. Where's this other toad that we have to save? Is it down there maybe? Maybe we have to go down here. Hold on, let's go down here because last time I was down here, there was a shy guy that was chasing me, so I was in a bit of a rush. I was a little bit afraid. Now, shy guys are still there. Wait, what's down here? Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay, we gotta get this guy. Come, come, there we go. Is this the last one for this area? I was on the grasshopper team in high school, so this really worked out for me. Hey, nice that we saved him. But there are still more, which is kind of surprising. Hey, 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 you're coming here? You know what? I'm gonna hammer you. Oh, I missed. Oh, no. Okay, I guess we have to battle this guy then. That's all right. Oh, and there are quite a few enemies here. Okay, all we have to do is just one slide to line them up. That's super easy. But they still give you two ring moves, which is interesting. But we'll just go like that, that's fine. And iron boots, oh no, we can just use normal boots on the shy guys, I think. Hopefully we'll deal enough damage, we should. Let's see. And there we go, okay, those are defeated. Now I'll use iron boots on these guys, because with our normal boots, we take damage if we jump on these guys. I wonder when our iron boots are going to break. It's probably going to be somewhat soon, because you can't keep using the same weapon forever for the whole game. It starts to break in this game. That guy's defeated, which is nice. Anything back here? Where's the toad that we have to save? Gotta be a toad that we have to save around here. Let's see. If we hammer these guys, can we... Oh, no, we can't defeat them with the first strike. Wow, that's actually kind of surprising. I thought that we would be able to. Okay, but I guess we'll take these guys on. That's a lot of enemies. A lot, a lot of enemies. And I guess we could go like this and like that. So now we have two lines and one hammer path. Okay, oh, and the iron boots are almost broken. Is it just one attack that we have left or two? Let's see. Okay, those guys are defeated. Can I do one more attack with them or are they broken now? Okay, no, they're not broken because I see that it kind of looks like a little bandage with some X's there. So that means that they are going to break soon. So I wonder if they'll break now or if we still have one more. Let's see. Oh, they're still good. Okay. But a hammer should be able to finish these guys off. Let's just do a nice hammer, hopefully. Let's see. Oh, even better, an excellent hammer. That's what I meant by nice. I didn't mean nice, great, excellent in terms of the ranking the game gives you. I just meant nice as in it would be nice. Okay, I guess it was so many enemies because we took on both together like this. But no toad here. Where's the toad? And you know what? I guess we could try taking this pipe back while we are here. I don't know if we save a toad by doing that. That brings us to here. Where's the toad? There's got to be a toad around here somewhere to save. I remember there was a toad here to save. Yeah, when we come here, we still get that bell icon telling us that there's a toad to save around here. Whoa, you can stand on top of this? I had no idea you could stand on top of it when it was like that. Oh, and you can't even swing at it. That's funny. Maybe I have to hammer some of these signs? Wait, can I continue to the side from here? Nope. Oh, yes, hammering that sign gives us a toad. That's very nice. How could you tell I was here? I can barely even tell I was here. That's funny. Okay, now we can come up here and save this toad. Oh, and there's also a chest over there. And wait a minute. Where is this going to take us? This pipe here. 
I don't remember where this pipe takes us. Let's first check over here. Let's read the sign. Let's hammer the sign. Yeah, of course there is a toad to save. Hey, there we go. Save this toad. Mario! I should have known! Thank you! Sensor Lab, Picnic Road Headquarters. And here is... Oh, nice! The Sensor Lab Collectible Treasure. That's so funny. Oh, nice! 100% of collectible treasures gathered. That is lovely. Okay, let's head in here. Okay, there's a toad to save here. I think it'll be this. Yep, that looks like it. Sensational! You found me, Mario! This is perfect! I finally found a suitable tester! See, I'm the head researcher here at the sensor lab. We develop technology capable of detecting all kinds of things that are otherwise difficult to see. Sensor tech is changing the world! We're breaking conventions and shifting all manner of paradigms! What is this? Because you've shown an aptitude for toad detection, I shall let you test our new creation! Toad radar! With this little beauty, you can suss out hidden toads without suffering even a single crease in your brow! Thank you. I can just have it. Oh, I guess I have to go through the testing area first. Pop down that pipe, and I'll give you a quick primer on how to work the toad radar! I can't remember if I've actually used the toad radar or not. Would you like to test the toad radar? Yes, let's see how it works. Alright, here we are. We're in some kind of test room. Huh? Testing! One, two, one, two! Can you hear me, Mario? Let me walk you through a quick test of the toad radar! Can you feel the device on your head? As you may have guessed, that's the toad radar! The dish will scan the area and react to any hidden toads you may be facing! The closer you are to a potential toad, the stronger the toad radar will react! When you think you've found one, try whacking nearby objects with your hammer to unfold toad! This advanced level of detection uses a massive amount of power, so the battery will drain quite fast! No power, no toad radar! Got it? Keep an eye on your battery! Okay, that's enough explanation! Let's run some actual tests! Okay, so I have to find out which one is the toad. Find the hidden toads before the battery runs out! Ready? Okay, go! Oh! Oh, there we go, we got one! And, okay. Do I have to keep going? Ah, uh, okay, that was it, okay, we just have to find the one. Oh, now there's a lot of stuff, okay, now- oh, Wait, 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 that's the toad, isn't it? That right there. We didn't even need the radar to find that one. Oh, wait, but there are more! Let's see. Oh, it's getting red. It's getting red. Wait. No, it's not getting red. Okay, so it seems like it's getting more intense around here. So it's got to be something around here, right? 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 Toad, are you here? Oh, it seemed like it was getting intense around here. I guess not. Let's see. I think you probably have time to test everything, though. Let's see. Is it getting more intense? Oh, I got another one. Oh, it's right back here. Is that the toad that we have to find? Oh, boy! Hey, what now? Oh boy, we're in a big field like this. Oh, this is something like something that we're gonna see later in the game. Wait, let's see. Where is it? Where's the toad? Oh, right there. There we go. Okay, we walked by one. When you get close to one, it seems to get very intense. Wait, is it around here somewhere? Ah, uh, let's see. It's so hard to tell. Oh! Is that the last one that we need? Uh-oh, there are more! There are more! Let's see. Where's the other one? Come on! We're running out of battery. It's gotta be around here somewhere. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, oh, that's gotta be it. Okay. I noticed that I was walking into it before the radar even picked it up. Amazing! Works! Thanks to you, our test was a total success! I wonder if I have done that before, because I wonder if those toads count as the toads that you have to save to complete the game. I must say, that went exceedingly well! Toad radar didn't even explode this time! How lucky! All that remains before certification is a robust field test! Go out into the world, Mario! Use the toad radar to rescue some hapless folded toads! Thank you! Helps you find nearby toads in trouble, the toad radar. When the battery runs out, you can use our proprietary device charger to juice it up. However, it requires a modest donation! Power isn't cheap, and funding is hard to come by. Oh, that's so true. My work here is incomplete! Their paradigm's yet unshifted, so back to it! And the way that he charges it is he runs on the treadmill, I think. I'm pretty sure that's the way that he charges it. So let's get out of here. Wait, I'm curious. Where does this pipe bring us? Let's see. Pipe brings us to... Oh, it's saving. Oh, way out here! Oh, we're back in Toad Town. Okay. Well, that's useful. I don't know if I even remember that. Yeah, because I didn't really visit this house too often in my playthroughs. I don't even really remember that. Okay, and you know what? Now we'll go and find... For that toad down there is okay first. Can I jump on you guys? 
jump on you guys. And what about you? Don't give me trouble. Okay, because if you walk into them, they actually aren't defeated. Okay, so let's see. Do I still get the signal? Okay, wait, can I use the toad radar right now? Where is it? All right, here, toad radar. Let's use it. Okay, where is this toad? Let's see, could the toad be down here? Could this be where the toad is? Toad must be down here, I'm guessing. Where is it? Toad, where are you? Not here, because when we enter this area, that's when we get the bell icon popping up. Where in the world is this toad? Doesn't seem to be going any faster when I move around two different places. Where in the world can this toad be? We will have to find this toad another time because I don't know where this toad is right now. So where we have to go now to continue the game is we can go up and take that tramp and we are going to be meeting a character that is the favorite character in this game of so many people and not only in this game but so many people. It's their favorite character in any video game ever so I'm really excited to head up here so that we can meet who this character is and that is going to be in the next video. I really recommend you watch my video where we play Yoshi's Crafted World. You play as Yoshi. It is an incredibly fun game that has a similar style to this game. The platforming is so much fun. The Yoshis are adorable. You'll love it if you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching this far into this video. The link to part two of Paper Mario the Origami King will be in the pinned comment and the video description of this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing day ahead of you and take care everybody.